What's up? I got new music. This is not D&D music, but it is music. Hello, it's finally happening. D&D. Oh shit, I forgot to get a delivery. One sec. Just listen to music. Okay, all right. What a great song. All right. The D&D stream is finally real. Hopefully it'll be fun. I don't know. I've put a lot of work into this. Um, I think it'll be funny. We'll see. Um... Cool. We will review the rules together. Uh. All right. Uh, Texas speech is off, by the way, because there's going to be enough stuff going on. Dr. Dankenstein, thank you so much for the 5 subs. Appreciate it. What is going on? Dungeons and Dragons. I'm going to explain how it'll work in a second. We just have to finish the Atomic Heart song, which I found, which is awesome. Burbarian. It's a two-year subscription. That's cash in the trash. Rock and Lobster, think of the two years, man. They're all hot. <laughs> okay, sure. This is going to get confusing with Barbarian and Bard, but oh well. Hello, Park, sir. I assume that was you, because I just saw Doug, 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 Doug. Yes, that was Parkser. Hello, Parkser. How long is this song? No, oh, it's almost over. All right. Let Parkser play. So here's the thing. If this is a fun stream... I don't actually know how this will go. If this whole thing is fun, um, I will try to do it again in the future. Hopefully in a way that takes less time for me. Um, Scottish Conquistador. Thanks for the 12 months, man. Appreciate it. Uh, in which case, there's lots of fun variations we could do. We could do Parkser as one of the characters. We could do other streamers as one of the characters. We could do... Um, we could do, uh, uh, like, ChatGBT as one of the characters. There's a whole lot of options if this is interesting. All right. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I, I ideally wanted to do this on the weekend, but as you've known, I've not been sleeping well for like several months and I slept great the past three days, which is awesome. So maybe my sleep is recovering a tiny bit. Um, and so I felt good today. So fuck it. We're doing it today. Um, somehow I felt good after eating all the shit on Friday. And I've still, today's the first day I have not felt nauseous <laughs> after Friday. Friday was quite gross. Or sorry, Saturday. Saturday was when we did the fast food stream. Anyways, I guess let's, let's get into it. It was not keto. It was all the carbs. I mean, I honestly slept really great in a hotel room, which never, ever, ever happens. So... I don't know. Maybe the fast food cured my sleep. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let us get into the rules. This will be, you know, a bit wonky of a stream. I'm figuring it out. There's a lot of new music I got. I have the Tetris song now. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to eat fast food for a long time. Uh, this song's really weird. I feel like this will be one of our favorites. Turns out, Pro Evolution Soccer 2008 is wild. Has wild music. 
All right. Yeah. Sorry if you aren't able to watch today because you have to like do work or whatever. But that being said, this might be like an eight hour stream. I have no idea if this is like a three hour stream or like a 12 hour. So I wanted to wait till a day where I could go for like 12 hours if I needed to. I feel pretty good right now. So hopefully we're good. I had a little bit of caffeine. I had half of one Diet Coke. <laughs> do we stop when we die? Look, the characters can die. I don't want that to happen, but they can die, and if they do, I mean, that's what makes D&D fun, is, like, there's actual tension to it. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna... The people are here, right? So, this is the, the document that exclamation mark rules links to. So, I figured it'd be easier to make a little thing than, uh, than to... Uh, re-explain the rules constantly as people come in. So hopefully this gives a good sense of how this will work. Doug Dugs, Dungeons and Dragons rules. Okay, this isn't really like a rules reading song. That's a rules reading song. Oof. I got some dank ass new music on the soundboard. All right. Welcome, finally, to the Dungeons & Dragons stream. Here are the rules. With a big-ass disclaimer. This is not really Dungeons & Dragons. It's inspired by Dungeons & Dragons. That's it. Takes inspiration. I've removed most stuff. It's only kind of D&D because that's what I've based it off of because that's what I know. Also, I'm not good at this. Don't, ex uh, don't expect Matt Mercer. I'm just going to fucking yell a lot. I think it'll be fun, but disclaimer. All right. Okay, so... I've, I've talked about this before. I think most people probably are aware how this works, but I'll recap it. So there's three different characters you're playing as, Barbarian, Bard, and Wizard. So down there, you can see the three. So it's three random people playing at any given time. Um, you're gonna play for a few turns, probably like two turns? Topaz the Kid, thank you for the 12 months. I'll sort of uh, uh, alter it based on how things are going and how long a turn takes. To play one of the characters, you type one of the following into chat. Jesus, Barbarian, bard, wheel. or wizard. All right, dude, the, the vocals on this is killing me. Um, are you vocals? No, this doesn't have vocals. To play as one of the characters, you type one of the following into chat. Exclamation mark, barbarian, bard, or wizard. Um, this lets you join. Okay, the thing is... Let me get rid of these guys. This is annoying me. There we go. Uh, the Waldo Nader. Thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Snipe, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. That is a shitload. Thank you, thank you. Messjaw, thank you for the 50 gifted subs. We haven't started yet. We haven't done anything. <laughs> wait to, wait to gift subs until something happens. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, so basically, if you type exclamation mark barbarian, you are now eligible to be one of the random, randomly chosen barbarians. If you do exclamation mark bard, you're eligible to be one of the randomly chosen bards. And if you do that for wizard, you're eligible to be one of the wizards. You can join multiple, so you can do all three if you want. Um, but ideally, you join the one or the two that you would be the most into, like, playing as. Heat, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, man. Thank you. Um, please, for the love of God, do not just spam this constantly while we're playing. I know a bunch of you are going to do it. I might ask mods to time you out if you're just sitting there spamming over and over. It doesn't do anything to spam it two plus times versus just once. It does literally nothing right now because the code is not on. Um, we don't need to be like aggressive about it mods, but if it gets to a point where people are doing what they do in the tab streams where they're just spamming it for like an hour straight, I'm probably just gonna time them out because it's super fucking obnoxious. So please, you don't need to spam. Um, I would like chat to actually be relevant to what's going on. You can do this once every like 15 minutes and you're good, that's, that's it. In the trash. Dude man, thank you so much for the two years. Um, just, once every 15 minutes and you're great. Then you're in, okay? How to play as a character. If you're chosen, all you do is you type into chat and then the uh, message will appear below your name. That's it. Um, you can also add emotions in your voice. If you put one of these at the beginning of your message, you'll talk with that emotion. So angry, cheerful, excited, hopeful, sad, shout, terrified, unfriendly, or whisper. Just put that at the beginning of your message and then it will say it in that tone. Otherwise, it'll default to random. Story. We'll get into the story later. This is for people who don't, who aren't here at the beginning of the stream. Taking a turn. So this is basically like kind of D and D basics. If you uh, if you don't know how D and D works, so everybody takes a turn one at a time. You can do anything you want within reason. 
Um, you can talk, move, grab stuff, attack. You basically get one action per turn. So what that means, you know what? I'm gonna pick another, this song. I can't see who that is. Sleazy Nugget, thank you for the 12 months, appreciate it. It is actually happening. Um, so you basically take one turn at a time. Um, you can grab a thing, you can attack somebody, you can yell, you can throw, do whatever you want, but you basically get one action per turn. So you can't be like, oh, I jump into the air and I grab a vacuum cleaner and then I whack everybody on the head with it. You get one action. So I'll sort of uh, I I like referee it a little bit and be like, okay, you can only do this on your turn, but basically you get one main thing. But you can still run and talk as your action. So you could run up to a dude, whack him, and yell at him. Um, and then we will use dice to determine what happens. The dice will look like this. Good roll. Um, so to determine what happens in the game, I will roll a 20-sided die. Before each roll, I will say what number is required for the action to succeed. For example, if you attack a goblin with an axe, I might say you must roll 15 to hit the goblin. If the die is a 15 or above, then you successfully hit. Otherwise, your attack missed. So, unlike real D&D, this is important. Unlike real D&D, there are no modifiers. It's just if you roll this number, you succeed. So, I, I don't want to do... In normal D&D, you're like... Roll a d20, then add your constitution modifier, then add your proficiency bonus, and then sub add three because of this magical thing. You do all this math, I'm not doing that. Um, or, or the modifiers will be in advance, basically, is another way to think about it. So, if you're going to attack a guy, and normally you would have to hit a 14 to hit him, but you are doing something awesome, so it's going to be like a better attack, I'll just say you only have to roll a 12, right? So it, it'll always be... I'm just going to tell you what you have to roll, and I will adjust what the target is based on what's going on, rather than having all the modifiers. So it's this is like where I'm really simplifying D&D. &D. That way it is always just a die appears, and the number, that's it. The number t says whether or not it succeeded. I think it'll be easier and more enjoyable to watch. Health. Each character has three health. If you're hit by an enemy, you lose one health. Again, ultra simplified health system. Um, if you lose all three health and you're knocked unconscious, this means you have one more chance at life. Basically, if you are unconscious, if you die, or not die, not die. If you are knocked unconscious, you lose all your health, then you would roll a die. If it's 10 or below, then you're permanently dead. If it's 11 or above, then you recover and you return to the battle with one health. Don't fuck it up. So this is basically like you can get to zero health, and then you have one more chance to come back. Um, and at that point, death equals delete, yeah. Uh, there are ways to recover your health, such as spells or very rare items. Most enemies only have one health. Uh... Ish Juban, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, so the idea is like it's very everybody can die easily. It'll be great. If I die, it's real. Good question. <laughs> yeah, the character's not gonna die. I think it'll 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 be fine. I think. I don't think everybody will die. You can revive infinite times if you keep getting knocked unconscious. If you get knocked unconscious, somebody can also heal you, so you're guaranteed to come back before you do your death roll. This is this is the death roll. You don't really want to do the death roll, but if somebody dies, they're dead, and they're out. This is like a can Twitch chat survive the dungeon. Um, attacking. So each of the three characters have different ways of attacking. Um, you can also kind of do whatever you want. You know, if you pick up a chair and whack a guy on the head with a chair, that's fine. Um, death equals user ban. Okay, fine. The user also gets banned. If you're the person who kills your character, you get timed out for a million seconds. Um, each character also has an armor class that determines what an enemy must hit, what must roll to hit you. For example, an armor class of 14 means the enemy must roll 14 or higher for their attack to hit. You don't really need to know armor class. It just means you just subbed for three years. Do slang? Thank you for three years. Value, all for only $14.99. Um, it just means that there's like you kind of have your your standard number for how hard you are to hit. Um, but I'll, I'll basically, before every single attack, I'll just explain what's happening. It should be pretty easy to follow. Um, we might change this up a little bit, because we got to do character creation. Barbarian, he's your melee tank boy, wields a battle axe, axe, has an armor class of 16, so he's much harder for enemies to hit. So basically that means enemies have to roll a 16 or higher to be able to hit the Barbarian. You can use the following moves. Reckless attack. So when you're playing as the Barbarian, these are options for you, uh, to, to use if you would like. Um, and the way I'm going to do this, normally in D&D there's spell slots where you can only cast spells like a certain number of times per day. I'm taking that out and instead we're doing certain moves or you can do it whenever you want. 
or, or cantrips, basically, that you can use them however you want. One is once per floor of the dungeon, and once is once and once and one of them is one per stream. So you have like a different uh, range of how powerful these things are and how much you can use them. So there's like one person who gets to use intimidating presence the entire stream, right? So reckless attack. Um, I'm gonna. The wording here is a little weird, but I'll just say it when you're rolling. Basically, you can add four to your attack, but enemies add it to their attack too. So if you were going to need to hit a 15 to kill a guy, now you only have to hit an 11. You only need to roll an 11 to hit a guy, but it means when they attack you, you're weaker, right? So reckless attack is like you are just going in and you're willing to put yourself in a, in like even more risk in order to fuck somebody up. Um, so there is math. Yes, but I will do it in advance, right? So I will just make the roll easier rather than rolling the die and then adding or subtracting to the result, right? Why is the barb an orc? Because he is. Extra attack once per floor. You can just attack twice, and then um, so uh, one time on a floor you get to do this, and then intimidating presence once per once per the whole dungeon. You scream and frighten all nearby enemies who spend their next turn running away from you. So this is the barbarian. These are the moves you have at your disposal. The bard. The bard is uses spells and cunning to outsmart his enemies. He has an armor class of thirteen, so he's weaker to enemy attacks. He wields a flute and dagger. His spells can harm enemies or heal allies. He can use the following moves: vicious mockery. Maybe we change vicious mockery. I don't know. And he does look like RT game, which was not intentional. Um, uh, so you mock an I might change this. Cure wounds once per floor. You touch an ally to heal them for one health. Motivational speech once per floor. All ther characters next attack rolls boosted by five. So again, I, it, I'll basically just make it so it's much easier to hit your next attack. And I will just say, okay, this next attack, because you're inspired and you're motivated, um, then you only have to roll an 11, right? And then we roll. And then suggestion, once per stream, you magically influence somebody, friend or foe, to do something you suggest. They roll to resist the spell, otherwise they will do everything they can to complete your suggestion. This is the Jesus, bar. Jesus, take the wheel. Ah! Mestra, is that... Wait, this is from a while ago, right? Jesus, take the wheel. Ah! Uh, thank you again, Mestra, for the 50 gifted subs, and Snipe for the 25. I appreciate it. What's the spell save DC? I'm just making it simple, like, you just have an attack. Um, everybody has an AC, you'll just roll the AC. So if the enemy's AC is 14, which is going to be the default, then you're just rolling that on them. Okay, and then Wizard. The Wizard is a weak spellcaster. Weak in the sense that she's easier to hit, right? Uh, wizard uses spells to destroy her enemies. She has an armor class of 12, so she's weak to enemy attacks. She wields a staff and casts spells. She can use the following moves. Shoot a ray of frost at an enemy. If it hits, they're also slowed down. A lot of guys are going to only have one health, but if they have more than one health, then they can't move as far the next turn. This isn't like a huge deal, but it's just something. Magic missile. You shoot a series of missiles at an enemy that are guaranteed to hit. So this is basically a guaranteed hit on somebody. You get it once per floor. Major image. You create a visual illusion of your choice up to 20 feet wide. So whatever you want to make as like a... a fake thing you can do that and then polymorph once per stream you transform an enemy into an animal of your choice they must roll 16 on their turn to break three they revert back Jesus, to their original the form wheel. if attacked heat thank you for the 10 gifted subs fireball wear i didn't give you fireball sorry i tried to pick things that are iconic but interesting um fireball to me is a very boring D, &D spell because you just do a shitload of damage so i gave you magic missile for that and major image is funnier Major Image is way funnier than Fireball. What are you talking about? Fireball is boring. It's just like lots of damage. Major Image is way funnier. I mean, I could replace Magic Missile with Fireball, I guess. Good luck. I just, I, I'm not in, like, what I like about D&D is doing creative spells and, like, engaging in situations in weird, dumb ways. Like, I like the mechanics of it being interesting. That's why Bard is my favorite, because you can just do lots of goofy shit. Prestidigitation is as powerful. Ah, eh, whatever. I, I feel like this is fine. I mean, if you guys have major changes you want to do, Vicious Mockery is the only thing I'm thinking I might change. So Vicious Mockery is like, on your turn, you would mock an enemy. Normally, that spell actually means you do like a tiny bit of damage, but then they have disadvantage on their next turn. I don't even really want to do advantage and disadvantage, so I'm thinking this may be just like, mock an enemy, doing... hurt them if it hits. <laughs> Does that work? I feel like that works. Um, like, it's just an attack. It's kind of boring. But that way, whoever's playing as the bard has to actually say uh, uh, an insult. And I'll, I'll, I'll bump it up by one if the insult's really good. Um, damage 
them physically and emotionally if it hits. <laughs> okay. Um, what's wrong with this advantage? I just, I want the rolling to be really ultra simple. I want, like, I want people to be able to follow this without knowing anything about Dungeons and Dragons. So I'm trying to make it so instead of me having to explain, uh, oh, with this roll, I'm going to roll twice and we're going to take the higher one of them. I mean, that's fine, but I'd rather it's just every single thing is we say this is what you need to roll. So it's just really, really straightforward. There's a single die roll and then it's good to go. Um, it might very likely be oversimplifying things, but at least for the first time doing this, I want to try to keep it extremely simple. Um... Don't punish the nerds who know about D&D. <laughs> I can make them vulnerable after, um, but, then, but then that's so powerful. Uh, we could um, hurts them, hurts them, and their next attack is weaker. Yeah, bards are generally like the smooth talking, storytelling, cunning, they're charismatic and lot, horny a lot of the time. All right, cool. Um, anyway, these are the rules. So they're easier to hit. Yeah, so basically, um, Barbarian, the, the, the easy way to think about it, he has an armor class of 16. It means enemies have to roll 16 to hit the Barbarian. So he's the hardest to hit. Um, the Bard has an armor class of 13, so it's like two-thirds chance they're going to hit him. And the wizard is the weakest. She's like almost 50-50 to hit. Uh, I'm not seeing any major concerns about what's going on. In terms of damage, again, basically if something does damage, it's one it's damage. Everything either hits or it doesn't, and if it hits, it's trash. one damage. Blazer 10, thank you for the two years. Again, ultra simplified. The Barbarian is so sexy. What if I can't think of an insult? Then you probably shouldn't play as the Bard. That's like a key part of the Bard, is you just gotta talk shit. Um, cool. I think we're good. The code is not currently on. Uh, you do not need to spam, uh, or, or do exclamation mark Bard or anything. I, I will let you guys know once it's on. Um, so first we need to... Decide the characters. Specifically, what are their character attributes? This is, um, we're doing a quick backstory. So here's what I'm thinking. I think I'll just take suggestions from chat and then we'll vote on what are the personality traits of the barbarian and then of the bard and then of the wizard. That way, if you join and you join that that person and you're playing as that person, there's like some kind of of like personality that you can that you can lean into and go off of, right? So where's this? Please tell me this poll is up today. Yay, it's up. All right, so I'm going to take suggestions. Let me get some upbeat ass music. What is this? Ooh. Omega Striker music. All right, um, what personality traits for Barbarian? So this is like, who? this is his personality. Um, okay, super into working out. Okay, people are saying kick flips for bar. So I'll let you guys vote. Laughs at everything. <laughs> Constantly tired? We want to get like maybe four attributes. Kicked out of art school. <laughs> I feel like that'd be more of a bard thing, but um, I'm not doing they hating poor people. No. Addicted to gambling, sure. Uh, gives really bad relationship advice. Sure. <laughs> really bad allergy. Allergies is not really like a personality trait, I don't think. Um, it's a two-year subscription. That's cash in the trash. And crippling depression. That doesn't sound that fun. Um, we have addicted to gambling. We can include that. We can, uh, you can expand that to other things. <laughs> Dyslexic? <laughs> All right, are any of these... Oh, wait, let's get two more. Speaks three languages, sure. Mephisto, thank you for the 12 months. Yeah, okay, really, really into food. 
That's good. Hates Mondays. That's not really like a personality trait. All right, of these 11, do any jump out at you? Oh, I spelled dyslexic wrong, right? You know what I mean. You just subbed for three years. That's a Should talk thing, man. value, all for only fourteen ninety nine. Okay, people seem receptive to addicted to gambling. That seems to be the most popular by far. Kick that. Okay. People are also excited about dyslexic. <laughs> what? Like, what will that? All right, I think that's fine. Let's do. Let's do one more round here. So I'll pull this up. Okay, Barbarian. I'll pick the three most popular. Wait, okay, laughs at everything or dyslexic? This is 128. Oh, dyslexic is actually correct. Here, I'll put it in and then we'll, we'll, we'll like pare it down a little bit. All right, we'll do one more poll. Um, Barbarian? Other ideas for his personality. He got kicked out of art school for being dyslexic. <laughs> Chronic constipation. Sure. Um, hates trees? I'm gonna say no, because that's not gonna be really relevant. Short-term memory loss. <laughs> that would be very annoying. Um... Eats 10 fast field moves every day. Hugs too hard. That's not a great... That is kind of funny, actually. Has a pet mouse. Sure. I don't want to... I don't want to make his personality about his penis. Can't comprehend numbers higher... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lactose, okay, Con chronic constipation can be lactose intolerant as well. Okay, can't sleep without a stuffed animal just wouldn't be relevant here, really. Well, maybe, it can't sleep without a stuffed toy. Uh, we just be like, total dumb bro. Dumb bro who's, uh, who's really supportive of people, but dumb. Fired from Taco Bell. Esper, thank you for the 12 months. <laughs> Loves dad jokes. All right, do any of these jump out as being good personality traits for our bard? This is our orcish barbarian. All right, it looks like people really want short-term memory loss. I feel like this this is so far. You can vote for up to three, by the way. This one is so far in the lead. I don't know if we pick any of the others. I mean, him being a dumb bro feels like people are also excited about. I'm just gonna do short-term memory loss and dumb bro. We're gonna go with those two. Jesus, take the wheel. Ugh. That guy, thank you for the two gifted subs, appreciate it. Okay, are, so these are the personality traits. Anything we wanna remove? Addicted to gambling, kicked out of art school, dyslexic, last everything, short-term memory loss, dumb <laughs> Really supportive bro, but incredibly dumb. Remove the laughs. Yeah, the laughs doesn't fit in super hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out laughing. I think these are these are five traits. These are good. Remove memory loss. My concern okay, here's my concern about memory loss. This is very funny, but I won't be able to tell the difference between somebody who genuinely doesn't know what's going on and somebody who's role playing as short term memory loss. It's funny, but I feel like this is going to be very confusing.
Okay, I think it's funny enough. We'll leave it. Does dyslexic mean you can't tell left and right apart? I don't really think that's... <laughs> Is that, like... That's not really... I mean, why don't we just say can't tell left and right apart? How about we just simplify it? I feel like this makes a little more sense. It's a little more concrete for some, for us to go off of, especially with short... I don't think we need dyslexia and short-term memory loss in terms of this being followable. John Ader, thank you for the 12 months, man. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, cool. Next up, let us get some personality for the Bard. So the Bard, he is, as a reminder, he's like a spellcaster, but he's more vocal, right? He's more about, like, using his voice to magically tell stories and convince people what's going on. But ultimately, personality is up to you. Bard personality. Okay, horny. A lot of... Knows how to cook meth. Is not really a personality trait. Good at chemistry. <laughs> Pathological life. <laughs> No, I'm not doing addicted to meth. I don't think we can... I don't know if I'm allowed to have characters, like, really addicted to meth. Um... Okay, loves skateboarding. That, that'd be a, a, a holdover from last time. This is literally Walter White. Well, now it's not. Foot fetish. I don't want that in the... No. I'm, I'm denying that one. <laughs> YouTuber who's been cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Recently divorced? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Has a goatee and a fedora. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't have either of those things. This is him. Uh, he, he is created. He's, he's ready. It can't rhyme. Uh, I feel like I want people to be able to rhyme if they, if they, uh, if they want to. I'll say loves to rhyme to encourage people to rhyme. That's funnier. Has a crush on the barbarian. How is he going to be asexual if he's horny? Is that a thing? I don't know if you can be asexual and horny. Can you? Ugh, start every sentence with hey Doug. No. No, I'm not in the I'm not in the thing. Ugh. Yes, you can. Oh, okay. Is a Twitch chatter. Well, YouTuber has been canceled implies that. Kind of. Tragic backstory of 20 brothers before him who died. <laughs> we can... You guys can decide the backstory as you, as you play. Insecure about his ears. <laughs> That's so weird and specific. Sure. Um... You can be a very horny asexual. It's like being hungry, but nothing sounds good. Interesting. Is addicted to corn nuts. No, the first guy's already really into food, right? Didn't Bar- wasn't Barbarian really into food? Oh, I guess he's not. Okay. Really likes corn nuts. No, I don't want to do breaks the fourth wall. Horribly drunk. No. Because we already have addiction with the first guy. I want it to feel different. Um. <laughs> once took an <laughs> Once took an arrow to the knee. He's a Peggle master. I don't think Peggle reasonably exists. In I guess, sure. We can say there's some sort of medieval Peggle. So there's Fantasy Peggle. All right. Uh, it's a little bit cut off. Option one is Horny, and option 11 is, is a Peggle Master. You can see the other nine of them. Uh, 
Wait, can I just make this smaller? Probably can. Aha. 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 Okay. A uh, lot of interest in horny, pathological liar, and YouTuber has been canceled. Not as much interest in chemistry as I would have thought, to be honest. All right. So our bard. Is that enough? I feel like that's probably enough. There's some love for recently divorced as well. I mean, those are four really strong ones. The horny and pathological liar are pretty solid. And then YouTuber's been canceled is pretty solid. I don't know that we need a ton more. Add skateboard. People are not voting for skateboarding. This has to be a, a group decision. His wife left him because he was canceled. You can come up with the backstory when you're playing him. Um, yeah, none of the others really stand out. I think this is good. M married his sister. Secretly a dwarf using stilts. <laughs> no, but we can think that the barbarian can think that the bard is secretly a dwarf using stilts. That's fine. He just keeps accusing him of it. All right, let's move on to wizard. I think I feel like this is strong enough. The these two are broad, um, to broad enough to work. And we obviously, this will develop as we're playing, right? If things if somebody just comes up with something weird, that can just be part of it. This isn't like locking in everything. We just want to give a general framework for people to role play off of. Um. Basically, you know, do what you think will be fun, but this is a, a general guide. All right, wizard. Our, our, our wizard spellcaster. What kind of personality traits? She is an ex-lawyer. Is that what you said? Acts like a very st <laughs> a holier <laughs> thou redditor. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Bard's ex-wife. Okay. That's pretty ridiculous. Mm, this song is strange. Let's go to this. Really, really depressed. I don't know how fun that'll be. Related to fantasy Guy Fieri, sure. Is really bad at being not sus. I don't know what that means. Thinks the earth is flat. That's not really a personality trait. And in this world, it could be flat. Who knows? Um, no, we're not doing short-term memory loss. Really into beekeeping? It's not really... I mean, I guess that is. Well, okay, I don't want to do super into working out because we already said the barb, the barbarian, is like a big muscle bro. So I want him to, be, to feel different. I mean, I guess she could also be really into working out. We could say really into fitness. I mean, nobody voted for Love Skateboards last time. Um, scared of dairy products. Really into crypto. <laughs> I mean, she could be the one who's really into chemistry. Hates magic. She's a wizard. She is a wizard. Secretly a gorilla. No, I don't want to get that confusing with this. Um, <laughs> illiterate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't read is really funny. I don't know if there, how many times it'll, that reading will really play into this, but enough that it that I'm sure it'll be somewhat relevant. Afraid of water. <laughs> Brags about one's own accomplishment feels like accidental holier than thou redditor. Um. Sure, we can say love stuffed animals. That works. How many do we have? Alright, this is 11. Don't wizards need to read out of their spell book? Eh, in this simple version, they just get to cast it. It's fine. We can work around that. 
Okay. Looks like acts than a whole acts like a holier than thou redditor, bard's ex-wife, and illiterate are the real standouts here. <laughs> Sounds like a really fun person to be around. Okay. Uh, any others that are winning? We're doing okay? Not really. Love stuffed animals is the next biggest. We can do that. That works in the context of this campaign. Frequently jumps out of windows for no reason. Redditor that can't- yeah, she's an illiterate Redditor. <laughs> Uh, I mean, she doesn't need to literally be like a reads Reddit. It can just be she acts like a really holier than thou person on the internet who's constantly telling others, you know, correcting other people and whatnot. Sure. <laughs> can do a kick flick on, flip on almost anything. All right. This is set in, like, fantasy medieval times, by the way, people. This isn't- the- the Walmart is a fantasy Walmart. It's not like- this isn't set in 2023. She's the one who canceled the bard. I think you guys can develop the kind of storyline of this. Um... Alright, these are our personality traits. Should I sh throw them into the- Should I put them in the dock? Or do we just let it be? Or do we just let it kind of ride? Well, like, we have a general sense of it. I guess, because I mean, that way people who join midway through will actually know what's going on. What about their names? It's just going to be Barbarian, Bard, and Wizard. Because there's going to be a different name down there at any given time. So I think it'll be less confusing. This is so dumb. <laughs> God, what I- what I love the Barbarian. He's my favorite bro. Okay. Name everyone. No, 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 no. I don't- I specifically don't want them to be named. Because they're gonna have, like, a name from Twitch chat at any given time. That would be confusing. Trust me. Sincerely. Not available, thank you so much, for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Uh, alright, cool. Let's make a copy of you. And you are Bard Personality. We are still not playing. I will let you know when to, uh, do the exclamation mark thing. Man, this guy's life sucks. <laughs> this party, the only person I want to hang out with is the is the barbarian, dude. The others just sound awful. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with this party. Um, RT game was canceled. He's horny even with his enemies. He's probably horny especially with his enemies. What does what does this one even mean? What does that fucking mean? Uh, all right, cool. We got we got our, our our folks in here. Boom, 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 boom. So now people can just check out the rules at any point to um, to get a reminder of the personality. Ultimately, though, you can kind of decide back. You can add in background lore and whatnot. You can kind of change the personality depending on what's going on. That's fine. Ultimately, you know, the point of D and D is for it to kind of be a weird, unpredictable adventure. Um, she did kickflips on their marriage. Should I make the rules? I have it so it's like every 15 seconds the rules pops up. I feel like that's enough, right? That's enough. That's fine. 
Okay. Is there anything else? I think we're ready to start. I guess let me just double check that everything works. Let's rumble big dogs! Alright, now if you type exclamation mark barbarian, exclamation mark bard, or exclamation mark wizard, you can be eligible. All right, our first barbarian, Murphalicious. Our first bard, Nikaros 2D, and our first wizard, Nails of Another Kind. Can you guys all say something into chat? I want to make sure it works. Um, occasionally, some messages drop. I that might be because of Microsoft Azure. Baba boy. Cool. Can you guys also test that if you put an emotion at the beginning of it, that that plays properly? Hi. So try try one of these just to remind everybody. So if you put uh, one of these words at the beginning, Scared. Of, at the Baba beginning, boy. there you go. Yeah. I am here. Okay, everybody's here. Um. So to be clear, I I will pick the three people, and then I will let people know when I'm picking new ones. So you don't Pogies. need to, you don't need to just be spamming the the exclamation mark bard wizard or whatever. Especially not after I've picked somebody. Like at this point, you're not going to be picked, right? They're they're going to do the first two turns. Um, so I will just let you know and I'll say, okay, we're picking new people and then you can just, uh, throw it in again. So you don't need to just say it randomly. Uh, I will, I will let you know when to, when to enter, or you can just do it one time and it'll last for like eight minutes or something like that. Uh, so you don't need to do it constantly. Doing it more than once does not improve your chances at all. Um, and maybe I'll make it so that if you're already in and you do it, you get kicked out or something. If the spam is too bad, just please, please I'm don't going spam to be replaced. Uh, not, not immediately. Okay, cool. So again, angry, Let's cheerful. Let's do this. Cool. Angry, cheerful, excited, hopeful, sad, shout, terrified, unfriendly, or whisper. We'll uh, we'll add this. Why is Doug mad? I'm just pre. It's one of those things where like I've set it up. I am excited about this. Um, it's just I just don't want people to spam constantly the whole time. That's all. I just am pre go. preemptively getting annoyed at spam. So please help me out and don't no spam. No one could ever replace you because the last time when when we've done this with tab streams, um. People just spam like A crew or Z crew the whole time and it just gets very frustrating. So I'm just I'm trying to reiterate this a couple times because I would like chat to actually be about what is happening and not people just spamming exclamation mark bard wizard. Because then they're like the fun of chat is that people are saying interesting, relevant things, not just filling it with like a command. Oh, right. So that's barbarian. why I'm being that's why I keep bringing it up. OK, cool. <clears throat> Give me a second to get ready to finally fucking play D&D. I'm gonna have to like cut away for a little bit. I'm gonna, hopefully I can remember all this, but I have notes and everything. Also, what's a good like intro song? This is a good intro song. What is it? Fuck. What's a good? I need it. What's a song to start out? Start out a D and D campaign. I don't know, dude. Jesus, take the wheel. It's got to be upbeat, but not too upbeat, right? It's not action. We're not in the fight yet. What's a good song? Storytellers. This is too epic for starting the story. No, the point is that it's not super high intensity. I just added a bunch of new music, but I don't really remember what they are. Um. What does this do? Okay, that's kind of enjoyable. I picked out lots of action songs, but oh, dude, this song is such a jam. But this isn't really like a setting up the stage kind of vibe. Thank you, Bionic Worm. Yeah, this one's been a lot of work, but I hope it's fun. I really, really hope this is fun. We will see. What a fucking cat jam, dude. Is metagaming allowed? Uh, to, to a reasonable degree, yeah. 
Um, dude, there has to be a song that's like... Wait, oh, 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 Final Fantasy X. This is kind of an intro song. Wait. No, this is Fez. One of these has got to be it. Wait, this is literally called Prelude. No, I think Beach would be sad, dude. Or is it too low energy? I need to find the perfect song. I don't, and we should just move on, but... Okay, we're doing... What is Thunder Plains? Oh, this is what we already... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> no, this is too relaxed! Ah, I need to find a good song! Music is really important to me. What is this? It can't be like funky. It's got to need to get pumped up. It's got to be like the right vibe. It's got to be like a fantasy vibe. Rules. But get what did you just say to me? Oh, rules. I said balls. Shovel Knight. Wait, this kind of works. This kind of works as like a you begin your adventure. Pretty good, right? Like it's you know, and then it's like a video game vibe and all this. I think it's good. Okay, there's another one. Okay, this has the same vibe. Oh, these are basically the same. Okay, all right, we're doing shovel knight. Shovel knight's too too sick. Okay, let me remember. Let me remember my stupid ass notes. Um. That works. Can I hit someone now? <laughs> okay, hold on. Don't hit somebody quite yet. <laughs> you're good, dude. You're you're ready. Your character is fucking ready for this. Ugh, all right. I am so disappointed I'm late to the D&D &D stream. We are literally starting in like three seconds. You are you arrived at the perfect time. This is the beginning of the D&D &D stream. I would like to kickflip, please. Just let me set it up first. <clears throat> Welcome. Twitch chat. To the land of Chatopia. You are three best friends who've been adventuring Let across the, the lands sickly. together. Uh, hold on. Let me set it up. You three are best friends who've been traveling across the lands together. Many trials and tribulations you've experienced, but unfortunately, just a couple of weeks ago. Now I need dramatic music. You came across a witch in the woods. This witch, known as Baba Gaboosh, cast an evil curse on each one of you. This curse had the strange effect that only a single one of your brain also, cells actually work mouth. at any given time. Gasp. Before, it felt like all of your brain could kind of talk at once, but now it's almost as though like a single brain cell has complete control of your brain for like two turns or so. It's very strange. This witch cast the curse on you and then wandered off into the woods, laughing maniacally. You've been searching for a cure ever since. Your three brain cells right now are Murphalicious, Nykoros 2D, and Nails of Another Kind, who are the only ones in control of your entire body. So the three adventurers set out across the land looking for a cure to this strange curse, and they stumble across the town of Walltown. Okay, back to my original music. Where the fuck is it? Hold on. Here we go. You stumble across the quaint little town of Walltown, famous for its walls and its stores like Walmart and Walgreens. <clears throat> and you guys go into a local tavern. Oops. And as you step into the tavern, a local pig dwarf shouts out at you from across the table. He says, adventurers, adventurers, can you help us? You move into the tavern a little closer to hear him. And he says, adventurers, my name is Porky. I'm the mayor here at Walltown. And I need your help. You see, Walter, the local owner of Walmart, recently came across a magical staff. Doug, this song isn't really doing it for me. Well, hold, okay. Um. Hi, Porky. This?
Is this too high energy? Or did you want it like lower energy? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, thanks. So he says, adventurers, Walter, the wa the warlock who owns the local Walmart, founded a staff that seems to have given him some sort of crazy magical powers. And ever since then, a few weeks ago, he's been turning his Walmart merchandise into wild monsters and demons. They've been leaving the Walmart and attacking the villagers. We aren't soldiers. We can't fight this. We're just a couple of, of little innocent pig dwarfs. I don't know how to fight. We need somebody to go into that Walmart. Take down Walter and get rid of that staff. And you even think to yourself, huh, magical staff. Maybe that could be the cure to this strange witch illness that you've been dealing with. So, Porky says, Adventures, if I escort you to Walmart, if I guide you through, will you travel into Walmart and take down this evil warlock? Can I have a drink first? He says, yeah, okay, I mean, it's on, I guess if I'm asking you, yeah, okay, it's on the house. And he goes over here and he pours you a big glass of wine, brings it over, slams it on the table. You go up, you start chugging some wine. He says, you guys can, like, have a drink or two first if you're nervous. That's fine. Can I get an orange juice on the rocks? <laughs> and he said, yeah, I mean, this is like a tavern. Let me go. And he goes, he goes, jumps through the window, and he goes out back. He grabs a fresh orange. And he comes back in, and he uh, he put he puts, like, two oranges and mashes them into this bottle. And then he, he squirts it um, onto your hands. And it's very fresh. And then he's like, um... Wait, let's talk about reward for this quest. And he says... R Much appreciated, sir. R reward? But the people of this town, we're, we're struggling. We need help. Thanks, let's all my fingers. Okay, and he's looking at you. He's like, wow, you really like that orange juice, uh huh, Mr. Uh, scary Orc Guy. Um, but he says, well, what kind of reward do you need? Wouldn't just helping the people of, of Wall Town be a reward enough? Here Bard goes again. <laughs> he stares now at you, Bard. You seem to be speaking for the group, or at least very confident. Oh. He always did this during our marriage. Porky comes over to you and he says, well, well, maybe do we need, do we really Asking need the Bard? Rewards. Do we need the Bard? Do you guys Two think gold, we- Two gold, no less. He steps back. Two gold! In this economy, it's 2023. All right, I just run a tavern. We don't even have fresh orange juice. I had to go pick oranges from the side. You think I? You think I have two gold sitting around? Okay, what about this? If we go to that Walmart, you could take anything you want out of it. The Walmart has a lot of merchandise. If we go, if we okay, go one half gold and orange juice. You see him look, look carefully, pondering, and he says, "Half gold to get rid of the menace." Wait, you're serving orange juice? I'll have some. <laughs> he looks at you confused, and he says, Sir, you just had orange juice about 20 okay, seconds ago. Okay, for robbing Walmart. <laughs> and uh, he says, Okay, I will give you that half gold. Reaches under the counter, pulls out uh, two coins that have a, a little pig shape on them. Smacks them down on the counter. And he says, This is your half gold, and whatever you want from the Walmart, you can take. I was more thinking we were saving the town rather than robbing it. But um, if that's what, how you want to think about it, that's okay. So everybody's on board, yeah? Confirmation, we're good? Are you, are you guys ready to head out right Deal. now? Okay, wizard's on board. Uh, let me give you that orange juice, by the way. He goes and jumps out the window again. Let's go. He comes back, he okay. mashes a few more orange juices together. The four of you, you each raise a glass of orange juice, clink it together. You chug it down excitedly, and then you head out the door, back into Walltown. Porky joins you on the fields of Walltown. You wander through alleyways, a couple of small streets, through a few farms, until finally. <clears throat> I need a dramatic song. What's a dramatic song? <clears throat> until finally, after 10 or so minutes, rising up on the horizon, you see a gigantic medieval Walmart. This thing is fucking huge. Just looking at its massive spires and signs makes you quiver with fear or delight, depending on your character. You see Porky behind you, trembling. This is clearly no warrior, this little pig dwarf. But you are brave adventures. You steal yourself 
You step forward. You push open the doors. And you enter into the first floor of Medieval Walmart. Let's go, little pig. We. Oui. And as the doors slowly open, your eyes adjust to the light, and you see that you are dead set in the middle of the Walmart food department. In fact, standing at the entrance of the Walmart, you see in front of you aisles and aisles of all different kinds of food. Every food you can imagine at a Walmart going all the way back. There's even like a giant open fire in this bakery. And you see an escalator at the very back left. Or maybe there's stairs because this is in, set in the fantasy world. Can I kick Flip off of a cart? Y yes. <laughs> right. To get a better view. Oh, right, right. That makes sense. Um, as you step into the Walmart, <clears throat> as you look at your surroundings, the wizard notices that there are shopping carts over here. Right as she begins to step towards them, you hear something over the loudspeaker. May I buffer for a good Wait. kick flip? What's a good song? Okay, same song. Suddenly, over the grocery store megaphone, you hear a voice cry out. So, Porky, you brought friends to try to take my Walmart down. Getting tired of my little monsters, huh? It's not going to work, Porky. Me and Walmart are going to take over all of Walltown. This staff makes me unstoppable, Porky. I don't care that you're the mayor. Prepare to die. In the food department! Get him! Dr. Pepper! And you see a Dr. Pepper. Jump down from the shelves and land. This sentient Dr. Pepper with evil-looking eyes glares at you with murder in its intent. But that's not all. We also have Cheetos! And an extremely dangerous-looking bag of Cheetos. It's even flaming hot, which is particularly scary. Not just that. We have... Not the doctor... Oreos! And an Oreo jumps down. It doesn't actually look that intimidating. He looks a little bit confused. But still, the guy sounds pretty uh, intense. Dear God! <laughs> sounds pretty intense about it. And of course, a bowl of cereal to kind of scrape the roof of your mouth and it'll be uncomfortable. And everybody, Porky opens his mouth. He says, no, that cereal is so painful, not Fruit Loops. Ah, uh, yes, my sworn nemesis, a single Oreo. <laughs> And finally, a monster that I've created just for you, Porky. A gigantic Hot Pocket! And you see a huge Hot Pocket emerge from this fiery bakery. And as it moves forward towards you, you actually see that it leaves behind a pool of smoldering hot tomato lava that looks deadly to the touch. All the foods begin slowly moving towards you. Venom in their eyes. And now we begin the adventure. It's you guys so are up. It's hot inside and cold outside. The barbarian, you have the first move. What would you like to do as the Dr. Pepper approaches your party? Oh. Hang on, I forgot my moves. <laughs> As a reminder, since we're getting into this now, maybe people understand a little bit more. Here, you, you guys can think about what you're doing, and then I will, uh... Where the fuck are the moves? Now that people maybe have a sense of kind of how this works, uh, let us uh, talk moves. Um, cool, that works. Alright, so, if you're playing as the Barbarian, your melee, you have a battle axe, you're fairly hard to hit, can you send us the link for the slideshow? If you do exclamation mark rules, that's what the link is. It'll take you to this page. Um, so you're hard to hit. You're basically the tank. You can just attack, right? You can just at any point go up and fucking whack them. Oh, oh, important thing I forgot to mention. Um, so just give me, uh, players, give me a sec to just think about what you want to do. Um, and we'll go in order, barbarian, bard, then wizard, and then the enemies will go. Um... The reason I set this in a Walmart, besides the fact that it's kind of funny, is uh, you can sort of reasonably interact or pick up things that would be in that section of a Walmart. This is meant to be like fantasy Walmart, so within certain, you know, within... It can't be like ultra high-tech or whatever. 
But basically, all the aisles have the food that you would see in a Walmart, right? So I want you to have the freedom to be like, okay, I would reasonably see this on the shelves or whatnot. No, we're not doing uh, turn turn order. It's just going to be enemies and then the three people from left to right. We'll always keep the turn order the same. The link isn't working. Is it not? I mean, there's a bunch of people who are on it. So anyways, if you ever want to be like, I look for this on the shelves and I grab it, um, then you could do that. Why is it not working? It was working. A bunch of people. There's 92 people looking at it. How far away can you attack? Uh, oh, yeah. Good good point. Um, these guys, if you're, you're ranged attacks, your spells, let's say... Normally it's normally it's like six squares, right? D&D people, six squares. Uh if if it's a ranged attack. Too much traffic so it's being slow. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a lot of people. Cool. I really have no clue how long this is going <laughs> to this whole thing is going to take. I I have it set up where like I can make the dungeon linear. So we'll mock the DR pepper can. All right, hold on, Nicaros. What does six squares mean? So there's Jesus, like a grid. The wheel. Ah! Zep deck, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. So if you, yeah, I guess let's just let's just talk rules real quick so people know what's going on. If you are, because now that now that we're like into the actual dungeon, if you are the barbarian, you would need to move up next to a guy and attack him. Okay, so you would say, I move up to the Dr. Pepper and I whack him with my axe. Is it, for example, what you could do? Um, you could also say, I want to go up to the food aisle and grab a gallon of milk and then do whatever you want with it, right? So you can grab things from the aisle. Uh, as a reminder, you basically get one action uh, per per turn can we move an action on the same turn yes so um you can basically think of your action as like an attack or like a like a big kind of thing that you do and then moving and talking are free i'm also for D, &D people i'm not going to do opportunity attacks um i'm just trying to keep it super simple so on your turn you can move up you can whack him and then uh and then say something as well um, but if you attack, that's like the main thing you're doing. Um, within reason, I'll let you grab something from the aisles and use it in one turn. Um, in actual D and D, the, the a turn is supposed to be six seconds, so it's like reasonably what you could do in six seconds, like kind of. With you know, and obviously, if you just want to do goofy shit, we'll we'll play it by ear, and I will um, I will just wing it based on the situation. I obviously Hold don't on. want to be like, can I bash respect. DR Pepper with my flute? Yes, you can attack him with your flute. Um, your flute is going to be like a little lower. So basically, uh, if somebody attacks you, there's going to be a certain role that they have to hit. If you're attacking somebody else, you have to, you, there's a certain um, uh, role that you're going to have to hit. In general, it's going to be 14. So if you go up and whack the Dr. Pepper with your axe and try to kill him, you're going to need to roll a 14 or above to hit him. Um, but if you do something crazy, let's say like the, the Dr. Pepper is knocked over or blinded or something else, right? If you weaken him or you are in a position where you're going to be able to be more effective, then, uh, then I will make the role easier to hit, right? So essentially you can do whatever you want in the situation to make it like reasonably easier or harder to hit people. Um, and, uh, and then I will adjust the role accordingly. Magic missile does one damage. It's, I know it's. I probably could have picked a better move. I probably should have swapped it to fireball, but magic missile is you are guaranteed a hit one okay, hit on I'm one ready. die. Um, I'm trying to, okay, cool. Let me, before you go, any other questions before I go on, you underestimate how unlikely a 14 is on a die. No, I actually perfectly understand how likely a 14 is on a die. <laughs> it's a six out of, it's a six out of 20, uh, or seven out of 20, right? I want it to be about like a two third. It's very simple math. Um, are there bonus actions? Not really, but within reason. Like it basically, you guys tell me what you want to do and I will try to accommodate. If it's way too ridiculous, I'll be like, you can only do this. Um, it's about a third, right? That you have about, sounds like someone who doesn't know fractions. You have about a third. Oh, sorry. Uh, there's about a one third chance of hitting an enemy was the intention. What is the movement speed? Um, to keep it simple, I'm going to say you can move up to five squares uh, and you your ranged attacks are five squares. I should have put that in the dock, but whatever. Um, again, I'm just trying to go off of what is going to keep things as simple as possible. Um, that's a little less than you probably would be able to in the normal game, but that's fine. It's not like it's a huge map or whatever. Um, any other questions? 14 is low. <clears throat> Combat will take forever. I mean, that's fairly standard to to D and D, and the fact that everybody has one health is partially why this is happening. Um, 
and we'll we'll see. I can adjust if we really need to. I this is my best guess at what will make this interesting. I don't know. I've put this is a lot of guesswork in terms of what is going on. Maybe this will suck. I don't know. This is my best guess. Um, <clears throat> but as a reminder, like Barb has reckless attack. Uh, the the wizard has magic missile, which the whole point is that it d is guaranteed to hit on that person. Um, yeah. 14 is really high with mo no modifiers. Well, then fuck it. It is totally possible that the way I set up these rules suck. But who fucking knows? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. All right, Murphalicious, you are up. You are the brain cell in control of the barbarian. What would you like to do as these enemies walk towards your party? I'll sack down a monster from a shelf next to the Cheetos for a damage bonus. <laughs> okay. The barbarian runs forward, runs past the Dr. Pepper, runs over to this aisle. He grabs a cool monster off of the shelf. He fucking shotguns the whole thing like a total frat bro. And he feels his muscles and his blood pumping. His next attack is definitely going to be stronger. Oops. All right. Why is it not? There we go. Also, I'm doing this in Photoshop because it'll make it easier, but maybe it'll make it harder. Bard, you are up. What do you want to do? Yes, Bard, you can mock people. You could bash somebody with your flute. You could use your dagger. Cheetos, not Froot Loops. Nikoros, you are up. Oh, shit. Hold on. Can you say that exact same thing again? I think a Zerd dropped it. Just send your same message. Ill cast motivation speech. I'm literally eating them for breakfast. It's gonna be piece of cake. <laughs> okay, wait, what does motivational speech do again? Let me remember. Okay, so motivation. Not from Lopes. Motivational speech you get once per floor. All three characters' next attack roll is going to be five easier than before. So the bard shouts out. He says, "I'm literally eating you for breakfast. This will be a piece of cake." And suddenly, the wizard, the barbarian, and you feel super motivated. You can tell your next turn is going to rip ass. Wizard, you are now up. What would you like to do? I would like to freeze the Doctor Pepper. Okay. You use your freezing bolt. You to fire it at the, the Dr. Pepper. Explode. <laughs> yeah, good call. Because it's a can and it's it will explode if it gets too cold, I will give you a one a one die advantage on that. So instead of 14, you need to roll 13. If you do, your attack hits. Let's see. Um, let's play this loud-ass music. 13 or above, and you hit. Nine asterisks. She's buffed. Eight. You Let's roll. You shoot the frost bolt, but the Dr. Pepper is one of those like little eight ounce, eight ounce cans. It's like a little shorter than you think. Oh, right. It's plus five. Hold on. Wait, wait. I totally forgot my own rules. Catch. Wait, so. Wait and bad at math. Wait, it's 13, so it's down to eight, right? You got it? <laughs> I forgot to do it. Okay, so the way this should work, whatever, we're figuring it out. The way this should work is that it would normally be a 14, but because the can is weak to frost, it's a 13, and then because she got motivated by the bard speech, it's actually an 8. And we'll just take that roll. 17! You fucking crush him! You shoot the frost bolt! directly at the Dr. Pepper, hits him square in the chest, and you see him start to go, oh, until the whole can bursts outwards. Dr. Pepper's dead. I even have blood. Let's go. One of the monsters is down. Good first turn. Now it's the enemy's turn, though. First up, these flaming hot Cheetos. Let me get this full screen. They look horrified. You, he spilled. Over at the dead Dr. Pepper. And then run up to you angrily, Barbarian. And they spray spicy Cheeto dust directly in your eyes. It's not blood, it's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> right, okay. 
I just... Nobody bleeds in this whole dungeon, okay? It's all Dr. Pepper. Oh, you wanted to move to the Cheetos. Whatever. Sorry. I'll get it next time. This works. The Cheetos tries to spray dust in your eyes. They need a 16 to hit. Well, we do bleed. Oh, shit. 17. So the Cheetos sprays the dust in your eyes. And you go, oh, God. Even with the monster, it connects with you. The Barbarian is knocked down. Scream. Ah. It burns. The agony. And one of his hearts drops down. The Barbarian is down to two. This Fruit Loop cereal is also going to come over to try to whack on this Barbarian before the monster can take effect. He kind of reaches his arm of Fruit Loops out, tries to rub the roof of your mouth and get it all scratched up. He needs a... That was a cheat out. 16 to hit you. 11. Right before he can, you chomp down. You bite the Fruit Loops in half. It doesn't work. Kidney need. All right. Barbarian, you are up. Because of that monster, you're going to have plus three on your next attack roll, plus five Oreo from the motivational speech. Oh, okay, Oreo. Uh, the Oreo actually can't get close enough. All the Oreo does is he runs forward. Oh, and the Hot Pocket. I forgot about all the other people. The Oreo runs forward, and the Hot Pocket also lumbers slowly, and you see the trail of lava grow behind him. Very ominous. Barbarian, you are up. What do you want to do? We'll probably do... Uh, oh, yeah. And in the corner, Porky the Pig Dwarf valiantly shivers like a coward and doesn't help out at all. We'll probably do... Why is the... Okay, I keep fucking this up with Photoshop. Whatever. Um, We'll probably do two turns-ish per person. So you guys get one more turn. Murphalicious. Barbarian, what would you like to do? Now I want hot Cheetos so badly. <laughs> I want to extra attack the Cheetos and Fruit Loops. Oh, shit. Okay. So the Barbarian, using his extra attack move, is going to get an attack on both enemies. Let's see if they connect. For the first one, Barbarian, you swing your axe towards the flaming hot Cheetos. You need a... Now, you're fucking juiced on Monster right now. Normally, you would need a 14, but you only need an 11. Well, you're even more juiced because that motivational speech from the Bard. So instead of an 11, you need a 6, right? So if you roll a 6 or above, you will whack these flaming Hot Cheetos. Hell yeah, brother. 10! Oh. <clears throat> The axe slices through the bag. You see all the compressed air shoot out, and he crumples like he was compressed by a hydraulic press. This thing dies instantly. Uh, and he starts um, <laughs> bleeding Dr. Pepper Clean everywhere. Up five. <laughs> okay, that was good. Um, wait, wait, where? Hold on, where are you? Cheetos, there you are. <laughs> They're different sizes. Okay. But then, with your double attack, you... Oh, wrong person. You turn around, and you send your axe flying towards the Fruit Loops as well. This is also a six, because you're still motivated and hopped up There's on Monster. No Good luck. Them. Thirteen! The axe connects with the Fruit Loops. The Fruit Loops also falls. And what's crazy is apparently the Fruit Loops... We're also mixed with Dr. Pepper. All right, the Barbarian is standing over the corpses of Don't two... Don't Joey Chestnut the way I'm crushing this food. Standing over the dead bodies of lots of fast food. Bard, you are up. The Oreo is closing in with the Hot Pocket coming in slow. Ill cast cure wounds. Heal Barbarian. Okay. The Bard, after motivating his team... Moves forward to the Barbarian. And replaces his hand gently upon the Barbarian's chest. Magical love energy you, starts flowing through him. The Barbarian gives him a fist bump and a head nod. I love you, bro. So sweet. And the Barbarian's vitality rejuvenates. He's back up to three hearts. 
Wait, I need to move for that. Yeah, you gotta touch him. He used to do that to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, the wizard's feeling a little lonely, watching those two bros heal each other. Wizard, what would you like to do? Yeah, cure wounds is a is a is a touchy one. By the way, not all enemies are gonna have only one health. If that's just like the standard. In a completely platonic way. Of course, of course, of course. Look, can't a couple dudes just be bros and heal each I other? I want to major image a big mouth. <laughs> oh. It's a shame that I can do that only once. <laughs> okay. Um, could sorry, could you give me more? So the mouth will scare the hot pocket. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. And you did sense that the Hot Pocket looked like a little timid and confused earlier on. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no, hold on. That's, that's too, that's too much. Let me, um, I'm looking up a picture. Big mouth. No, that's gonna pop up the show. Hold on. How do I search for a picture of a big mouth that isn't... Oh, did I say Hot Pocket? Sorry. You know what I meant. How do I search for an image of a big mouth? Large mouth. Yeah, that's a good idea. Big mouth open photos. Okay, this is just fish. Not cause, thank you for the 12 months, man. Appreciate it. Make do you suggestion to make Porky actually do shit for the team? No, it's gotta be. I guess it could be this mouth. Giant fish mouth would scare me. Wait, do you wanna do the fish mouth? <laughs> you can, it's your decision. Major image is just you conjuring up a giant fake image of something. It could be whatever you want. I mean, the more ridiculous it is, maybe the less believable for the Oreo? Sure, why not? Okay, cool. <laughs> That's too big. Hold on. That's too big. Fish mouth. Fish mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me... Oh, I'm nom nom. I guess I'll put it at the top. <laughs> okay. All right, you conjure up a gigantic, illusory image of a huge fish mouth who's gaping directly at the Oreo. And this Oreo is fucking terrified. This guy's a little coward. He turns around and sees this thing. He goes, holy shit! He has to roll to see if he can actually resist the Hot Pocket. What about the Hot Pocket? Wait, you said hot you wanted- pocket. Oh, that's what you were saying. You wanted the Hot Pocket. I thought you were saying you wanted it at the Oreo. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, sorry. You want the mouth at the Hot Pocket. I just assumed Oreo. Sorry, there's a lot going on. Give me, a, I'm gonna warm up, all right? Hot pocket. Got it, okay. So the range of that is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so you can make it like right next to him. Got it, got it, got it. All right. The lady said hot pocket. <laughs> Thank you, barbarian. Sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting a little confused. <clears throat> to think you used to be a cooking channel. I'm sorry that me Photoshopping in a fish head you a, are doing great, Doug. Thank you. That was so encouraging. Photo chopping a giant fish head to attack a monster hot pocket is not related to cooking, really. The lady wants her hot pocket. This song sucks too. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fine. Um. Uh. This. What about this? Barbarian, are you cool with this music? You are a frat bro, so you would be the one DJing. Nah, I like the other one more. <laughs> well, I don't even remember. Okay, you're stuck with this one. Okay, the wizard uses her major image spell to make a gigantic, illusory fish head move threateningly towards this hot pocket. As big as the Look hot pocket is. this audio file. The fish head looks like it just might be able to chomp it. Now this hot pocket does look pretty bold. 
is going to have to roll to see if he's actually intimidated by this monstrous head. Now, you picked what is the most confident enemy, so it's going to be a little hard to do this. 12 or, 12 or above, and the Hot Pocket is terrified. Let's see it. 17! I am a believer. So this fish head moves forward, and the Hot Pocket's like, holy shit! This guy's freaked the fuck out. He starts running backwards, sprinting as fast as he can towards the elevator in the far left. Oops. You see the trail of lava follow him. You've just bought yourself some space because this thing is terrified. Uh, the giant fish head will just kind of sit here Noise. quivering for a little bit. That's my wizard. <laughs> okay. Uh, did I move the hot pocket? I changed I my mind. This song is good. Okay. Um, now, on their turn, <clears throat> the hot pocket is just running away terrified. The Oreo is going to move, though. Seems a little scared, but he moves up to the wizard and tries to whack you with his forehead and cover you with cream. Wizard, you are a little weaker, so only needs to roll a 12 or above to hit you. Just oh, like 14. My husband Okay. Okay, the Oreo... Well, I'm not going to follow up on that. The Oreo hits you for one damage. <laughs> And you drop down to two. But your two friends are nearby and you bought yourself some time. That being said, huh. right as the turn ends, oh, uh, Zoe. you hear a loud noise. And the megaphone turns back on. He says, well, I guess I can't hold back against you three. You look a little powerful. It's time for my secret weapon. Ahem. <clears throat> A gigantic dino nugget! And a huge dino nugget! Jumps down from this shelf where a bunch of the frozen food was. This thing lumbers forward making big dinosaur breathing noises. This thing looks big and intimidating. Now Porky, from behind you, he shouts out, I've heard about the dino nugget. It can only see with movement. If you don't move, we should be safe. It is your turn again. Why is the Oreo up here? Look at the... F this is a mess. Shut up, Corky. <laughs> You're doing literally nothing. <laughs> yeah. Corky's got to be in a shithead. Um, that has been two turns. I'm going to swap players. Type exclamation mark bard, exclamation mark wizard, or exclamation mark uh, barbarian. I will just let bard. you guys know when I'm swapping players so that uh, you know when to type it, right? That way you don't have to type it any other time. You just gotta type it once. You can do it for multiple characters if you want. But just once per character. Alrighty, alrighty, alright, where are we? Okay, the new barbarian Thanks, is Doug! Hey, thank you three. Way to kick this off. Bard. McCrafter, hi. You are the barbarian. Aperson JB, you are the bard. And call D70, you are the wizard. Are all three of you here? Let me just make sure you're all here. Yes. All right, we got our wizard. Cast explosion. I just activated another brain cell. <laughs> all right, cool. Aperson, are you here? Are you ready to roleplay as a bard? But some messages do get dropped randomly, and then also, sometimes, Microsoft Azure, which is what I'm using for the text-to-speech voices... How do I type shot? Uh, like that? Is that what you're asking? You seem like you're ready. <laughs> uh, you just gotta type messages, and you're good. Alright. Um... <clears throat> Figured it out, lol. Yep, yep, you got it. <clears throat> New brain cells have taken over the team. It is now up to the Barbarian to decide what to do next. Barbarian, what would you like to do? Right now, you have a hot pocket running away in fear Let's from a fish head. Some nugs. And you've got a gigantic dino nugget, who you've been told can only see from movement. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can get to the Oreo. I go to the shelf and take three bottles of ketchup. I try to hide them underneath my armor. <laughs> okay, cool. So you um, you kind of waltz because this was the monster aisle. You kind of waltz past that, past the dead bodies, past the wizard who's being attacked. You come up near the fish head. You grab three bottles of ketchup. You start shoving them into your armor. Let me get you ketchup up. Ketchup is the best condiment. Uh, the bard is shouting out words of encouragement. Let me just... Uh, oh, that's still the fish. Hold on. Oh, please work, Photoshop. How do I... Hello? Okay. Don't think I have a plan with it. Just got hungry. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, um, the barbarian has successfully grabbed ketchup from the aisle. <clears throat> Doesn't sound like you want to do anything else. Bard, you are up next. What would you like to do? Wow, Barbarian, you're looking pretty saucy. <laughs> There's so much Dr. Pepper everywhere. <laughs> uh, Bard, what is your play? Ugh. You have to add hashtag ad. <laughs> I don't know if we're making any of these foods look appealing. There are going to be lots of brands today because it is a fantasy Walmart. Uh... 8%, did I miss you? Fantasy ad, yeah. Fa hashtag fantasy ketchup ad. Can I mock the Dino Nugget by saying you went extinct 100 million years ago? Oh! Ooh! Um, by mop, do you mean vicious mockery? Oh, mock. I thought you said mop. Yes, you can do that. You could run up and then mock him. Okay. Yeah, so you... Uh, oh, man. You fucking got him, dude. God damn. God damn. All right. So you, Barb. You jump over. Let me move you up. Let me replay that. You jump over the body of the flaming hot Cheetos. You run up past the gigantic illusory fish head. And you're just far enough. You're just got within earshot. To shout at the Dino Nugget and say, You went extinct a hundred million years ago, bitch! Not only that, you're still motivated from that speech you gave a while ago. So instead of the normal 14, you only have to roll a nine. Good luck! 15! The words cut into the dinosaur's heart. You see him kind of look, he frowns a little bit, and he goes, Oh man, all my friends and family are dead, and I'm made out of chicken! This dude stumbles. He looks weak. He's still kicking. He's still alive. But that thing really crushed. Great turn, Bard. Wizard, you are up. That Ooh. actually made me sad. It's a fucking dino nugget. He'll be fine. Wizard, what would you like to do? Can you give the dino nugget a little teardrop? Okay. <laughs> yeah, good call. I would like to tip some milk from the shelf on the Oreo. Oh, good play, good play. All right, hold on. <laughs> okay, the Dino Nugget's really sad from that. <clears throat> on the wizard's turn, she moves up to the aisle. She grabs an entire carton of milk and just dumps it onto the Oreo. Now, Oreos are weak to milk, so you're going to get plus two on your roll. A roll of 12 or above will connect. Good luck. You oh, no! Not only 
do you miss the Oreo entirely, but the milk just spills all over the floor, and you start swimming around, you, oh my god, your, your feet swoop out from under you, and you fall onto the floor. You lose your next turn. You lose your next turn because you miss so badly. I love floor milk. <laughs> okay. Um, it's now the enemy's turn. The Dino Nugget. Fresh from crying. Moves forward. No, he's crying. It's just spilt milk. <laughs> Moves forward towards you, Bard. It looks as though he can step over the molten lava. Oh, thanks now. I'm not thirsty anymore. Can he move far enough? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Um, he moves forward, but he does encounter this gigantic fish head. Now, at this Hopefully point, he's so he emotionally hurt um, that this fish head is not very likely to scare him. Uh... How do I drew this? I'm doing intimidation on the fish head. So this scary looking fish head would need to roll a, uh, let's say 18 or above to actually scare him. All right, this fish head is rolling and it's 18 or above, he scares the dino nugget. It doesn't scare him. The dino nugget, even though he's emotionally hurt, is not physically scared. He steps- Is he in the lava? He steps over, he is in the lava. You notice that his feet are burning, but he doesn't seem to care. And with that, his giant dino nugget head reaches down and takes a bite out of you, Bard. He needs to roll a 13 to hit you. Seven. You dodge out of the way at the last second. The dino nugget bite bites right next to your head, but you dodged it completely. The hot pocket up here. He's still terrified of that fish. He runs up, but as he turns around, he sees that the Dino Nugget was able to walk right up to it. He's a little encouraged by his ally. You see him turn around, and he slowly starts inching backwards. Looks like he might be rejoining the fight soon. Magma. And the Oreo, standing in a bunch of milk, tries to attack you, wizard. Normally, he would have the advantage, but there is milk kind of on his little feet. And so he's a little bit, a little bit unsteady. Oh, and you're only, you're already at two health. Uh, normally he would have advantage because you're knocked down, but because he's in milk, he's a bit soggy, so he doesn't. 12 or above and the Oreo hits you. Oh, just barely. This Oreo slips very slightly on the floor milk. It doesn't manage to connect his hit down onto you. The wizard dodges. Barbarian, you are up. What do you want to do? You did that thing where, like, you're on the ground in a, an action movie, and you see the attack coming, and you, like, roll over to the side really quick, and it just barely misses. And now you're covered in milk. He has multiple feet. I don't know. I guess I he's... take two of the ketchup bottles and try to cover the Dino with it so he can't see next turn. <laughs> okay. Okay, the Barbarian... I'm going to make the, the fish, like, transparent, because it's an illusion. And it's annoying and hard to see. All right, let me move you above the fish. The Barbarian takes his bottles of ketchup. He moves forward and he squirts them directly into the Dino Nugget's eyes. Let's see if it connects. This is, it would be easier than an attack. I'm gonna say you need an 11 and above to hit. It won't damage him, it'll just make him blind. 11 and above and you successfully squirt some ketchup. 11! Just barely hits it. So you squirt the ketchup directly in the Dino Nugget's eyes, and he roars around in anger. Now he's crying, but there's ketchup mixed with the tears. <laughs> um, That dude is not going to attack next turn. Bard, you are up. What do you want to do? That's my Bard. Why didn't you attack? <laughs> do I just, like, draw on him? How do I draw the ketchup? So he's just sobbing and he's covered in ketchup. I want to back away and annoy the nugget with my flute. Okay. 
Wait, when you say annoy, what do you what do you what do you mean here? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to hurt him? Are you trying to mock him? Or are you just gonna like sing to him? I think the wizard needs help. You need to realize there's more important things going on, okay? Hurt, hopefully. Um, okay, are you gonna use vicious mockery? So, quick reminder of what you have. So vicious mockery is where you like mock an enemy uh, to hurt them. So with this move, you would basically say an insult and if it connects, it would do damage and you could use your flute to like musically back up your attack. You've already Milk used- is good for the skin. Cure wounds and motivational speech you've already used. These are once per floor. So if you're down to vicious mock him, um, I want to musically mock him. Okay, okay. So the bard backs up and then uses his flute to belt out a musical insult at the Dino Nugget. Bard, what do you say? How many floors? It's variable depending how long it's going. The music will be worse than the current song playing. <laughs> this is a good song. <laughs> Why are the D and D characters upset with my DJing? <laughs> Hold on, let me play a better one. Um, how about uh this? Okay, I'm playing good. So Wait, hold on. Do I have a flute song? Here. Okay, what is your insult to the Dino Nugget? There's so much. This music is better than your future. Oh, shit. That was pretty brutal. And the dinosaur is already emotionally hurt from your last mock. And he's covered in ketchup and he's embarrassed. So he's particularly emotionally vulnerable right now. 13 and above and you hit. Oh, shit. As you play your flute and the words float across, you see them magically instill themselves into this dino nugget. He cries one last ketchup-covered tear and then collapses, dead and cooked on the floor. He's done. I don't even need to show his eyes as red. <laughs> They're already covered in ketchup. Um, and he starts... He, he starts spilling out <laughs> Dr. Pepper. The Dino Nugget's dead. <laughs> Dino Shark <laughs> extinct once more, Pac. <laughs> All right, um, you guys, you guys really fucked that dinosaur. Meanwhile, you're just letting the wizard die. Wizard, you are up. What do you want to do? Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. You only have one. So you can use your turn to get up, and then you could run somewhere, or do something else. But your action for this turn is like getting up. But if you want to do anything else, you can do that. You are currently laying on the floor covered in milk. It's not a skip turn. It's you're spending your turn getting up, but I'll allow you to move afterwards. Or say something. If you want to say anything, you can do that as well. Yeah, I'm not doing opportunity attacks. It's one of many things that I am dramatically simplifying. I mean, you can also lay on the floor if you want. It is your call. You can just lay there <laughs> if you would like. Uh, no, I'm not going to let you magic missile from the floor. I feel like that's too much. Run away, making a milk trail as I go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you know what? Here, let me do something. So, there's milk all over the floor. Wizard, on your turn. You pick yourself up. And you try to book it as far away as you can. You get about here. And because you're still sopping wet with milk, a big trail follows you on the way there. <laughs> Ray of Frost the milk. All right, that is your turn. Um, the enemies are up. The Oreo at this point, it's milk, come on. This isn't even like overtly sexual. It's fucking milk. Come on. Um, 
The Oreo. Sure, it's milk, Doug. Ugh, gross. The Oreo sees the wizard run away, but since she is dripping milk all over the place, he doesn't really want to follow in that. He's clearly not a fan of milk, so instead he runs forward and goes for the bard. He tries to give a big fucking forehead butt to the bard's face. He's got to roll a 13 or above. You fail. Oh, shit! Not only does the Oreo miss, he kind of stumbles forward. Different. He stumbles forward, and he trips over the dead Cheeto bag and falls forward, bumps into the wizard, and then falls backwards into the milk. The dude is soggy and soaky. Definitely not moving next turn. Strong. This milk really fucked him up. Meanwhile, with the Dino Nugget dead, the Hot Pocket looks infuriated, but kind of scared. He starts running back towards you, dripping hot lava behind him. Fell off harder than Ludwig. <laughs> what? Um, okay. We are doing new... Oh, where's the Oreo? There you are. I keep accidentally moving the wrong thing. We're doing new people! Thank you, McCrafter, Aperson, and Caldy for... As a reminder, the Barbarian still has one bottle of ketchup under his armor. <laughs> Much luck with it. Yes. Uh, I agree. Thank you for the reminder. All right. Uh, exclamation mark, wizard, exclamation mark, barbarian, exclamation mark, bard, whoever you want to play. By the way, thank you everybody for not spamming this outside of these moments. Uh, there's been much less spam than I it thought, so thank you for, for helping with that. All right. Um, should be good. To be safe, just throw your name in the ring. Um, you know, every time I say it, every time I like say, we're going again. All right. Our new barbarian is Lord Basti. Our new bard is Scarvener. And our new wizard is Mantod. Can you guys all say something to ensure that you are here? Also, <laughs> this is the most like fucked up looking battlefield. Yes. Uh, can, whoa, whoa. can somebody play Porky and all they can do is talk? <laughs> I'm playing Porky. The whole time Porky's just been sitting here being a coward. And for people who missed it, Porky is the mayor of Walltown, who they are helping right now. All right. Barbarian. Lord Basti, Barbarian, you have a new brain cell. There's currently a tripped, weak Oreo and a full-strength hot pot kid, dripping lava walking towards you. What would you like to do, Barbarian? Porky Stinks. This is a song from Atomic Heart, the game. That is one fine-looking hot pocket. <laughs> All right, the, bar the bard's interested in the hot pocket. Can I eat the Oreo? You can definitely try to eat this Oreo. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can move five squares. Is that what you want to do? Let me just confirm. Here, what is this song? He always has been into all kinds of hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> this song is... Yes. Here, this is the name of the song. That's the name of the song. I don't know how to pronounce it. Except for yours. Oh! The bard viciously mocking his ex-wife. Okay. The barbarian runs forward, sprints to where the Oreo is laying there helpless, reaches forward and tries to take a big chop out of his head. The Oreo is weakened. He's vulnerable. So you must only roll a 13 or above. That's what you were saying last night before this quest. 13 or above! Nine! Unfortunately, the milk also makes you kind of slip. The milk's just kind of fucking everybody up here. Bard, you are up. What do you want to do? Angry no. Oh, just put angry in parentheses. The ketchup was 12. Yeah, but the ketchup wasn't a damage roll. It was like just spraying. So I made it a little easier. I cast suggest on the useless pig dwarf, telling him to get into the fight. You're using the 
suggestion now? Okay. The Bard is going to use his one-time move in the whole dungeon. He walks towards Porky, who at this point has just been cowering, doing nothing. Scarbiner, what specifically do you say? Say say your words here. What do you say to Porky? Let's see if you can suggest him into doing whatever you want. Suggestion is going to magically influence him to do anything that you want, but he's got to resist it if he doesn't want to by default. Um, let me get some music. Nope, no chat veto. Sorry. You gotta trust your bard, bro. It could come in clutch. Well... Doesn't suggest work with actions that won't bring harm to the target. Well, in this case, you're telling him to, like, go fight. Uh... Scarvener, what specifically do you say to this pig dwarf? Porky might come in clutch. So Porky doesn't want to fight, right? Like, he doesn't, he doesn't want to do anything. Porky. Be beef, my friend. Okay. Scarvener suggests to Porky, you've got to be beef. He never was really good with his words. <laughs> Porky's a, a little confused, but he can tell that you are magically suggesting that he gets into this fight and helps take down this Oreo and this Hot Pocket. He does have to roll to try to resist it. Um, this isn't that dangerous of a situation. So we're gonna say as long as True. you, as long as you roll um, an eight or above, Porky will join. This is something where I would have made it a lot harder if you guys hadn't already taken out most of the enemies. So he's more receptive to this. So eight or above, and Porky. Can someone read the label for Oreos to me? I need to know the nutrition facts before my next turn. Eight or above, and Porky <gasps> goes along with it. Porky's eyes lights up. You see a little magical influence in his brain, and he says, Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should help defend Wall Town. And he runs forward towards the Oreo. He goes all the way. He leans down, tries to take a big bite. Four, uh, no, he's, he's down. 13 or above, and Porky will, will do it. Oh. Fucking 20! Porky leans down and takes the whole Oreo, jams into his mouth, and just crunches there like a barbarian, like a fucking lunatic. You see, and the Oreo, the Oreo. Where's where's my my Dr. Pepper? The Oreo is just spilling a giant pile of Dr. Pepper everywhere. He's been dead for like five minutes, but Porky will not get up, will not stop chomping into this corpse of an Oreo. He eats the entire fucking thing, and you guys are just standing Easy there clap. horrified that of the lunatic Oreo. that this boy turned into. Porky's in the battle. The Oreo is dead. Wrong color. Bard, your turn is up. Wizard, you are up next. What would you like to do? The only remaining enemy is the Hot Pocket. That's my mayor. That is your fucking mayor. Put blood in his mouth. <laughs> Can I reach the hot pocket for an attack? Um, you're so you you have ranged attacks. So your attacks again are. Let's pull up the rule book. Is, is this still not working for people? This link, as I think, just the sheets is having issue. It might be capped at a hundred people. Um, it's working for me. Okay, cool. So you can do ray of frost. You're, you can basically hit five five squares away, right? So you would be able to move close enough to shoot him, yeah. You could also do magic missiles, which you guys have once per floor. That's basically a guaranteed hit. Um, or you could try to run up to him and whack him with your staff, but I do think you're too far away for that. So you can't go physically whack him, but you could one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then he's five away. So you could get close and then shoot something at him.
Magic Missile, you do have once per floor. So strategically, there's not, you know, not a reason not to use it, really. I cast Magic Missiles on the Hot Pocket, yelling my Hot Pocket is the only one for that bard. <laughs> okay. Our wizard seems to be a little hornier than our bard. Um, let me throw music up. Oh, mama. Okay. The wizard jumps over this pool of horrific blood and detritus from Porky's eating. She runs forward next to her gigantic illusory fish. What? She sticks out her, sh her staff and fires three magic bolts directly into the hot pocket. Now these magic missiles, they have a property that they never miss. And so they slam into the hot pocket. They go right through his body. You can actually see a big hole where the missiles have gone through. And he keels over, spews out some lava onto the floor. <coughs> but he picks himself back up and looks at you furiously, wizard. The thing is hurt, but it's not quite dead. It's now the hot pocket's turn. It moves forward. Era, era. It steps over the body of the Dino Nugget and spews out flaming hot lava onto you, wizard. 12 or above, and the lava hits. Oh, 16. The lava spits out. Uh, wait, where's my, where's my lava thing? There's so many layers now. He sprays out lava all over you, wizard. The lava, it, it scorches your body. It scorches your arms. You go, oh, God. You First lose another heart. She's ever been hot. Okay. <laughs> Little bit of a marital disagreement here. The enemies have moved. Barbarian, it is your turn again. Him. <laughs> Whispers, sad but excited wizard noises. <laughs> okay. Uh, barbarian, what would you like to do? The barbarian takes a moment to shout, Got him! And then contemplates what he'll actually do. Oh, the wizard is so dead. Wizard is the one. I'm gonna move this image down a little Can bit. Can I marry the hot pocket? <laughs> I mean, you could ask, I guess, on your turn. Reckless attack the hot pocket. Oh shit! Okay, can you make it there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can make it there. All right, the barbarian is gonna use his reckless attack. This is gonna make him more powerful, but more vulnerable next turn. He runs all the way up to the hot pocket. Gingerly steps around the lava. There's just a little bit of space over here to do it. And in a fury, swings his battle axe. Normally, it would be a 14, but with his reckless attack, only a 9. We must seduce the Hot Pocket. Well, you might not have a chance. 11! As he swings the battle axe through the air, it slices directly into the magic missile hole, ripping the entirety of the Hot Pocket open in half, and the Hot Pocket collapses onto the floor, dead in a pool of Dr. Pepper. Well played to the team. You have defeated the food department. Easy. Depressed. I hope it's still good to use. Let me give him some Dr. Pepper. Okay. <laughs> Look at the fucking... This, is, this place is a mess. There's Dr. Pepper and milk everywhere. Okay. Um... Now, um, let me kind of uh, recap the situation a little bit. Use for eating, of course. <laughs> Somebody said average Walmart. <laughs> this? Um, yeah, Can Doc I drink the Dr. Pepper? Yeah, okay. The barbarian Wink. gets down on the floor and starts drinking some of the Dr. Pepper that's leaking out of the Hot Pocket. Um, I guess it sounds like all you guys are kind of interested in the floor milk. Yeah, Doug, so far I'm not noticing any difference between this and every Walmart I've been to. I want to seduce the barbarian. <laughs> okay. What do you say to him? Uh, I need to put on music for us moving things along. 
Um, no, it's too chill. We need upbeat music. Upbeat, pump up. Uh, sure. Not this again. All right, the bard rolls his eyes. He's seen this before. I feel bad for the person who's <laughs> gonna have to clean this up. I really like the way you put your axe in my hole. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and move on. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you feel free to grab any additional foods that you like around the food aisle or to do anything with these uh, dead bodies. Um, you do see at the very back left of the room, there is stairs going up with a sign next to it that says, Clothing Department. Porky, by the way, is still just, like, fired up. He's running around just screaming what? like, Yeah, bro! Let's fucking go, bro! Okay, the Barbarian's a little little scared of your chances, <laughs> wizard. All right, I'm seeing some poggies for clothing. I it's can't read the food labels. Lord Busty, could you whisper them to me? Slowly. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my pig. Okay. All right, it looks like these two are bonding, and then the bard and Porky I the pig dwarf are kind of bro bond. out down here. Uh, we're really seeing two couples emerge. Okay. Any final actions before you continue to the next? I'm gonna do this a bit railroady to keep progress moving along. I drink the milk! <laughs> okay. Alright. So, after hitting on each other, the barbarian goes and drinks Dr. Pepper off the floor, the wizard goes back and starts lapping up milk like a cat, and the bard and Por Porky the Pig Dwarf are just fucking broing around down south. After getting your fill of various drinks, the four of you move forward through the defeated food aisle. Can I take olive oil? Yes. On the way there, you pick up a bottle of olive oil. You tuck that next to the ketchup in your armor. Wait, heal me first, Bard. He's already healed. You only get one heal per, uh, per room. Will yourself up to be immune to grapples. <laughs> I guess you could. If you oil, if you oiled yourself, it'd be slightly harder to hit you. And you guys make it towards the edge. Porky now getting a little bit scared. His bro down is maybe not lasting as much as he'd like. The suggestion's starting to wear off. And the four of you advance up the stairs into the clothing department. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna roll new people. Go ahead! Exclamation mark! Barbarian! Exclamation mark! Bard! Leader confirmed. And exclamation mark! Wizard. And as a reminder for everybody while we're waiting. Wizard. Uh, do, 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 do. Where the hell is my thing? This. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's over here. <clears throat> Just quick reminder for, for some rules while you guys are on. Um, if you are talking as one Bard. of the players, you can do, uh, you can put this at the beginning of your message in in parentheses, angry, cheerful, excited, hopeful, sad, shout, terrified, unfriendly, or whisper. It will actually do it in that tone. Otherwise, it'll pick a random emotion to say it with. Um, do, 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 die, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, three health. If the wizard goes down to zero health, she's not dead, but she is then unconscious and only has, basically does one roll to see if she permanently dies. So she is close to being at risk of dying. Um, the And then, um, again, in terms of moves, you have certain moves that are limited. So Reckless Attack, Barbarian, you can use this. Oh, I'm adding five to roll. Hold on. Five. So Reckless Attacks means you add five to your roll, but enemies add it to theirs, so you basically are more powerful, but it's a little riskier. Extra Attack is once per floor of the dungeon. Uh, you can attack twice on this turn, and then once per dungeon, like the entirety of the stream, you can do Intimidating Presence, which makes everybody run away from you. Um, so this once per floor turn it, move is now refreshed. Same with Bard, so his Cure Wounds, which is healing somebody for one health. This is once per floor. Motivational Speech is once per floor. Suggestion is now used. That's once per stream. Uh, and then Wizard, Ray of Frost, you can shoot that at any time. Magic Missiles once per floor. Major Image once per floor. And Polymorph once per stream. So everything refreshes now that we're on to the next layer. All right, our new Barbarian is Meteor Mash 111. Our new barbar our new Bard, Dragon Lazu Lu. Dragon Lazu? I'll call you Dragon. And our new Wizard, Toastman Z. 
Can you guys say something to confirm that you are here? Park! You are here. Present! Fist and Doug! Thank you, Lincoln. Where's the wall meth? You guys haven't cooked any. Ugh. Uh... Toastman Z, are you here? You didn't do the wizard personality page. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I did. Just go down. It's it's in the slideshow. The keep Fireball! Okay, Toastman is here. Toastman knows exactly what they want to do. Alright, let me remind myself of what's going on here. Um Hey, I'm having a great time. This is fun. I'm glad this is actually, like, pretty fun. I had no idea if this would work. I'm having a great time. All right. <clears throat> Doug, can you theoretically be my friend in this world? <laughs> Doug is theoretically not in this world. You can be friends with Porky. You and Porky seem to be jamming. As you step up the stairs to floor two of the magical Walmart, your eyes adjust, and you now look into the clothing department. But I need you for mockery. <laughs> you notice immediately what appears to be a gigantic hole in the floor, along with various pieces of clothing articles spread throughout. It's almost like three platforms seem Am to be I suspended still covered in milk? over this gigantic... Yes, you are still covered in milk. Unless you swap clothes. <laughs> uh, you can see down the pit is actually the first floor. It's like a 30-foot drop down there. The stairs went up Clothing pretty high. Paw. That's going to be pretty dangerous if anybody were to fall down there. You also notice at the far end of the room, there appears to be uh, some orc sitting at a cashier table looking rather bored. Team, you have entered floor two. What would you like to do? My brother. At this point, you're not in combat, so you can all kind of decide what you want to do. <laughs> the barbarian bro. Find a cool hat. Okay. Can I wear better clothes to riz up other people? <laughs> you guys can look for clothes. Currently, the only clothes that are accessible is this rack here or this rack here. This one looks like it's more colorful kind of shirts and dresses. This one's hoodies. If either one of you, if one of you wants to go grab them, I mean, we'll say you're moving forward. Can I get a dress? <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> the barbarian. Hold on. Are there any clothes covered in milk? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, these white sweaters down here. We're gonna say they're actually like yellow, but they're just soaked in milk. So the wizard comes down here to check out the milk clothes. The bard is peering over here for a hat. And meanwhile, the barbarian wanders forward to look at one I of these dresses. Them with milk, wink, wink. Okay, no more milk is semen jokes. We've made the joke, let's move on. Now it's just milk. The barbarian sees the dresses here on this e platform. W. And he steps forward to take a look. However, the instant he steps onto the platform, you hear the megaphone from the Walmart crackle into life. And I need dramatic music. Dramatic music. <clears throat> and you hear Walter again. So, Parky, you defeated my dino nugget. Well, there's more where that came from. You'll never get through the, the, the clothing department. I have a little trick up my sleeve. Now, Bert! And Bert, the orc up here, he kind of goes... All right, looks a little bored. He pulls a big lever that was sitting right next to him on the cash register. Suddenly you hear machinery clanking and whirring and coming to life. And these platforms that for an instant ago were lifeless start to very slowly move upwards. At the same time, up here in the dragon's wear and elves wear, you see that a bunch of... Can I get my bro Porky better clothes because he's covered with Dr. Pepper? Uh, yes, you're looking for clothes right now. You aren't even paying attention. Meanwhile, five... Sentient, evil-looking mannequins pop Can out I of the clothing. In this section? 
And right before, can you what? Can you buy shoot? No, Bert. <laughs> you were my brother. Um. All right, you guys are yelling out in shock as this betrayal happens. The mannequins, they run forward right as the platforms begin to move. And you see that the platforms start rotating around the center. Uh-oh. And this platform shifts downwards towards the center. Meanwhile, this platform with the barbarian on it shifts upwards here. And now they're stranded in the middle. The mannequins run forward looking menacingly. Two of them make it onto the middle platform. Three are back here. Combat has now begun. Barbarian, you are stranded on these platforms with five mannequins. The rest of you are clothes shopping. Like, for, for Porky, I think. Can I, I mock them? <laughs> uh, on Where your turn, are yes. their legs? They don't have legs. Or they're too long or whatever. Barbarian, you are up. What would you like to do? It's Doug. <laughs> How can they walk? Uh, very care. Okay, they have like a little bit How of leg here. How can they move without legs? They're kind of like just. They have little like nubs, and they just can move I get quick a on the nubs. To look before I fight. <laughs> yes. Immersion ruined. Okay. It's a two-year subscription. Wait, do you want to do this as your cash turn? In the trash. Princess Jessica, thank you for the two years. Yeah, they crawl like a snake, so it's really creepy. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, the barbarian. How are we going to do this? <laughs> the barbarian, seeing the danger that approaches him, knows he must look fashionable. And he dives into this rack of clothing and finds a beautiful uh, red dress. How am I going to Photoshop this onto you? Yeah, slay. <laughs> Rules. Okay. Um... Red dress, no person. Why can't I copy this in? Hold on. <laughs> this is, all right, this is important. This is, this is really important. Plus one AC. <laughs> Transgender Prime. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll allow that. Um, okay. Damn, Meteor, you look good. Uh, okay. Is that... Hold on. Does this even look like a dress? I feel like it doesn't. Wait, why isn't Can it... Can we turn Ray of Frost into Ray of Milk? <laughs> sure. Does that even look like a dress? I feel like... Thank you, yeah. Dragon! <laughs> I mean, this could just be cross-dressing, dude. We have no idea. Um, ultimately, all we know is that the Barbarian looks fly as fuck right now. This is a basic outstress. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. He's so broad-shouldered. I could try this one. Hold on. This might work a little better. If this doesn't work, we're going to move on. Me making the Barbarian look really wonderful in this dress feels like not the biggest priority at the moment. <laughs> that smile shines brighter than Doug's bald head. <laughs> this, look, this is just... I don't know, man. Is it beautiful? Okay. It um, is maximum priority! Okay. Let me group you guys together. Uh, barbarian. Okay. The Barbarian has put on a beautiful red dress. And now, faces the mannequins with renewed confidence. That dress is absolutely necessary. All right, that is his turn. Bard, what would you like? Your friend, the barbarian, trapped on an island with five deadly looking mannequins. What will you do? I want to mock the mannequins. Okay, you can only mock one. Which one do you mock? They all look completely identical. <laughs> Maybe the right one? The right most? Oh yeah, the wizard's at one health. But I mean, the wizard's I out of- I want to mock the one closest to the barbarian. Okay, the barbarian, or excuse me. The bard is designed to mock. The middle one is the most menacing. Um, the, uh... The bard 
No chat I'm not healing the wizard unless she milks me. All right. As a reminder, we are talking about real milk. This is actual milk that was relevant in the food aisle. What is your mocking words towards the mannequin? You got to give me your quote. If you if you pick if you play as barbarian, be ready to actually like Doug, what are you talking about? I got the milk from the floor below. Right, exactly. Uh, you have to actually, like, provide me with an insult. So you are using your magical words to mock this mannequin. To make him feel insecure and hopeless. What do you say specifically? The bard's personality is literally horny. Yes, but we can move on from specifically your referencing- head is so bald that it makes my friend Doug look hairy. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Doug, my text isn't getting read. Oh. Sorry, Toast Man. Some of them drop. I'm not sure why. Uh, if it isn't, just repeat it. Um, I think it's a Twitch thing. I'm not sure. Oh, that one worked. Yeah. Just try again if it's not going. All right, you shout that insult at the mannequin. And he's actually a huge Doug Doug fan, so he knows how bald I am. And this is like really, this is really shocking to him to hear. What a what a horrible thing to say. And so you actually have advantage on this roll. 13 or above, and your words will connect and do damage. Oh, a 12. So just for a moment, the mannequin looks like he might really be hurt by this. That it might actually take him out emotionally and physically. But then he remembers that Doug's not actually that bald. So it's fine. So he's fucking fine, and he dodges the attack. And he's like, God, Doug Doug's so great and hairy. Wizard, you are up. What do you want to do? <laughs> Copium. For my first turn, I call my mom and tell her I love her. Doesn't that mean it worked, though? It just barely didn't. Um. You don't have a phone. I would like to support what you were saying. But... I don't know how to make give you a phone call. Magic. Yeah, but I don't I don't think that I just let you do whatever you want because of magic. We can, we need to have Doug, some she's a wizard, she can send magic texts over magic sass. <laughs> um fine. Okay, fine. I use mirror image to make the mannequins have legs. You don't have mirror image. <laughs> Here are the spells that you have. Wait, where is it? You have Ray of Frost, Magic Missile, which you can use once per floor, Major Image, um, which you can use once per floor, and Polymorph, which you can use once per stream to transform an enemy into an animal. You said Mirror Image. Oh, do you mean Major Image? I meant Major Image. Oh, okay, okay. Mirror Image... I'm mirror. so angry I want a poor porky. Mirror image is a different is a different spell, so that's why Right, that's right? Mirror image is um It's the one where you have like copies of yourself, right? So I'm I'm not crazy for hearing the wrong thing there. Yeah, mirror image is a different spell. I not you to Photoshop legs Doug now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna use major image to create illusory legs for the mannequins. Let me, I will do my best. <laughs> Is that good? Um, perfect, all right, cool. Oh, wait, hold on. Um. Hey, Doug, you look totally not bald today, by the way. Nothing to do with my personality. Thank you. Am I doing these all correct? <laughs> They're beautiful. Um, okay. Using your magical powers. 
you form illusory legs onto these mannequins who now suddenly are looking down for the first time in their short lives are seeing what they might, what they might look like if Walter had given them an entire body. Um, and in fact, the, during their turn, the first two of them are, are so shocked by this that they actually look down and just admire it. They spend the whole time admiring. The legs this... are meant to hinder their movement and cause confusion. Okay, well, they're mostly pretty happy about it. So they're looking down happy. These two also look pretty happy, but this one doesn't seem to care that he has legs. He runs forward. One, two, three, four, five. So you've managed to distract four of them with this image. But you can see that one of them is realizing that it's a image and that these legs aren't going to actually work. As they are coming to this realization... <clears throat> as they're coming to this realization, you hear the gears of the platform start to churn again. Let me make sure I have your dress. And suddenly, the platforms shift yet again. And you see, they move again in a clockwise motion. Uh, just to be clear, you can't access over this gap. We're going to say it's slightly too big. Or you can make a jump if you want, but it's not easy to do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the platforms shift again. Now, Porky is vulnerable next to the two mannequins over here. Barbarian, it is your turn again. What would you like to do? Wait, it's been two turns, right? You guys started? Yeah, I'm going to move on. All right. Exclamation mark. Barbarian, wizard, or bard. Number one. Thank you. Meteor Mash, Dragon Laws, and Toastman for your contributions. You forgot about Porky. Porky's not fighting. He's scared again. Barbarian. Okay, our new barbarian is the epic viewer. Our new bard is Shabby McStabby. And our new wizard is Backward Base. Can you guys all say something just so I know Shut you are here? Sup? Uh, Shabby McStabby and Backward, are you here? Is there I magic? I feel like hat? a new man. All right, you're here. The brain shell, the brain cells, brain cells have shifted. Porky has tasted Dr. Pepper. You get the sense he's more confident, but he's still kind of a coward and he's hiding in the corner. I am he. Uh, backward base. Just let us know if you're here. Base is gone. All right. I'm gonna move on base. I'll give you a couple more seconds. I mean, sometimes messages just get lost. Who was that the bear? For some reason, but I do wanna double check. Um, all right, I don't think they're here. Sorry if you are and you just got screwed. Fruit moss. Fruit moss. Fruit moose. Are you here? Holy crapola. Welcome. Welcome to the new squad. You're in a bit of a pickle right now. The Barbarian, stuck by himself on this platform. Three mannequins in the Hi, middle, Douglas two on this one. Douglas. Hello, hello. Um, I need to urinate, so I'm going to do that. Um, be right back. You can uh, decide what you want to do. Chat, you can have suggestions for how you would like to handle this room. I think you have a sense of what's going on here. Um, and we'll say that there's hats back here in the gnome's wear. Drunk beer. Bard, if you heal me, I will do a kickflip on a mannequin. Surprise face! Chair! That 
That's a Chera's answer. Are you sure you're not just gonna slip on milk again? Yes, how? Yeah, I forgot you have olive oil and ketchup. <clears throat> We're back. Oh, Doug's back. Barbarian, you are Doug up. Doug is attacking chair. You can attempt to jump over this gap to land on this platform if you would like. You can also move north off of it. What would you like to do, Barbarian? Sad face. The blessing of the chair adds plus three. Seduce the orc. Pause, champ. Ask Manson to try and. Who, who's Manson? Do therapist. Sorry, could you... Rep what? What? Did you mean man? I'm not sure what you mean. Is he a are you actually drunk? <laughs> Let him cook. I just... Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand what you're asking for here. I don't know who Manson is. He's drunk on milk. Well, didn't the barbarian chug a bunch of Dr. You Pepper? You want to be a therapist? The brain cells are faulty. Oh no. Look, we have a couple brain cells. And get drunk! Um, to Epic Viewer, you gotta give me a coherent instruction of what you wanna do. There is not currently <gasps> alcohol available. You heard him. Do therapist and get drunk. I just don't- I don't know what that means. I don't know how to do that in the context of this floor of the dungeon. The milk was clearly spiked by Doug. <laughs> he was drinking Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Who spikes milk? Ask the mannequin to stop, please. You. Um. So you just want to go? You just want to go up to the mannequin and. And just ask it to stop. Like, to Final stop it. answer. Okay. Okay. Um. Yes! Okay. Okay. So, you stand here on the corner of the platform. And you put, you, you put your hands around your mouth and you just say, Hey, mannequin! Stop! Now, this wasn't a particularly eloquent Trump, argument. It must work! Okay. You're very confident, but it doesn't appear that these magically controlled mannequins seem that receptive to it. If you roll a 19 or above, it just might get through them. Okay. Oh! You sounded quite confident, and the mannequins did hear you, and you could tell they kind of respect how confident you are and how beautiful you look in your red Rigged. dress. But unfortunately, they are not deterred. Bard, you are up. Mannequins are sociopaths. Advantage because of dress. Just telling an an enemy to stop is not going to have a very likely chance of working. 
please heal me. I can do kick flips. True. <laughs> he said please, though. I guess he did, yeah. There should be a plus four I use boost. cure wound on the wizard if she gives me another chance. Wizard, do you give your ex-husband another chance? As long as he provides milk for our children. <laughs> In a beautiful moment of romance and forgiveness, the bard and the wizard rekindle their friendship. And the bard places a hand on the wizard's shoulder, and magical healing energies pop her back up to two health. We have children. <laughs> wizard, you are up! And she dislikes your Twitter. What would you like to do, wizard? Remember. Okay, the bar the barbarian is just kind of shouting stuff back here. It appears that he's this brain cell is drunk. It's your fault. <laughs> and he's just shouting relationship advice across the gap. <laughs> okay. Uh Frutmos, you are up. What would you like to do? Am I able to run up to a mannequin and kick flip him into the void? Unfortunately, you are a little bit too far. You can move five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. You can move to here and then try to kick flip somebody next turn. You could you can move here and attack though, if you wanted. That's four. One, two, three, four, five. That's three. <laughs> No, it was not three. You're right. Sorry. You would move to here. Can I magic missile the mannequin above me? Yeah. You can magic missile up to five away, so you'll be able to hit this one. No. <laughs> the, the, dr <laughs> the drunken barbarian is just shouting, No, you can move a little working. farther! All right. Uh... Just to confirm, Fru Frumos, you can. Do you want to use Magic My Missile friend. on this guy? Oh, this song rips. Yes, please, Doug. Okay. The wizard, after being healed up by her ex-husband, runs past it, ignores it, and then fires a Magic Missile across the gap over at this mannequin. It's guaranteed to hit. It slams into his chest. The mannequin falls over. Hello? Hello, mannequin? Why can't I... Pick you, mannequin? Hello? There we go. The mannequin falls over. It's cold plastic eyeballs. Fading to red. And the corpse drifts off, rolling slightly, and falls into the abyss. Below, you hear a sickening crunch as the body hits the ground. One mannequin is done. The mannequins are up. <laughs> Don't oh seven. It's an enemy. It's an evil. Does it sound like a boomwhacker when it falls over? <laughs> yes. I will avenge you. The mannequins? <laughs> Our barbarian is so drunk. Okay. <laughs> the mannequins are up. Uh, these two yes. realize that Porky is vulnerable. One of them runs over and tries to headbutt Porky into the face. Now, Porky's a little weak. 14 or above will hit him. Her? Oh, shit! So this dude whacks Porky in the head, and he gets knocked down. He doesn't appear to be unconscious. The dude can tank a little bit. He is a pig dwarf, after all. But he's, like, a little beat up. This mannequin runs for him, but can't quite reach him. These two are staring no, menacingly at the barbarian. He is slightly over this gap, and one of them decides, you know what, he's going to go for it. He comes here, and he takes the jump, trying to punch the barbarian in the head. Uh, what would this mean? Sad face. Eight or above will jump the gap. Sixteen or above will actually connect to the That's hit, me. too. Thirteen 
So he jumps forward and tries to punch you in the head, but he misses, kind of tumbles over you, and lands on the other side of the barbarian. But there! Uh, this mannequin sees that the jump didn't work and doesn't even attempt it. That is the mannequin's turn. At the end of it, you see the platforms begin to shift again. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Why is it not selecting everything? The platforms shift again, now into a vertical, straight line. Let's pick some new... That's been two turns, right? Dress plus one AC. Right, sorry, sorry. I need to do that next time. Has that been two turns, or one? Oh, that was just one. That's just one. We'll keep going. To Epic Viewer. You are now on this platform. Sandwich between two mannequins. What would you like to do? What about Porky's turn? Right, right, Wait, right, right. I'm also a orc, so they also can listen to me. Uh, Porky, after being headbutted, Bard fucking runs away as far as he can. Support. If I mimic him. I think here. Okay, sorry. These are not orcs. These are plastic mannequins. Does that change any? I'm not sure what you... If you could just clarify again what you would like to do. But their boss is an orc. Oh, God. I had a family vlog channel. <laughs> but who flipped the lever? The lever was flipped by this bored-looking orc cashier up here. Who appears so. to be named Bert. Close enough to orcs. To Epic Viewer, I, whatever you say next, I am going to go with. I'm going to make it happen, okay? Just give me something. Literally anything here. Uh, you have role played. I asked the medicine who didn't jump to have self confidence. <clears throat> I asked the medicine who didn't jump to have self confidence. Okay. Here's how I'm going to interpret what you're saying. You go to this guy. You have you say, ketchup in your pocket, barbarian. You walk up to. The, uh, wait, me hold on. He is Gramer. He, me is Gramer. Okay, you walk up to this dude and you say, uh, you point at him with a big fratty fist and you say, Bro, you see the way your friend jumped? You're not even going to try that? You're going to jump over this platform right now or else I'm going to tell all my friends you're not cool. And you do look pretty jacked in your, your fancy red dress. So I'm even going to give you a little more of a shot to convince this mannequin to try it. Oh, and then you say, me me is grammar. So with a roll of 14 or above, you'll convince this mannequin to take a shot at it. Yee. <laughs> the mannequin does not look interested How in move? risking his own life. It doesn't appear to work. Okay, um, the Bardarian is sitting here in his dress. No. Bard, you are up. I was hoping the who... Peer pressure failed. Yeah, I was hoping the who would peer pressure the, um, would, would peer pressure the mannequin, but the mannequins are not having any of it. I just don't know. I feel like maybe a little more eloquence could help convince them of what you've been trying to do. But, hey, I'm not the Barbarian. I don't know what I'm talking about. Who? Bard, you're up. I use vicious mockery on the mannequin above me. Okay. Bard, what do you say to him? What mean words do you use to try to take this mannequin down? Triple AL. Yes. Let's get some, let's get some, let's get some. What you live in a clothing aisle and still can't afford clothes. Sucks to be you. Oh shit. Okay, that was pretty good. I'll give you a bit of an advantage on that one. 13 know, and above and it connects. Uh, Boom, 18. Your magic words flutter across the gap. 
hit directly into this mannequin's brain. He goes, you're right, I'm fucking naked! And he jumps off the cliff to his death. You hear him crunch into the floor below with a sickening thud. He couldn't take it. He just couldn't take it. Great job, Barbarian. Wizard, you are up. You've got a mannequin in front of you. Porky behind. What do you do? <laughs> you monster. <laughs> I like that when the insults are bad enough, everybody in chat's like, whoa, too far, bro. <laughs> like, uh. This might get me canceled again. <laughs> I cast Polymorph on Porky and turn him into a Parkser Gorilla. All right. Also, I'm pretty sure Wizard can agree. The Wizard. You look better. Using the once per dungeon spell again on Porky. <laughs> like kind of late in a battle when it seems to be going okay. Uh, Gorilla. What's a gorilla that looks like Porky a little bit? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that one. Uh, here, let me get a Shutterstock one. One sec. I have to go get a friggin' gorilla. I'll search on Shutterstock. Polymorph only works on enemies. Didn't I say you could... Oh, I could deny Polymorph on Porky. I did put that as the description of it. I was literally expecting... I Because <laughs> the reason I did that is because I was worried one of you guys would just Polymorph each other and, like, ruin the dungeon. Um, I I did put enemies. I guess I could stick to that rule and veto it. Um, I guess Porky I... is pretty annoying, but that is fair. <laughs> okay. Oh, oops. Okay, never mind. You are not... Casting your polymorph on Porky the Pig Dwarf. What would you like to do? Porky is my friend. Leave my friend alone. The bard is very connected to Porky. This is true. The 18 that was not that was not her role. If I don't turn the source off after using a dice roll, then Kick it will replay. mannequin into pit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the wizard, after years of training to become a skateboarder, is going to put her skills to the test. She runs up to this mannequin, who is uh, perched perilously close to the edge of this uh, of this pit, and jumps up and tries to use him as a sick kickflip. Don't worry, Bob won't hurt him, right? Fourteen or above, and it'll connect. 16! This is for you, my love! The wizard jumps off the arm, up onto the head, and does a 6, 7, 20 reverse switch and knocks the uh, mannequin. Wait, you're kick flicking him off, right? And knocks the That's mannequin why I married you. off of the pit. Off of the platform. Falls directly into the pit. And you see his body slowly fall to the ground and land with a thud. That boy is tricked up and dead. Okay. Two mannequins left. <clears throat> song. 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 We're doing new folks. Exclamation mark barbarian. Exclamation mark wizard. Exclamation mark bard. That's why I divorced you. These two are friends. All right, I'll give it a sec. Thank you to Epic Viewer, Shabby, and Front Mothers for contributing. All right. A few more seconds. Our next barbarian is Light Soul. Our next bard is Ziantua. 
And our next wizard is a Violet Knight. Are y'all here? Please say something in the chat to make sure you're here. I am in control. <laughs> okay. Barbarian's here. No way. A Violet Knight is here. Jantwa, are you here? Wow. <laughs> All right. We've got new Ooh. brain cells. <laughs> Wait, I hope you know what the rules are. Yeah, I'm sure you're confident. That's fine. All right. At this point, three of the five mannequins have been defeated. It's just the barbarian standing there with two of them. Things are looking good, but then you hear a crackle over the intercom. Dub, can I have a dress too? For better kick flipping. Yeah, you gotta go grab it though. Um, you hear a crackle over the intercom. Bert! Bert, the mannequins are losing! Execute order 66! Turn off the lights! And suddenly... Boom. The whole floor descends into darkness. <laughs> Thank you. Amidst the... Oh, oops. Whatever could be happening. <laughs> Amidst the darkness, you hear scuffling. You hear sounds. Some punching, some pushing. And suddenly, the lights flick back I'm on. I'm scared. And as you look in the middle we platform... Can't see the die. You see that two of the mannequins are gone and have been replaced with an identical-looking barbarian. Suddenly, you have no idea which one of these is real. There seems to be two imposters afoot. We need imposter music. So, Barbarian. Another one on the left or right. You can talk, but they're not going to know which one you are. In all the scuffle and kerbuffle, you've been shoved around. So you can yell out and say things, but they're not going to know which I one is which. dyslexic. <laughs> so one of the Barbarians yells out, Wait, am I the one on the left or the right? Another one yells out, Wait, it's me! I'm the Barbarian! Wait, I think they're the imposter! He points at another one. That one says, That one's definitely not real! He's not real at all! Look, my dress is the prettiest! You guys are up. You're gonna have to figure out who's the imposters. Barbarian, God, you are up so first. Hot, though. <laughs> so you don't know which one you are, but you can tell me what you want to do. For the other two, try to, uh... Try to stay in character. Even if, from a metagame perspective, you understand which one is real, try to go off of what your character would actually do. I would, would like to hide do. in the clothing rack. Okay. So you see, you two down here, and Porky, you see one of the three barbarians jumps into the clothing rack. distinguish myself. And disappears amongst the clothing. Another one shouts out and says, Look, that's the imposter. He's hiding. Come on, guys. Let's get him. Let's get him, right? Another one is standing nearby, just looking confused. Bard, you are up. What would you want to do? Oh, that just ended. That was awkward. So again, you know that the Barbarian player is the one here, but your character wouldn't, right? At this point, you have to do something to actually deduce uh, who's who. Uh, Jantwo, what do you got? They do look exactly the same, by the way. It's not like one of them's missing legs. Walk towards the Barbarians and mock the one for hiding. Okay, all right. The Bard appears to think that the one that was hiding was the one. Let's, um... D. One, two, three, four, five. You would have to jump onto the platform. It's an eight or above. 
and you do it. Are you good to jump on? To get close enough to mock him. Guys, let him roleplay. They're doing what the characters would do. I'll try it. Okay. The bard walks forward, tries to jump over the platform, eight or above, and he does. Uh, oh, shit! He nat 20s. He not only jumps over it, he kick flips while doing it, and he looks back at his wife, and she is, like, swooning. This dude's doing a, an 870 in midair to jump over the platform. Moves forward, and then he yells out mockingly at the one hiding. Really? You're hiding right now at a time like this? Oh, wow, that was so athletic. Okay, the one <laughs> the one who's hiding <laughs> shouts out inside the clothing rack, Oh, that was pretty athletic. You're going to do an attacking, mocking roll on him. 16 or above, we'll hit him. 12. So you yell out, Get out of there, coward! But it doesn't actually do any damage. Wizard, you are up. I know my friends would never hurt me. Okay. You heard that from the clothing rack. This guy seems uh, pretty scared. And he talks affectionately about his friends. Violet, what do you want to do in this uh, treacherous situation? Um, Wizard already used ma Major Image and One Massive Missile. SEC. All good, all good. Yeah, right now, Barbarian has Reckless Attack and Intimidating Show. Oh, Barbarian has everything, right? Um, the Bard has used Cure Wounds, hasn't used in the uh, Motivational for Speech yet. For this floor, yet. yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for this floor. And you still have you. You've used both of yours for From this point. suspect left is not imposter. Okay, the bard, from the reaction of his friend, in the clothing rack, has deduced that that must not be the imposter. Good way to way to gather data. Which one is on the left? I cannot tell. <laughs> so you're hearing like confused mutterings from inside the clothing rack. Am I on the left? This guy does seem very confused and cares about La Familia a lot. Their left or our left? Yeah, that's a good question. Are you talking stage left or your left? I forgot until right now that our barbarian doesn't know directions. <laughs> Cast detect ketchup. I can't tell left from right. Use Polymorph to figure out the enemy? What would that do? How would that tell you anything? Oh, because you wouldn't be able to cast it on a... on an enemy. Or on a friend. Ugh. How many of them are left? There's two of these mannequins left. The green one is suspicious. <laughs> uh, Violet, you gotta give me some, otherwise I will pick a new wizard. Can't, no, Polymorph wasn't used. Polymorph is still in play. Um, because you couldn't use it on Porky. <laughs> One sec in and out. Letter cook. I am now curious what it is. They're not in chat anymore. All right, we got to move on. Um, new wizard is... Shy Erica. Shy Erica, you are a new wizard. What would you like to do? Whoa. <laughs> you are overwhelmed by this perilous situation. Oh, seven. It sounds like a wizard name. Yeah, this is a promising start. I trust this new wizard bane cell. <laughs> uh, Shy Erica, what would you like to do?
jump onto the platform, move closer to the middle platform. Okay. The wizard wants to get in on this. She moves forward. An eight or above will let her land on the platform safely. Twelve. She jumps forward. Would you like to do anything else? You were here, right? One, two, three, four, five. You can make it here. So that's just your movement. You can still do whatever else you would like this turn. I mean, not whatever else, but you can do an action. You can do something. Oh. Shoot ray of frost at the middle one. Okay. As the side of the middle one looks suspicious, shoots a ray of frost at it. 14 or above will hit. It's ray of milk. <laughs> Fires the ray of milk, which just barely shoots over the barbarian's shoulder. He goes... Whoa, no, it's me, your friend. Why are you shooting at me? I would never go hide in the clothing like that. It's got to be him. It's their move. <clears throat> this one in the back says, it's it's got to be that one. It's got to be. Moves over and takes a big fist and just punches it directly into the center of the clothing rack. 16 or above will hit. Um, as this barbarian imposter ah, nerd, lunges forward with a punch his arm actually gets caught on the clothing rack and the dress it rips off and reveals where are you it reveals the mannequin sitting there looking embarrassed he looks shocked and then tries to jump back over the platform Eight or above, and he does it successfully. Four! As the mannequin, flustered and vulnerable, tries jumping across this gap, his foot slips, he falls over, and he tumbles off across the platform, and you see him fall down all the way to the bottom with a sickening thud. There's only one mannequin left. Now, at this point, the middle one shouts out to you, wizard, um, and says, uh, Wizard, wizard, the bard agrees. We're best friends. It's got to be the one in the closet. I would never hide like this. You know me. I'm a, I'm a frat bro. I always go hang out in the right clothing rack. Real barbarian, you are up. What do you want to do? Light Soul, you're playing. This is a gamble, but I think I'm into that. Into what? I grab the other copy and say, I don't know if we all hit us both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Barbarian. <laughs> I failed art school, but I succeed martial arts. Jumps out of the clothing rack. He grabs the other Barbarian and says, Which one of us is real? Proceeds to punch both of them in the head. <laughs> uh, first, you'll roll on the other Barbarian. 14 or above will hit. <laughs> 18. So you reach out and you say, it might be me. It might be you. And you punch him in the head. This dude just goes flying off to the side. But before that, you can see <laughs> that the dress is falling away and that it really is a mannequin laying there. You take another swing of yourself. 16 to hit. 14! You try to go for it, but it just barely misses. You even wobble precariously on the edge of the platform, but you catch yourself. And the wizard and the barbarian and the wizard and the bard look at you proudly. As they're reunited with their friend. This mannequin falls to the floor dead. 
in a puddle of dark school, but I succeed martial arts in a puddle of Dr. Pepper. Epic ending. Well done, team. At this point, the mannequins uh, appear to be dead. There appear to be no more enemies in front of you. Um, you now have free reign of the clothing department. I will say that you can pass uh, over the platforms safely without needing to roll for them because now you can move very slow and take your time. Bert, the orc, sits at his cashier looking bored, reading a magazine. What would you like to do? Porky joins you guys. Well, that was pretty cool, guys. We're definitely going to defeat Walter the Evil Warlock at this rate. Uh, so at this point, we are in combat, so any of you can do anything. Just let me know what you want to do. Oh, oh, I should also tell you. Um, how long have we been playing the actual game? I'm debating how long to make this. I know the stream's been going for three hours. Okay. I'll probably just do... Two more floors. Look through the clothes on my platform for a more seductive shirt. <laughs> okay. Um, the bard, it's been an hour per floor. All right. We will do four floors then. I mean, technically you could do five if you want. Uh, the bard, you start searching through this clothing rack. You're trying to find something that's just going to make you look riz as shit. We're going to say... I look for a dress to look nice for the bard. <laughs> Okay. I just want some magic sequence for myself. Okay, all right, all right. Everybody is going clothes shopping now that the mannequins are destroyed. Bard, if you roll, you're able to find a good looking shirt here. But if you roll a 16 or above, it's going to be the hottest piece of clothing you've ever seen in your goddamn life. One sec. Oh. You get yourself a nice shirt. You're looking good, Bard. Wizard, you also go for a beautiful dress. Let's see if it's something particularly noteworthy. 18 or above, and it's the greatest dress of all time. No, not quite. But you guys, this looks good. You have the whole clothing department to yourself. And the barbarian is just picking out more dresses. Um, as you work clothing shopping, Porky explores a little bit farther into the department. And he says, guys, there's... There's two rooms we can go to. The stairs on the left say hardware department. And the stairs on the right say electronics department with a sign that says PlayStation 5 is now in stock. We should probably get going up there. What would you like to do? Uh, Bert continues to look bored. I am allergic to electronics tea. Okay, the barbarian is concerned about um, his allergy to electronics, <laughs> which lines up. Uh, anybody else want to do anything? At some point, I can just say you guys are moving to the next floor. But I am a brave soldier, and I have my friends behind me. I thought this was a fantasy setting. Yeah, it's fantasy PlayStation 5. It, it can only play Pac-Man. Um, okay, Wizard or Bard, you guys want anything or are you good? You have selected some beautiful clothing. Can only the Bard read the signs. Porky read the signs and let you guys know. As much as a PS5 is nice, let's not kill the Barbarian. Go to the left. Seduce Bert. <laughs> okay, Wizard's thinking we go left. Barbarian seems to want to brave the electronics department over here. Um, Bard, what would you I like to do? I trust your intuition, Shy. Let's go left. The hardware store has all the good stuff. <laughs> Convince Bert. All right, anything else before you guys go out? Last call. No 
about Chad. Bert seems like a loyal orc. I cannot take him from that. Um. Okay. Do not seduce. <laughs> All right. As you guys, as you guys walk past here, you do look over at the orc sitting at the cashier. You make brief eye contact, and the orc says, "Do not seduce." And he manages to will himself past the orc and towards the hardware department. And you guys move your way up the stairs. Okay, cool. We're picking new folks. Exclamation mark barbarian, exclamation mark bard, and exclamation mark wizard. I mean, you guys can go back downstairs if you want at any point. I mean, ideally not during a fight, but, you know, at other points. Ooh, this is a good song. All right. Our new barbarian is... Lana Price. Our new bard is... Nightstone Unlimited. And our new wizard is... Lullaby Lamb. Are y'all here? Podgies. <laughs> I'm glad he says it like that. Ponders. I am here. All right. We got our crew. Let me set up. Do I have to bring the dress? <laughs> uh, Doug, I'm blind. Yes. All right, where is it? Here's what I'm gonna do. The dress stays. <laughs> that's our plus one AC. Yeah, that's true. It I'm is a part, part of uh, armor. Okay. Yeah, you guys will be able to see. No one cared who I was until I put on the dress. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I just remind myself of everything. Doug, we're all blind. What music do I want to play? <laughs> that was a good one. I think the laugh track is a good soundtrack. Is this... Is this like a fun song? Sure, this works. Whatever. As you, oops. Okay, ignore that. Oh, okay, now it's hype. As you make your way up the stairs, you find yourself amidst a vast hardware and appliances section, and you hear the intercom crackle again. All right, all right, you can take on my tricky little imposters, Porky. I don't care that you're mayor. You'll never defeat my team of appliances. We'll apply these nuts in your mouth. Get them, washing machine. And you see the washing machine up here. Open his, like, um, washing mouth. And he shouts out, Behold, the strongest fighters of the appliance team. Introducing 
a refrigerator! And the rest start clapping. He says, and next, a mop! And they all start clapping again. They're like hooping and hollering. But not just that, we have a microwave! And finally, our gigantic Roomba vacuum! And you hear the Roomba go, Roomba, Roomba, Roomba! And the washing machine says, go team, get them! And immediately the Roomba starts the moving has forward. No milk, guys. But as he moves forward, oh shit, he moves over the microwave accidentally and you hear a big clunking sound as the thing gets sucked up and the microwave goes, ah! And the Roomba's going, Roomba, Roomba, Roomba! And you hear the gears cranking and grinding as this thing goes, ah! He did not mean to do that! And you hear the washing machine go, oh god damn it, Roomba! Stop fucking eating our soldiers! This keeps happening! And the Roomba's going, oh Roomba, Roomba! He looks pretty sad. The gears, they start to whirr back into motion. Great going. He moves Roomba. forward a little bit. The microwave is now completely gone, but the Roomba moves forward menacingly. The Roomba is our ally now. The mop charges forward with a trail of slippery water behind him. Maybe? There we go. With a trail of a slippery water following behind, the refrigerator moves forward. That Roomba is crazy. And the washing machine advances as well. You guys are up. Barbarian, what would you like to do? What do you mean? I will charge what? at the fridge. Okay. The barbarian yells out a heroic cry. I'll take you on, fridge. One, two, three, four, five. He jumps up to the fridge. What do you do at it? You think the appliance aisle is your ally? I was born in it. Molded by it. Whispers into the refrigerator's ears. And then... And then punches the refrigerator in the chest! 14 or above connects! You oh shit! You try to punch, but the refrigerator opens his door and smacks your fist to the right. You accidentally knock down a can of WD 40, which sprays all over the floor, and you slip and fall. Oh god. You're now incredibly vulnerable to this refrigerator. Yeah, and, you're, and your hand, it feels like you might have broken something. Um, <clears throat> that means it's time for the bard. Bard, what do you want to do? It's the hardware and appliance aisle. Yeah, that's where WD-40 is. We're going to say there's also chemicals here. The mop. Okay. The bard runs forward within range of the mop and shouts out a vicious insult. What do you say? Yeah, he didn't lose a heart for that. He's just laying on the floor now. You're all mopped up. Oh, shit. The magical words float across the room. They land into the mop's ears? And a 14 or a bubble hit. Oh, only a 10. The mop looks behind him. He says, no, I'm not. Look at how much water I just produced. Wizard, you are up. What do you want to do? Whoa, calm down. Let's not get too toxic. Can I magic missile the fridge, hopefully protecting the barbarian? You sure can. You move forward. Guys, this fridge has got hands. <laughs> you move forward. Water. And you fire the magic missiles directly into the refrigerator's chest. Boom, boom. Hits him. The refrigerator's knocked backwards, but he's still standing. He is definitely hurt, though. You see um, a big hole in his stomach. Where the missile shot through. That does mean it's the enemy's turn. Why does the orc sound like Terry Crews? It is Terry Crews. Time to chill out. Fridge. <sighs> oh, man. Fucking got him. The fridge, after stumbling backwards, moves forward opens its door and tries to fall down on top of the barbarian, thus locking him in place. Normally it would be a 17 with the dress, but he's laying there vulnerable. It's only a 15 or above and he'll connect. 19, the fridge slams down on top of the barbarian. And now has him locked inside a freezing embrace. To warm me. 
Uh, meanwhile, the mop continues to charge oh, forward. God, One, no. two, three, four, five. A trail of soapy, slippery water. Water appears behind him. And he attempts to whack the bard in the head with his handle. 13 or above will hit. Haha, ha, I'm in danger. A three. The bard nimbly jumps out of the way and says, you're a mop. You have, like, no actual strength. The physics of this don't make sense. This isn't going to do that much damage. Meanwhile, the Roomba, deeply and proudly, Roomba! starts moving down the aisle towards you guys. You hear the incredibly loud grinding and whirring of its gears. In the back, Gross. the washing machine. Water. The washing machine continues to scream out. Get him, Roomba! Get them! Take them out! You guys are up again. Barbarian, you are trapped within this. You have to roll a 16 or above to get out. Otherwise, you're going to take one damage. Here you go. 16 or above. Uh, a three. So within the cold embrace of the refrigerator, you find your bones chilling and hurting. You're down to just two health. Bard, you're up. What do you want to do? It's a big guy for me. This is kind of how I died in a D&D session once. You got eaten by a refrigerator? Grab some oil from a shelf. Okay, and do what with it? I can, I'll let you do more in one turn. Lube up the barbarian so he can escape. <laughs> okay, one, two. All right, you... <laughs> Wait, what's like industrial grade oil? Like car oil? It's like a tub of Vaseline. Okay. <laughs> the Bard, seeing his friend in danger, runs forward, grabs a huge tub of industrial-grade Vaseline, and just dumps the whole bucket underneath the refrigerator, causing the whole Remember that one outside of the fridge to be barbarian? slippery. They expect one of us in the fridge, Bard. <laughs> yes, he puts oil in. Okay. The Bard... The Barbarian will now be able to escape easier. Wizard, you are up. What do you want to do? He had oil from the food aisle, but it was the Barbarian who's already inside. With the now oiled up Barbarian, can I pull him free? Okay, yeah, that's a good point. So, you shove the Bard out of the way. You run forward. And you grab a hold of the barbarian's leg, which is just kind of sticking out of the fridge. And now that he's been all lubed up with oil. Move, bard. <laughs> uh, we'll say you advantage on it because of the lube. We'll give you... Um, he is in the fridge. Let me think. I think nine or above. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> no, an entire turn spent oiling. I'm going to say eight Chill or above. Out. Wizard. Eight or above, and you pull grab him out. Him by the dress. Seventeen. You grab his legs, and fling him out from underneath the refrigerator. The fridge looks startled as the barbarian. Sh oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The fridge looks startled as the barbarian shoots out from underneath him, sliding across. He even goes like ten more feet past. It just shoots way out of there. But the dress, the dress is stuck in the refrigerator. Okay, the barbarian is free. The oil rises. Fridge. <laughs> It is the enemy's the turn. The fridge. It stands up. It looks mortified. Give me back my dress, you bastard. This dress tastes like ketchup and olive oil. It's disgusting. Not the dress. And he decides Damn to lunge forward at this war. wizard who shot a missile through his stomach and pulled out his prey. The fridge attempts to fall forward and Slam on top of you, wizard. You are a 12. 12 or above will hit you. Anything but the dress. 10. Just barely slams forward. But you, wizard, you managed to jump out of the way at the last second. Meanwhile, the mop moves forward. He sees that the barbarian has been uh, slip and slot out of here. He moves up, leaving soapy water behind him. He attempts to whack the Barbarian on the head. 16 or above, and he connects. 
19! Manages to whack directly on the head, even with how fucking lubed up he is. Without that dress to protect him, the Barbarian is vulnerable. He's knocked down to just one health. Meanwhile, the Roomba moves forward. Closer and closer. You hear the gears whirring and grinding, getting louder as he approaches. Not my oil up frat boy. <laughs> Porky, meanwhile, hides like a coward and goes, No! I hate Roombas! Now is not the time for fear. That comes later. We'll do one more turn. Barbarian, at least get the refrigerator locked in. Barbarian, what do you want to do? You are now up, Barb. Do something Porky. A lot of you guys don't seem to like Porky. We'll do one more turn. I want to push my hand inside the hold and rip the door open. <laughs> okay. So... The Barbarian walks up, reaches his hand in the magic missile hole, and tries to rip the door off of the refrigerator. 14 or above, and it'll do it. 18! You reach in there with both hands, and you rip the entire front door of the refrigerator off. He screams in horror, and the red dress falls out back into your hands. My dress is saved. I must heal the barbarian. The I flee from the Roomba. Um, the fridge is dead. Yes, Bart. I am at full power again. <laughs> oh, then you flee from the from the Roomba. Okay. The Bard uses his healing powers, touches the barbarian's beautiful dressed shoulders, and the barbarian goes back up to two health. That is your one cure. And then he tries to run away from the Roomba. Oops. Uh, what direction do you want to go? Left or right? Bard. Left. All right. So you were here. One, two, three, four, five. I'll say you get over here. Just for now. Okay. Wizard. Go get him. Broski. <laughs> Wizard, you are next to the Barbarian with a dead refrigerator. I want to use Major Illusion to make a wall so the Roomba thinks he can't get to us this way. Okay, very nice. Very nice. What should I use for the wall image? Smart Wizard. Bro, this is such a classic Walmart experience. Brick wall. The fridge. Love you too, Barbarian! Wait, do you want to use any particular kind of wall or just a, like a brick wall? She was always too smart for me. What is going on? Okay, there we go. Okay. Strong play. The turn ends. And the enemies advance. The mop, thinking that the barbarian must still be weak, goes for it for another attack. 16 or above, and he hits. 15. Just barely slides past you. You know, technically you haven't put on the dress, so it doesn't need to be 17. All you did was grab the dress. It looks like it's on. We'll say it's on now. Do That's you fine. feel in control, Mop? <laughs> the Mop attacks. The Roomba turns the corner, and it begins to head down. But then you hear a confused, Roomba? As he stares at this gigantic brick wall in front, of it, in front of him. So instead, he keeps moving farther to the left, sees the Barbarian, and starts heading down the aisle. We are going to get some new players in here. Sorry, exclamation babe. mark. Exclamation mark. Barbarian, bard, or wizard. Thank you, Thanks, Lana Price. Douglas, Douglas. Fun stream. Thank you all very much. Oh. 
All right, new barbarian is Blark Knot. Our new bard is the dev team will fix it. And our new wizard is Lumit. Are y'all here? Say something. I will fix it. <laughs> okay. Blark Knot, are you here? Cool. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we got our crew. Welcome. Um, in the back, you hear the washing machine scream out, That's not a real brick wall, Roomba! That's fake! But the Roomba doesn't seem to notice. In the meantime, Barbarian, you are up. What would you like to do? Blarknot is such a barbarian name. So true, dude. I am a snap the mop in half with a reckless attack. Okay. The barbarian reaches out, feels himself empowered but vulnerable, and attempts to smack this thing over his knees. Normally be 15. Or sorry, normally be 14, but with this, it's only nine or above. Oh, just barely misses. He tries to snap it over his knee, but it's made of like really, really hard plastic and it just bends slightly and the mop doesn't even look hurt. Do you want to move at all on your turn? I will allow you to also move if you want. He got blarked. <laughs> I'll move left of the mop. Okay. Um, you move here towards the Roomba. Interesting. Um, Bard, you are up. What do you want to do? Can I go and try to fix the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can get here. Okay, you move up to the fridge. What do you want to do exactly? I want to fix it. Okay. You... Fridge ally. Okay. Attempting to put this fridge back together. Grabbing a tool off a nearby shelf. And some hot glue. And some flex seal. Can he fix it? <laughs> you attempt to put the door back onto this hurt. Uh, nearly dead refrigerator. Let's say... That this is kind of stupid. I can fix it, woo. Uh, 16 or above. This thing is pretty fucked up. It's not likely. 16 and you fix them. <laughs> you go up and try to fix, and the wizard turns around confused because you're just sitting there banging the door back on the refrigerator saying, come back to life, but it doesn't work. Wizard, you're up. Stop, he's already dead. <laughs> no, my child. I tried to save you. The barbarian just thinks you're killing it more. Everybody else thinks you're a savage, but you're just really, really bad at mechanics. Wizard, what would you like to do? Do I have my old clothes from the last floor? Yes. I forget what you wanted. I think, a, I think you got a dress last floor? He was so young. I'm sorry, little one. Okay, the bard giving a I eulogy. I want to use my old stuff and throw them in front of the Roomba. Okay, your old stuff would be clothing, right? So he gets tangled up. Okay, got it. Anything else besides clothing you want to throw in there? I don't know if you picked up anything. I don't think you did. Oh, it's the milk-soaked clothing. <laughs> yeah, you're covered in milk clothes. Okay. Cool. You run out here. You take some of the milk clothes you've bought, and you hurl them onto the floor in front of the Roomba. Um, what do I search? Wet clothes? <laughs> How do I visualize this? Lark, I tried to save him. I couldn't.
time for a real magic missile. All right, wizard. You have thrown this pile of wet used clothes onto the ground. It's now the enemy's turn. This mop turns up at you, Bard. You're so bad as a mechanic, he thought you were trying to kill his dead friend even more. And so the mop angrily takes a whack at you. Oh, no. 13 or above, and he hits. Oh. Nat 20! This dude is so pissed, he thinks you were trying to kill his best friend. And so he whacks you on the head and then covers you in soapy, Mop, slippery water. Why? During the attack, no. you not only take one damage. Leave Bart alone. Oops. Wrong person, where are you? Player two. You not only take one damage, but you slip and fall. And your next turn is going to be taken just trying to pick it up. Or just trying to get back up. Yes, for D&D &D people, I'm not doing double damage. I'm doing it fucks you up in some other way if you do uh, crit. Okay. Um, the mop gets a huge hit on the bard. The Roomba, meanwhile, shouts out, Roomba! As he charges down at the aisle towards this scrumptious-looking wizard. But unbeknownst to him... It's a two-year subscription. That's Cloud cash District, thank you. Trash. Unbeknownst to him, this pile of clothing on the floor gets sucked up into his gears, and you hear a very pained <laughs> as the gears crunch and whirl again. It sounds bad. You see even a little bit of smoke rising from the Roomba's body, and he stops right there, looking around confused as the smoke continues to rise from him. But then he looks furiously forward, and he continues just a little bit farther this turn. He's right on your heels, and although it doesn't look like it, My he will be able to fit this way. DME scrumptious too. Barbarian, you are up. What would you like to do? Blark not. I'm going to go up to the mop and try to throw it in front of the Roomba. <laughs> okay. So the Roomba, at this point, is moving down the aisle towards the wizard. As he does this, the barbarian runs over, tries to grab the mop by the handle, and hurl him in front of the Roomba's path. 14 or above. Throw that ungrateful mop. We'll do it. Oops, hold on. Got to reset. Oh, with a nine, isn't able to pull it off. Grabs for the mop, but again, it's all covered in slippery slope, and it falls out of his hands. Do you want to move it all, Barbarian? The mop is too powerful. We must retreat. <laughs> okay. The Barbarian calls for a retreat, runs past the mop. Um, there is slippery water here. I'm assuming you want to run around it, or do you just go straight through? Yes! <laughs> Wait, yes to which one? <laughs> Slip and slide. Run past it. Okay, you seem sad as you said that. All right, you run below here. You yell at Porky. Come on, retreat! And you move as far down as possible down the aisle. One, two, three, four. Are you already here? One, two, three, four, five. You get this far. Porky follows along behind you. He's looking terrified. Bard, you are up. Unless you want to lay on the floor, you would spend your turn trying to get up. Uh, 14. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. Did I do rolls for getting up last time? I forget. What did I do the last time somebody was knocked down? Did they just get up automatically? I will at least be consistent. Either way works. Get up a can't attack. Okay, okay, okay. Bard, after being knocked down, you manage to right yourself on this slippery floor, but you can't even move. 
because you can't get Can your I bearing in time. Can I Maki at the mop from the ground? You can't? Well, hold on. You want to do that instead of getting up? I will allow that. <laughs> okay. So, the bard, knocked to the floor. Yes. Laying there in the soapy water. Instead of getting, a, getting up and running for his life away from this Roomba, looks up at the mop and says the following to him. You are a damn fool, Mop. You attacked your fridge's savior. All you did was clean away your friend's life. Oh! And with those words, they float through the air. They enter the Mop's brain. Let's see if it connects. 13 or above and it hits. <laughs> 18! Laying there. Soapy and disheveled, you shout up these words. The mop realizes he just hurt his best friend's savior. They psychically penetrate into his brainwaves, and the mop falls over, defeated. In a gigantic pool of Dr. Pepper <laughs> and soap. I look in shock in all the sheer power of the bard. Wizard, you are up. What do you want to do? Right, right. So, the bard is still laying on the ground. I go to help up my ex-husband. Okay. One, two, three. You move up to the bard. You do successfully pull him up. He stands up. He's now ready to move next turn. That was your action. You can move two more spaces if you would like. Thank you, my scrumptious. Then move behind the mop. Okay, that would be... Well, you can't... You couldn't move behind him. I love you. Like one, two? Let's get married again. Okay. Just a reminder, the bard is covered with soapy water. You can move to the mop. You can move below him. Or you can move up here. It will sort of affect what happens next. So I want to make sure I clarify. Soapy water. Yes. Below him then. Okay. <clears throat> the bard, you've just been resuscitated. But you watch as the gigantic Roomba. Hold on, where's this thing? You watch as the gigantic Roomba the soapy turns water the corner. Cancels out my milk clothes. It's true love. Screaming Roomba! This Roomba is furious and feeling dumb. He's been tricked twice. He moves forward, sees the wizard, and moves directly over her. And you hear a whirring, crunching sound as flesh hits metal. You hear a scream from the wizard. And you see on the UI that her health drops by one. She's now trapped inside the Roomba. Barbarian, you are up. Wizard, no! Blocked up. What do you do? In the Move. back, you hear the cackling of the washing machine. Yes! Yes, get them, Roomba! I run up to the Roomba and reckless attack it. Yep, no roll. It gets a guaranteed hit. The Barbarian, furious, runs up, Don't shoves worry, Porky out of the way. Get the fuck out, Porky! And does a reckless attack, making himself vulnerable. The Roomba brought the Doomba. 
Normally it's a 14, but it will only be a nine or above to hit. A three. You swing, but the Roomba, it glances off the top of the Roomba. It doesn't seem to connect at all. Uh -huh. Bard, you are up. What do you do? Get the Roomba Barbarian. These machines are invincible. These damn machines! Yeah, I'm going to go through the end of this turn. <sighs> Bard, it's a perilous situation. What is your plan here? He really is ele allergic to electronics. I try to save my wife. Okay, tries to save his wife. What do you do specifically? I'm doing three turns because it there's a high chance that they would conclude this particular engagement with the third turn. But I will definitely swap people after this. <laughs> wife, yes. <laughs> I pick up the mop and jab the Roomba. Okay. Where are you jabbing it? <laughs> Jabs, yes. <laughs> I'm basically indicating do you want to attack the body or try to get the mop underneath it? I'm going for its head. Okay. You lunge forward, taking the mop's cold, dead body. I try to jam it into the Roomba's chest. Head. Uh, Normally a 14. It's a 14. All right. 14 or a bubble hit. A nat 20! A nat 20! You slam the mop into his head. Not only does it pierce through. Hold on. Not only does this mop jam through the head of the Roomba, it goes so far in that you feel it pushing all the way into one of the gears, and the Roomba starts screaming out, Roomba! The gears are cranking, smoke is piling up, and the Roomba moves backwards in shock and horror, with the wizard being left, coughing and sputtering on the floor below. He's moving back in fear. But the Roomba is still alive. Great move by the Bard. At this point, though, Bard the Roomba is really mayor. smoking and stuttering. He's looking hurt. Wizard. What do you do? Nat 20 is still alive. Uh, the Nat 20 got him the damage and freed the wizard. The wizard would not have been freed otherwise. Uh, and as a, the Roomba Don't looks- Don't touch my ex-wife ever again. <laughs> uh, as I said, he looks quite hurt at this point. Wizard, you are up. You've just been released from the bowels of a gigantic Roomba. Magic missile's been used already, right? Yeah, that was used on the refrigerator. Magic missile's been used. With my last power, I use my freeze ray to target the wet mop in the Roomba to flash freeze the Roomba. Okay. <laughs> okay. So at this point, this Roomba has a dead mop half sticking out of its body. He's smoking and hurt, and the mop is dripping wet with soapy water. The wizard fires a frost bolt directly at the mop, hoping to freeze it. 14 or above hits. This is for my husband. And the bolt connects. It fires forward with a flash. Hits directly into the mop head. The mop freezes, goes all the way down. You see the freeze moving down the length of the mop's body, down into the center gears of the Roomba. You hear a cranking and a crunching as these gears completely come to a halt, and the Roomba screams out one last time, Roomba! As its eyes fade for good. The wait, the Roomba? The Roomba is dead on the floor. I am fixing my most important thing. My relationship. <laughs> the relationship is just maybe fixed. 
And Porky back here is like, uh, great, great job, you guys. Uh, glad I could help. As the Roomba sputters out of life, this is. As the uh, light, no, into life. As the Roomba sputters into life, this is. You hear the washing machine in the very back in a shrill pitch voice go, oh shit! You see him starting trying to run away. We're gonna pick some new people. Exclamation mark, barbarian, wizard, or bard. Thank you so much, Blark, not dev team, and Lumit. Way to take down that Roomba. Maybe the next bard will fix it. We brought the Doomba. <laughs> I I thought you were gonna polymorph it, but freezing the mop into the because the mop was crunched into its gears is a pretty sick sick way to kill that Roomba. All right, our new barbarian is the next bard should get divorced. They've just repaired their relationship. Only ABT, you are our next barbarian. Our next bard is. Captain P. Ness, welcome, and our next wizard, Lil Kit Kat, welcome. Say something so uh, I know we got you. Oh, dang. Oh, shit. Hey, guys. What up, only? I have been summoned. We've got our crew. Um. All right, team. This gigantic Roomba has been defeated. Only the washing machine is left. What would you like to do next, Barbarian? That was intense. Have you haven't you already healed this room or no? Yeah, he healed. Yeah, the Barbarian was healed. No. Right, right, right. You got that right, buddy. Okay, the heel yes. the heel has already been used. You need to add more heels? I feel like I balanced this perfectly. I wanna beat the shit out of that laundry machine. <laughs> okay. The Barbarian's new brain cell is ready to fight. Moves forward. One, two, three. We can do this. Four. Five. Actually, you do have to roll to see if you slip on the soapy water. Eleven or above and you're fine. You slip on the soapy water, lose your footing, and only make it to here. Bard, what do you want to do? On the water. Oh, get out! <laughs> uh, Porky says, Oh, that water sure looks terrifying, guys. I'd, I'd better stay back here, huh? After all, I'm just the mayor of Walltown. Up through the wall. Okay. The Bard runs upwards. Goes through... Oh, God. Why are you so low in the layer list? You need to be, like, half opacity. Cool. Porky, shut the hell up. I swear to God. <laughs> the, bar <laughs> the bard runs up past the illusory wall. One, two... Wait, you were here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you can make it here, bard. The bard runs up. Closer to the washing machine. Yeah, fuck you, Porky. It doesn't look like you'll be able to hit the washing machine from here, but you could do something else if you would like. Uh, and then, Wizard, let me know what you want to do. I'm good. Okay, cool. Wizard, you are up. Porky's like, maybe I should uh, stay back here and clean up all this soapy water. Have you guys seen a mop anywhere? He says, I don't get why everybody's upset at me. I just did a lot of yoga this Boy, morning, so I'm kind of tired. Going to throw you. <laughs> oh, don't I'm throw me! I'm going to search for supplies and have Porky carry anything I find. Okay, what supplies are you looking for? 
Ah, uh, the Duma has it. At the laundry machine, four. Damage. Uh. <laughs> okay, got it. Um. Little Kit Kat. Weapons, maybe a nail gun or something? Okay. I feel a little weird giving you a straight up gun. Um. Why don't you pick something that's a little less of a straight up gun? I'm fine with pretty much any appliance or hardware thing. Um. It is Walmart. Do they sell nail guns in a Walmart? Have you ever seen a nail gun? Yeah, it's, I feel like a nail crossbow. <laughs> You're being very unpatriotic. All right. You know what? If that's what you want, I'll let you have it. Just tell that's me what you want. my wife. <laughs> Whatever you want, little Kit Kat. Let me know what you're looking for. Um, boom. Wait, why are we here? Okay, the barbarian is confused. If you're good with a nail gun, let's search for it. Okay. Um. <clears throat> you come up to this rack and you search through it for a potential nail gun. Now this is the hardware section. There's not a lot of pressure on you right now, so the odds of you finding it are pretty good. We're gonna search nine or above, and you find one. <laughs> Eleven. You do manage to pull down a nail gun from the rack, and you look at it fondly. You are uh, more of a spellcaster, but maybe this is the impetus you needed to get into guns. <laughs> Wizard cast bullet. <laughs> Finally, you're getting into the stuff I like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Truly, this relationship has been rekindled. Okay, the wizard has discovered the magic of guns. The bard likes getting nailed. Um, the washing I'm machine sorry. runs back, grabs a bottle. Is hydrochloric acid acidic? Like you couldn't touch it? True. What's the thing you couldn't touch? It is, okay, like you couldn't touch it, right? How do I color that? I'll just do like a gray. I'll just do a gray. Okay. Uh... It's green? It's yellow. What should I color? I guess green. I mean, green looks like acid in a video game, even though that's not really correct. That's fine. Here, let's find a color together. Like that? How about that? That looks good. Maybe, after this is over, you could show me how to do a kickflip. But just as you're having a romantic reunion, the washing machine goes up, grabs a bottle of hydrochloric acid, and throws it on the ground in front of him, creating a semicircle. A very dangerous looking acidic Not a substance on the floor. Laundry machine, stop being a coward and fight me mano e mano. Con mano y mano. <laughs> and the wizard with an acidic response of her own. Barbarian, you are now up. Porky shouts out, well, maybe I better go look for some paper towels and clean up this mess. Barbarian, what do you do? Oh.
<laughs> Classic Porky moment. It's Porky, I swear to God. How far can I throw useless objects? Let's say five squares. But if you roll a nat 20, 10 squares. <laughs> Shoot Porky with the nail gun. Porky's the mayor of Walltown. <laughs> I think the guy is more than 10 spaces away. So this would just be pure athletics. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Porky, I like you. But you need to start pulling your weight, or we turning you into bacon. <laughs> Porky's like, but, but, but bacon? I can go grab some from the food aisle if you want. No need to cook me. Uh, and then he walks. He walks up to the aisle. Would a 16 plus 4 count as a critical success? Yes. Yeah. Porky walks up and he grabs like a like a if you didn't help. like a light socket, you know, just like a light socket cover, and he holds it up and he says, "Uh see guys, I I'll help out. I'll throw this at him, okay? But I'll do it from back here." Why can't I find a picture of this? What's it called? A thing that goes over like a light socket. Oh, I'm thinking of an outlet. No, what's like what's like a light? What do you call like a light thing you put on the wall for a light switch? What do you call that? Just the light switch? Porky, shut up or you're going to be a meat shield. Coward. So he grabs this light switch off the wall and just kind of throws it a few feet down the aisle. I'm and he's going like, to grab "See guys, I help." Try throwing him after walking forward four squares. <laughs> I love to gamble. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Reckless attack. Okay. The barbarian walks forward to do so. He says, get over here, Porky. Picks him up over his shoulders. Porky's screaming, oh God, can't I just help from back here? The two of you walk forward. One. Oops. Anybody up for bacon One, after the battle? Two, three, four. And attempts to throw Porky the full distance to the washing machine, knowing that there's acid in the way if he misses. Because you're recklessly attacking, a 20 gets bumped down to a 16, 16 or above, and you hurl him the whole way there. Do you do it? <laughs> Two! <laughs> you pick up Porky over your shoulder, and you try to hurl him, but you're off balance. Oh you just whack his head into this aisle Dude, right here. Holy. Just hits him with a big dunk, and he falls over and says, oh God, oh God, where am I? It doesn't work. Bard, you're up next. Worth it. <laughs> Captain Penis, what would you like to do? Porky, I'm not sorry. At all. <laughs> Porky says, I better, maybe I should head back to the entrance and, uh, you know, clean up the rest of that soapy water, huh? No. Walk up to the washing machine to seduce it. Okay, you can only get one, two, three, four, five. You can get here, but you would with, be within earshot. <clears throat> Bart, you've got one chance to get this washing machine over to your side. What do you say? My heart still belongs to my wife, though. Okay, so it's kind of half-hearted. What do you say? Depending on how good this is, it changes the odds. That hey, want to see how I get my name? 
<laughs> Captain Penis romantically shouts to the washing machine. Um. <clears throat> Uh, it's a it's a little vulgar, and he did watch you guys brutally beat the shit out of his comrades. So he's not super receptive to love right now, <clears throat> but with a seventeen or above, it just might happen. And the washing machine says, "Fuck no, no, get the hell out of here!" And he sprays more hydrochloric acid all over the floor. Now there's not even a clear Please. path to him. It's a two-year subscription. That's cash in the trash. Max, I thank you for the two years. Barbarian, you are up. Oh, wait, sorry. Wizard, wizard, wizard. My bad. Wizard, you're up. You got a nail gun. What are you doing? This nail gun has a range of five. Wizard. My bad. Yeah, the the war, the wiz, or the bard has terrible riz, at least from that interaction. Or he used up all his wi riz on the wife. Ugh. Can they use magic to throw Porky? We use the bard Mary to again. <laughs> we don't know. Maybe Porky. I'll advance toward the washing machine. Can I also search for a rope for traps? Yes. Okay, you and your gun, waltz forward. Along I'll the way. Advance toward the washing machine. Can I also search for a rope for traps? Porky, you're a horrible wizard for my precious penis. <laughs> <laughs> Along the way, as you advance towards the washing machine with your Why gun, asterisk. you check for ropes. Um, it's hardware, it should be pretty easy. Eight or above, and you find them. Okay. You grab some ropes on the way up. Oh. Let me grab the picture. Uh... Porky is dead meat after this. I want to kill that swine. Why can't I copy this image? Uh, I will just do this. He's a dwarf too. He's a pig dwarf. All right, hold on. I'm just making sure you have a um, <laughs> rope. We can't kill him, but seriously, maiming is not against my moral compass. Why am I taking so long to do is it, Who cares? No, I take that back. We want your rope to look nice. Rope is comfortable. You're like a, a magic Indiana Jones with a gun. We have delicious meat, though. Only. Why is this not working? Hello? I just want to get in range to fire an ice magic infused nail. Rope is back up. Oh, they're both. Why are they both black? Huh? One sec. For Porky. Okay. Uh, you advance with your rope and nail gun. Is that two? Is that two turns? I think that's two. <laughs> What's so wrong about Porky? <laughs> People are just annoyed with Porky. That was one. One more? Okay, one more. Uh, that was the wizard. Uh, the washing machine. He yells, I've got more hydrochloric acid. I'm not afraid to use it. Get out of here. Go to the electronics department. 
Barbarian, it's your turn. What do you want to do? I need to throw that little shit again. <laughs> okay. You move forward. You have one, two, three. Okay, you could get right to the edge of the hydrochloric acid. <laughs> what do you want to do specifically? Where do you want to throw them? Where do you want to do it from? Okay, I've got the Rocky song ready. Kill him. I want to throw him like the pigskin. He's at the laundry machine. The barbarian, frustrated with his poor performance last time, picks up Porky the pig dwarf again. And Porky says, oh, come on, guys. I remember how cool I was in that first floor. I didn't have to do anything else, did I? You carry him all the way up to the edge of the hydrochloric acid. And then you use all of your might to hurl Porky at the washing machine. You stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Less than 10, and he's not going to make it all the way there. 10 to 13, he'll make it to the washing machine. 14 or above, it'll do some damage. Here we go. Wait, why am I doing this? <laughs> With a little bit of regret midway through, That's my only he act. takes Porky and chucks him across the hydrochloric acid and slams him into the washing machine. The washing machine was not expecting Who? to see an entire pig dwarf thrown, is knocked backwards, head bashes against the side, and lands in his own hydrochloric acid. His eyes slowly fading to red. Get fucked appliances. Oops. Porky did something. Four one. <laughs> As fresh Dr. Pepper spills no out from his this. body onto the floor, the appliances have been defeated, and Porky gets up, shaking his head a little bit. I don't know, guys. I think I should just hang out in the back next time. I just wanted to be mayor. But the Barbarian cheers. Great job, Porky. <laughs> and the Bard is so happy for him. He does look a little proud of himself. I guess, I guess I am a bit, of a, bit of a hero, You huh? did it. You're incredible. Oh, Great job, Doug. You're amazing. amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. person. He's Doug the best All right. gamer. Wow. Oh, my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. Um, you guys have cleared. Good job, Porky. The hardware and appliances section. This is so hard to select everything for some reason. You've gathered up. If you want to gather any more supplies or uh, look for anything, you're welcome to do that. But something happens. Porky says, oh, wait a minute, guys. Hot as the kickflip queen. And he looks at uh, something that was, was a little push. He looks at something that was knocked to the ground as he uh, and the washing machine slammed into this aisle. And he actually notices. <clears throat> well, you do have to roll for it. Eight or above. He says, hey, guys, what's this? And he holds up a bottle of Advil. Whoever takes this Advil will recover one health. And he says, hey, guys, maybe I should take the Advil. Drugs. You know, I did, I did get beat up pretty bad there. You can decide I as a party. God, Porky. <laughs> and Porky says, well, you know, I'm on this side of the hydrochloric acid, so maybe I should just take it, you know? Because, like, you guys can't even get over here anyways. I look for Zorbies. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, the bard goes off in search of Zorbies. Um, if you roll a 15 or above, you will find it. They're not Hand as common. Them over Porky. Thirteen. You find some like microfiber cloths, but they aren't technically the Zorbies brand. Meanwhile, the wizard brandishes her gun at Porky and says, "Hand over the Advil, I will motherfucker!" Throw you so far beneath the surface of the earth that you won't ever see the light of day again. <laughs> okay, with this double intimidation, Porky is oh. now holding the Advil, 
moving it towards his hand before you two lifted up the gun and screamed at him. Uh, he's pretty intimidated. <laughs> if you roll a four or above, he's too scared to steal the pills from you. 17. He is fucking terrified. He goes, oh, okay. And he puts back the cap and he tosses over the Advil to you, Barbarian. And he says, does anybody here have Band-Aids? Shoot the gun. Kitty. <laughs> okay. I give it to the wizard. Okay. The Barbarian hands the Advil over to the wizard. Um, wizard, I assume. Are you cool taking it? Yeah, drugs for me. <gasps> the wizard is fucking stoked as she downs the whole bottle of Advil and recovers one health. Cool. Great job, team. Let's get a new crew. Uh, exclamation mark wizard, exclamation mark barbarian, exclamation mark bard. I love you so much. Let's find the final words. I'll miss you only, ABT. Uh, we, we've had some good brain cells today. But the next brain cells are, for Barbarian, The Fuddy, for Bard, Spike Flash 20, and for Wizard, a Zenny. Welcome. Please say something just so I can make sure you're here. Then I'm going to use the bathroom before we move on to the final floor. Oh, whoa, dog. Whoa, whoa. I am here. We got two. Zenny, are you Mom, here? Mom, I'm on TV. All right, we got him. Uh, feel free to discuss strategy amongst yourself. First uh, time. As you uh, are flush with victory in the hardware department, Porky does shout out. It, guys, it looks like there's stairs up to the fourth and top floor of the Walmart. It says, The Toys Department. And his voice shakes a little bit as he says it. He says, oh man, what kind of horrors will await us up there? You see that the stairs on the other side say the same thing. And you know that the Walmart's only four stories tall. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Hey, wizard! Want a bottle of ketchup? It's pretty yummy! We should elect the chair as mayor instead of Porky. Chair would be much better. Ketchup, but my hands are kind of full. Unless somebody wants the gun or rope instead. Come on, Barbarian, we're friends. Chair for mayor. All right. I hope you've been discussing lots Care of strategy. For mayor. Okay, I guess. Here, take one ketchup bottle. The party passes around. Hey, Doug, did I use cure on this floor? Uh, you guys can wipe it can up I with the mop. Can I search for a sledgehammer? Uh, yeah, you can search for a sledgehammer. 16 or above and you find one. You fit. 
failed. Not only do God you damn. not find a sledgehammer, as you're looking, you slip, and the bottle of ketchup that you were just holding slips out of your hand and crashes to the floor. You no longer have ketchup. Um, Porky shouts out and he says Walter the Warlock must be up there guys wait wrong thing Walter the Warlock must be up there guys he's gotta be in the toy department I would like to take a bottle of bleach off the shelf before I head upstairs I offer it to the barbarian to replace the ketchup alright you guys ignore Porky (laughs) you go and grab some bleach You grab it off the shelves. You're able to find it easily. You hand it to the barbarian and says, here you go. Here's some ketchup replacement. I would love some bleach. Also, set up Porky. <laughs> okay, Porky's like, hey, guys, remember we're supposed to be defeating the warlock. He has, like, a big magical staff. And he's, like, threatening the town that I'm mayor of. You guys Can remember that? I throw that? something at Porky? <laughs> yeah, what do you want to throw? Use the bleach to defuse the acid. You're going to be my sledgehammer because I didn't find one. <laughs> Some bleach. Okay. You you walk up, you throw the bottle of bleach at him. He's like, oh, but guys, come on. The Wal- Walter, the warlock, he's, he's up there. Um, Barbarian, you just lunge over the acid. You pick him up. You say, you're going to be my weapon now, Porky. He's like, oh, God. And you guys walk forward towards the stairs. Anything else you guys want to do before you head out? We'll say that you can How get do over. You know Porky isn't Walter the Warlock. Let's go, gang! Cure if I can. Already used on this floor, but you can in the next floor. All right. The gang crosses the hydrochloric acid. Upstairs they're, we go. They're decked out as fuck, and they enter into the final floor. I'll save it then. Just a second. What should be the music for the intro to the last floor? I don't know. I hope we find stuffed animals. They're my favorite toy. Storyteller is... Storyteller. Storyteller is, um... There's vocals, though. It's hard to hear over vocals. It works for every situation. Storyteller. I'll do storyteller after we Pepsi introduce Man. what's happening. How about that? Um, all right. Let me just remember what I have to do. Let me remember all this stuff. Um, do, 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 do. Sorry. I should be playing dramatic music. While storyteller this is, is the Believer theme song. I'm glad you guys went into the hardware department. The electronics department is fun, but hardware department ended up being good. I liked how you killed the Roomba. That was good. In the bard, so it should be storyteller. True. Okay. All right. We'll we'll swap to storyteller when the battle begins. Hey, oh, Chad, sorry. Spoiler alert. Remember to drink your there water. There might be a battle. Or else we will keep Porky alive. <laughs> Um, okay. I am just making sure I have my stuff ready. I remember what to do. You know Can how it use is. Porky for health. Just a second. All right, cool. Let's send it. <clears throat> Can 
Can I have this fade down dramatically? Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, cool. All right, all right, we got it. <clears throat> Sorry, that was loud. Wait, hold on. Can you guys say something? I want to make sure I have my audio set up correct. Slips in All right, cool. We're good. Hey, after we beat the bad guy, wanna hold hands on the car ride back? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greetings. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> what's a good? As you walk up the stairs to the toy department, your eyes adjust to the lighting, and you see aisles upon aisles. I cannot of see. fresh toys. Now you can. I am legally blind. Your eyes adjust, and as you look upon this vast array of shelves. You see a man sitting there at the back. No longer shouting from intercom. You just hear him screaming at the top of his voice. Porky! Porky, you thought you could stop me just because you're the mayor of Walltown. You'll never defeat Walmart. Not with this magic staff. And he holds up the staff. He looks at it lovingly. My precious, my precious staff. I can create monsters out of anything, Porky. You'll never defeat me. Not because I have the Legosaur. And he points his staff over to a huge pile of toys in the corner. This thing's like up to the ceiling, right? This thing's like 30 feet high. And you realize that the top of the toy pile is starting to move. And it lifts off its wings. And you realize that it's actually a gigantic dinosaur made out of Legos. As it spreads its wings. Shut up. We're it's trying to hurt Porky. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're shouting out, oh, we don't actually like Porky. The dragon starts lifting up into the air, spreading its massive wings. Um, <clears throat> its size is gigantic, and Walter, the evil warlock who's been taunting you all this time, shouts out, Legosaur, if you defeat these intruders, I will finally give it to you. I will give you my limited edition Let's Go Pikachu Nintendo Switch with a level 50 Charizard on it. It will be yours, Legosaur, if only you defeat them. And the Legosaur roars with the anticipation and pleasure. He flips up into the air. The ceiling's like 40 feet high, and the aisles are like 20 feet high. He flies around a bit and lands right here in Let between go. these two aisles, straddling them, one leg on each side. And then he lifts up his Charizard huge shiny? mouth. And Breeze. A line of fiery Legos down the aisle. It shoots in a straight Focus, line, and, you can eat and Porky, Porky just barely dodges it. It singes off some of the hairs on his little pig dwarf head, and it goes, Oh, God! Oh, God! Lego breath! No! The battle... begins. Barbarian, you are up first. What do you want to do? You hear Walter in the back screaming, "Get him, like a sword!" into the fire, so it spreads back to the dragon. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say the breath goes away, but I'll roll with that. Good luck, gentlemen. Also, let me get your dress. I will be here to assist. You are right. Your dress is missing. How could I? Porky's best weapon. It works if the magic dice allows it. No, I think, I think that's legit. Rope? The barbarian sporting his beautiful red dress. We know I changed my mind. Okay, doesn't do that. We're gonna say the Lego's breath is like there for a turn or so. I'll wing it. I make a Molotov cocktail out of the olive oil bottle. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say that you can make the Molotov this turn. Didn't you grab... You did grab some bleach. 
You jam a rag full of bleach into the bottle of olive oil. You now have a... Sounds good to me. As long as it doesn't explode into my hands. As long as you don't get breathed on by the Legosaur, you're now holding a... Molive Tov cocktail. Do you move at all? I moved to the toy section to find a teddy bear for wizards. <laughs> okay. All right. These are all toys. All the shelves are toys here. But let's say you move up here. You in your dress. Hold on. Oh, my God. You move up here and begin searching for stuffed animals. You'll have to get it next turn. You are still holding your Molotov. Right? The wizard is... Okay. Yep. I don't feel like we need to have every single... <laughs> uh, that's all right. Don't forget my porky hammer. Oh, right. Okay, as you move, you grab Porky by the leg and you say, Come on, Porky! It's like, Oh, God! Bard, you are up. Sorry, what Dad, do you want to do? But I have a plan with the rope and gun. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. No, no, no. I, I should, I should. I'm giving you a hard time, but you absolutely should keep the things you found. The dragon at this point is still straddling both of the aisles up here. Bard, what do you want to do? How much plus attack is Porky? I'll give it a plus one. You have, you have like, used him enough as a weapon at this point. I'll say you're starting to get familiar Move with closer it. closer and just hurl insults. Okay, okay. Porky does have sharp horns on his head. That's true. I mean, I think he's just wearing a beanie, but sure. All right, Bard. One, two, three, four, five. Porky is the one, best two, plus three. one weapon. I think I want the lo the Lego lava to just go away. I don't think it's meant to be, like, laying on the ground the whole time. What do you think? I'm asking your call. We could have it on the ground for one turn, or he just fires it, and then... Eh, maybe we do leave it. It does look cool. The fire can go away. All right, leave it for one turn. So, Bard, you are going to run up one, two, three, four, five spaces. Get up here. You can insult five away. One, two, three, four, five. You can just barely. The dragon is just barely within earshot. You can insult him. What do you say to this dragon? Yeah, it's just a bunch of Legos on the ground that you could step on, and it hurts. Good call. I did not believe it possible, but you're more worthless than Porky. <laughs> okay. Boom. The dragon hears that, and at first he doesn't think it's a big deal. And then he realizes who Porky is. I and bet this dragon isn't even made of Legos. It's cheap Mega Blocks. <laughs> And Porky's like, hey, guys, after this, do you guys want to get quesadillas from Taco Bell? I love just plain quesadillas without anything in them. And the dragon realizes this is the lamest guy he's ever seen. This guy sucks. What a horrible comparison. 14 or above Shut and you up, connect. Porky. Nine. But the dragon, he thinks, no, I'm, I'm more way too cool for that. Rep Supreme person Porky. So shut up. Yeah, I meant to say Del Taco, but now it's canon. Sorry. Quesadillas from Taco Bell are still kind of gross. If they're just plain quesadillas, what kind of lunatic would order plain... What kind of what kind of pig dwarf would do that? Get chicken in it. What are you doing? Doug's chair is our new mayor. Wizard, you are up. What do you do? There's a string of molten, uncomfortable Legos on the floor with a Legosaur standing above the aisles. What do you do? I 
would like to cast Polymorph. Turn it into a fish. Okay. Finally using the Polymorph spell. One, two. Now you can only get close enough to cast it if you walk on the Lego trail. You'll have to roll for potentially taking damage on each step. One, two, three. You'd have to get here. One, two, three. No, wait, hold on, hold on. You were here, right? One, two, three, four. And then you're one, two, three, four. Okay. Or only one. Hold on. She was here, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'll be able to hit him. Okay, wizard. You can do that, but you're going to have to step onto the Legos and roll for potential damage. But then you can cast it from this distance. Do you do it? May I attempt to Tarzan swing with the rope? Or is that too much? I think that's too much. Okay, I don't, because there's nothing to, like, hold off of. You could spend your entire turn tying the rope to, like, climb up onto the aisles. The nail gun has a range of five, so you'd only be able to, again, you'd have to get here in order to shoot him. Let her nail gun it to the ceiling. Okay, fine. You could shoot the rope into the ceiling with a nail gun if you wanted to do that, but that would be your turn. May I spend my turn to use nail gun and rope to make a safe path? Deal. You move forward, but seeing the molten Legos still on the ground, you realize it might be better to create a safe path. So you take the rope in one hand, Nail gun in the other. Fire it up into the air. The rope sticks to the ceiling. And now you have a rope hanging down above this Lego path. We'll say you do it twice. Um, hanging rope? I don't know how to visualize this. The only thing that came up is nooses, which I do not want. How do I just do, like, okay. Here we go, here we go. Distract right. the dragon with your abs and insults, gentlemen. I have a plan. Oh. <clears throat> okay, where is my... Lego breath. As the wizard attaches these ropes to the ceiling, you see that the Lego breath from the previous turn does start to fade away. You now have ropes hanging from the ceiling above. Approximately here and here. Meanwhile, the dragon lifts himself back up, stands across these two aisles, and opens his mouth and breathes down south again. This time, the row of fiery Legos. Hello? The row of fiery Legos. There we go. Shoots directly down this line, through the bard and through the barbarian. Barbarian, you're holding up Porky. He's just barely out of the way, unless you, like, pull him back into the line of fire. We're going to do this one at a time. First up, bard, 13 or above, and the dragon hits you. 19! So Legos blast through you, scorch your skin, it hurts, you're down to just one health. Barbarian, he's rolling for you. Fortunately, with your red dress, he needs a 17 to hit you. 18! It burns through, and not only does that happen, he burns the red dress off of your skin! The red dress is gone! This Legosaur is fucked! You do manage to hold Porky just out of danger, though. And he says, oh, thank God. The most important person here was saved. Appreciate you taking the hit, Barbarian, because I'm the mayor and everybody loves me. 
I'll cover your quesadilla. <laughs> a painful turn from you guys. Um, in the back, you hear Walter saying, Legosaur, bring them closer. I'll shoot them with my staff. Barbarian, you are up. The funny, what would you like to do? No, I, Molotov didn't blow up. I'm going to say, because he had his hands in the air with Porky. Porky and Molotov are in his hands. I can't believe the dress is gone. I'm literally throwing up. <sighs> when is new brain cells? It's not working. Um, I guess I can just restart. Let me just try restarting it. Let's rumble big dogs. Uh-oh, wait. Where's my... Bam. The fuddy, right? Was it? Now they get one more turn. It's only been one turn. Oh, and then this is Spike Flash 20. And this is a Zanny. Can you guys say something? Let me just make sure it's working. Hello? Cool. We got you, Barb. Test. We got you, Barb. Uh, Zenny, yours going through. Sometimes, I don't know. I if... am alive. Cool. Sweet. We're good. I don't think it's my app, um, but it might be. I think it's just Twitch drop stuff sometimes, but maybe the library I'm using crashes things sometimes. I just don't know. All right. You guys have one more turn. Barbarian. You are holding Porky in one hand, a Molive Tov cocktail in the other. What would you like to do? Gentlemen, I am so sorry. Use Porky in the fire, Barb. Takes a pink teddy bear that says happy birthday from the shelf and stuffing the Molotov into it to make a makeshift bomb. <laughs> okay. I will allow you to do that and something else this turn. Because you already have the Molotov ready to go. You pick up a Molotov with a nearby teddy bear and stuff the Molotov inside. How far is the dragon? One, two, three, four. He is five away. If you connect the attack roll, you could hit him. Should have put it in Porky. <laughs> Can I throw the cocktail at him and say happy birthday? Blow out the candle, a.k.a. the drag. Wait, what? What is the drag? I'm confused. The cocktail is in the teddy bear that says happy birthday on it. Oh, got it. Okay, okay. Oh, the dragon, the dragon. I was like, I, I didn't know if you were talking about a part of a cocktail. Wait, sorry. What did you say the again? I was so drag confused. from the cocktail. Oh, okay, he was talking about the rag, not the dragon. I was confused. Okay, I so on your turn, you grab a teddy bear, stuff your Molotov inside, and you shout, Happy Birthday! And hurl this thing over at the dragon. Oh, wait, I'm adding 18 to the rag, LMAO. Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. <laughs> but I got you. He wants to throw the bomb at the dragon. I I don't know why he put the Molotov in a teddy bear, but, but, then, but then he's hurling it. All right, you just are close enough to make a shot at this dude. 14 and above, and you hit. 16! Oh, bear says, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, happy birthday, dragon. How old are you? As the barbarian hurls the teddy bear through the air, the dragon looks up, hearing the wizard shout, happy birthday. He says, Blow out the candle, dragon. Wait, is it, is it my birthday? You see his eyes. Widen up with delight. He says, what toy am I going to get? Right as the bear smacks him in the face and explodes. The bag of dragon roars in, in confusion and pain. Yes. 
He gets up off his perch and flies around a bit, confused. He is now in midair. Bard, it is your turn. He is not dead. You get the sense this guy might take more than one hit. On his birthday? I must live up to my reputation as a bard. Oh, you can move, by the way, Barbarian, if you want to. You guys are standing in the- I attempt to seduce the dragon. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> the bard, on his last life, walks up to the dragon. Looks at the dragon and it's big, beautiful eyes. It stares down at him from atop the aisles. Right menacing. now might be a good time for the motivation speeches you were known for. That's what you did for not hitting Porky and hitting us instead. And I would like to move out of the fire so I don't die. Cool. You guys move. I'll say it here. Bard, you lock eyes with the dragon. Riz up that dragon, Bard. What do you say? The Rizzler. So normally, this would be a pretty high roll. Let's see what you deliver. I know we didn't start off the best, but I offer you our annoying pig for your love. <clears throat> the dragon looks over at Porky. Notices that Porky is also pink. Just like him. And thinks, maybe, just maybe, that pig and I have a connection. Maybe this bard is the romantic partner I've always been looking for. If you roll a 17 or above. <laughs> and then the dragon realizes that you are far oh, too small on. for its Lego Can frame. Can you at least not cheat on me in front of me? And he overhears that. And he goes, I would never trying to cheat on your wife in front of me! Now the dragon looks very upset. Bar, Unfortunately, the Riz fails. <clears throat> Wizard, you are up. What do you want to do? It was a dragon. I was made for this. You must divorce. Yeah, the bard is at- Bard, you should have told me Wizard divorced you because you had zero Riz. Would have helped out a lot with some of the enemies we faced. <laughs> Look, we had to have our bard attempt to seduce the final boss, okay? That was necessary. I looked away for a sec, this looks bad. Yeah, it's a little dangerous. I would like to cast Major Image to make a huge and scary vulture in an attempt to frighten the dragon. Okay. I want another divorce. <laughs> divorce that girl Stacy that you left me for then. In fact, I divorce all of you. Boom! <laughs> okay. Um. This is getting spicy. As a reminder, you guys do have the only barbarian. You have your intimidating shout as a once per stream move.
Porky is better than you. And can I use it now? On your next turn. Uh, boom. You have that, and then the wizard, you have polymorph. Oh, wrong button. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. <clears throat> there. That way it looks like an image. How big is this vulture? About here. <laughs> and there are still ropes nailed to the ceiling. <laughs> Divorce bird. I choose you. Uh, sure. The wizard, seeing your friends hurts. Cast major image. And a massive vulture appears atop the aisles. The vulture caws loudly. The dragon might think this is real. And because you picked an avian creature, that will make it a little easier for this to work on the dragon. 12 or above, and it gre 12 or above, and it thinks it's real. 19! The dragon! After looking at this horrible seduction attempt by the bard, lifts its head and looks shocked as a gigantic vulture sits on the aisle across from it. Rude. You see something soft as well, Doug. In the dragon's eyes. <clears throat> You see a look of somebody who's been so lonely for so long and has finally Take on found someone your own size. their own partner. And the dragon lifts up into the air, trying to show off all of its Lego colors. They flash beautifully in the light, and it moves forward, flying in a swaying motion like a bird of paradise, as wings as far as possible until it moves into the vulture and realizes it's a fake. And the dragon roars out in anger. No! I thought it was real! But the dragon's turn is wasted. He now stands atop the aisle, vulnerable. Barbarian, you are up. And the Lego breath melts away. Uh, yeah, we'll do new characters. Exclamation mark bard, exclamation mark barbarian, or exclamation mark wizard in the chat. Thank you for joining, y'all. That was two turns, right? Yeah, that was two. I mean, good play. The vulture play worked. It stalled him for a full turn. Farewell, chat. Use my tools well. This really could go either way. You guys are pretty hurt. Love y'all and Doug. Have a good day. Godspeed. Our new barbarian. Lime Green Hunk. Fitting name. Our new bard. Rylacea. And our new wizard. User Turdy. Can you guys all say something? Make sure you are here. I'm gonna oh, what? attach these to the walls. Hi. All right. Bard, we just need you. I'm going to recap the situation. We have ropes hanging from the ceiling. Wizard's got rope and a nail gun. Although I'm going to say she used a rope there. Um, our barbarian currently holding Porky. The Bard, after a failed seduction attempt, in terms of spells... Where the hell is the... Give me a minute. Alright, I'm gonna pick a new Bard. New Bard is... The Reddest Panda 099. Are you here? The just a reminder on moves. You guys can Reckless, if you're Barbarian, you can Reckless attack every turn that adds five to your attack roll, but it makes enemies add it to you as well, so you become weaker. They're also not in chat. All right, I'll pick a new person in a sec. Um, actually, I'll see that now. I divorced the dragon. Oh, no, they're here. We're good. 
Um, okay, so reckless attack you can do, but it makes you more vulnerable. Extra attack once per floor. You can just attack twice. You can just get two attacks in. Uh, and then you have intimidating presence once per stream. Hasn't been used yet. You scream and frighten all nearby enemies who spend their next turn running away from you. So you have that. Uh, the bard, you have vicious mockery, which you can do every turn. You have a cure wounds or a motivational speech this turn. Uh, you've already used your suggestion. So that's been used. Wizard, you have Ray of Frost you can use every turn. You haven't used Magic Missile yet. You did use Major Image on this floor, and you haven't used Polymorph yet. So both of these two are available to you. Um, that is where we're at. Okay. Can I roll to be Porky? No, right now Porky's just been screaming, Oh, God, guys! Can we just go to Del Taco? You should use Polymorph to turn an ally into a dragon. That's not really how Polymorph is supposed to work. I can't Polymorph chat. Can I? You can. Once per stream. You can. Can I throw Porky? You absolutely can. At the dragon. Yes. As a reminder, Bard, you have a healing spell that you ha you still have a heal if you want to use that. Um, is that what you want to do? Barbarian? Give me your final call. Because if you say, can I do this? I'll... Can I give Porky a speech to make him more willing to accept being thrown at the dragon? <laughs> sure, that's fine. You give him a quick motivational speech before throwing. What do you say? You can also use your extra attack if you want to do two. As a reminder, you do still have that. You could throw him and then go in for, for like a battle axe swing. Porky, I know we've been mean to you, but you're a good mayor and a good man. You have more fight in you than I expect. You got this. You pump him up, and Porky goes, Well, you know, I guess I, I did kill kill that Oreo back at the then beginning. An extra attack. <laughs> okay. And then you just fucking hurl his ass at the dragon. You chuck Porky across over the aisles. At this point, you have some goddamn practice. You throw him. 14 or above will connect. You fail. <laughs> not only do you not throw him into the dragon. You don't even get him over the aisle. You just accidentally just kind of whack him into the aisle right in front of you. Just bash his head into the wall. And he falls to the ground and goes, oh, oh man, guys, did I do it? <laughs> Porky is now laying on the ground in a daze, but you do still have one more turn. So you run, you run past Porky up to the dragon. You manage to just reach up onto the aisle where he's standing. I guess these are like 10 feet tall now for this to make any sense. 10 feet tall aisles. You did Porky. We love you. <laughs> As you walk by, you say, you did great, Porky. And then uh, you go for an axe swing. Again, 14 to connect. <gasps> and this time, <laughs> you took a turn to just kind of throw Porky into a wall. And then you went for the real attack. You connect your axe into the dragon's leg and you hear it roar out in pain. He's starting to look a little bit hurt. That bomb and now this axe, the dragon, looks at you scathingly. Does not seem happy. But he is still alive. Bard, you are up. I'm Barb's sorry, about to die. Dragon, but we will do what needs to be done says a few words of sorrow. The Eldest Panda, what do you want to do? Please heal me. <laughs> the Barbarian cries out for healing. Bart. 
Gonna give you 10 seconds. Heal Hold Barbarian. It. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right. The bard waltzes forward. Yay. Places a hand on the Barbarian's shoulder. And healing energy passes through. The Barbarian is now up to two hearts. Do you want also to... Also, me need to die, dog. Choose another bard. Okay. All good. The new bard is... Byzantiadev. Byzantiadev. Your turn has been used. Your heal has been used on the Barbarian. You could still move or say we'll miss things you, friend. this turn. That's my bard. <laughs> Byzantia Dev, are you here? Uh, doesn't look like they're active. Okay. New, uh, new bard. Snowy Aurora. Snowy, are you here? Oh, fuck, I gotta get away from the dragon. <laughs> okay, Snowy's here. <laughs> All right, you only moved one. Do you just want to run away? Our Please bard. back me up. All right, the bard runs away hurriedly back to the safety of one of the aisles. Wizard, you are up. You've got a nail gun. What would you like to do? You also have spells. I polymorph the bard into a dragon. <laughs> Can you the can't. wizard use polymorph? The wizard, you can't polymorph an ally, and you can't make them into, like, a gigantic dragon. It's got to be, like, a smaller animal, unfortunately. I like where your head's at, but we we did establish that rule earlier. Rawr. Wait, I'm not dragon. Here's what I'll say. Because you guys have been so mean to Porky, you could polymorph him into an animal. <laughs> you can I now classify him as a nearby teddy bear into a very small dragon. <laughs> Is that allowed? <laughs> um. Polymorph the dragon into a fish. I mean. Let me look at the description. Okay, of poly okay. I polymorphed the dragon into a fish. Well, I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Let me look at this teddy bear thing. Teddy bears aren't alive is the only problem. I don't want to deny you doing something that you think is cool. I love you guys. It's got to be like a creature, though. I don't think teddy... So it's not meant to be an animate object, because it's meant to be turning a living thing Honey, into, I believe in you. into another living thing. You are able to polymorph... Um, you are able to polymorph Porky into something that his is his same size or slightly bigger, but not a full-on dragon. Uh, polymorphing him is fine. You could also polymorph the dragon. I know you've said both at this point, so whatever you want to do, final answer, let me know. Um, music. Have I used Intimidating Presence? You have not. You still have Intimidating Presence. Polymorph the Dragon. The Wizard, after restraining for this whole Walmart, is going to cast Polymorph. She moves forward. Holds out her staff and her nail gun <laughs> and casts this powerful spell upon the dragon. What did I say for it? What are you turning him into? Into Porky, smiley face. 
Okay. So, the dragon roars in, in anger and confusion as his body just rings down and is replaced with... A oh, very humanity. small little this pig dwarf we are divorced. sitting on top of the aisle looking confused. Um, let me do, let me color balance it. Let me make him a little more pig. I have the dragon porky so he knows he's loved. <laughs> okay. It's not your turn yet. Uh, but you do shout out, hey, looking good, porky dragon. All right, wizard, you've successfully transformed the dragon into a pig dwarf. Um, D. It's the... Um, <laughs> uh, It's now the dragon's turn. Porky, Porky seeing this development, <laughs> yells out, Hey, maybe you guys... Why don't you guys just uh, throw that that Porky around now instead of me? Wouldn't that be cool, guys, huh? Maybe then I'll go back to being mayor. The dragon is not happy about his new shape. He also knows Porky kind of sucks. So the dragon... Attempts to break free. 16 and above. And the dragon breaks out. Oh! Just barely. The dragon shakes. No Porky. Fighting against dragon the magical porky influence. Is than you. But the Porky shape restricts back. And he's stuck as a pig dwarf up here on the shelf. Without even any way to really attack, he picks up one of the toys. He grabs a Tickle Me Elmo. And he throws it down to the barbarian. But it's kind of soft. Unless he hits a nat 20, it's not actually going to do damage. Oh. Barbarian, you're kind of... do I mock? You're I whacked in tell. the face. <laughs> with a Dragon tickle me Porky, yellow. It's not too late for us to be friends. Barbarian, you are up. What do you want to do on your turn? In the meantime, uh, Porky keeps saying, uh, uh, I don't know about this new Porky, guys. You still love me, right? And in the back, you hear Walter screaming, Legosaur, what's Dragon happening down Porky, there? don't make me hurt you. Fight them. You will never get my limited edition Let's Go Pikachu Nintendo Switch unless you fight those intruders. Kill them like a sore. At this point, he hasn't joined the battle at all. He's just back there yelling. Barbarian, you're up. What do you want to do? Is the wizard still covered in milk? No, because she put her milk-covered clothes in the way of the giant Roomba. I pick up Porky and tell him that he's a good boy, then I throw him as hard as I can at Dragon <laughs> Porky. Okay. So you you look as this pink-colored uh, pig dwarf is sitting on top of the aisles just kind of hurling a soft toy at you. You turn around. You give Porky a big hug. Porky's like, oh, cool, you done bullying me? You lift him back up and just fucking hurl him up at the Dragon Porky. 14 and above, and it'll do damage. <laughs> 15! <laughs> you hurl Porky's body. At this point, you are an expert at it. Up over the aisle and directly into the head. And the little horns of Porky slam into the Dragon Porky. Dragon Porky is not only hit, he's knocked off of the aisle and falls down 10 feet. Slams onto the ground. This does break the polymorph. Ugh. So the dragon reappears, but he's laying there disheveled and crumpled on the floor with even more damage. He's now looking oh, pretty bad. Porky, meanwhile, is sitting on top of the aisle going, oh God, what just happened? Uh, dragon's laying on the floor. Bard, what do you do? And obviously this is food, but- Porky, you did good, man. <laughs> this is food, I but- to move closer so I can roast him. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. You are now close enough to mock this dragon. Laying there, dazed on the floor. What would you like to say? You know, I really thought we had something. But I see your true skin was Porky all along. Oh shit! That's my bard. 
And Porky's up here at the top going, hey, wait, you guys still think I'm cool, right? And meanwhile, the dragon, so embarrassed about this, turning into the into Porky, of all people? This is going to hit hard. 13 or above, and you hit him. Thanks, bro. You oh! Him. This bard has no riz. We love you, Porky. Has fingers crossed behind back. You step. Sue, um, dinner later. <laughs> you step forward to shout out your insult, but Porky goes, "Oh, cool! You're gonna catch me!" And he jumps down on top of you. And you'll go, "Oh, god damn it, Porky!" And he knocks you, you to the far. floor. You don't even get your words off. Porky knocks you down. He says, "Oh, thanks, thanks, Bard. Uh, thanks for helping me out, buddy." And then he runs away and hides behind this barrel. Bard, you're now on the floor. Wizard, you are up. I pat Porky on the head. <laughs> okay. Barbarian pats Porky yeah, as he runs past. I got you, bud. <laughs> the, the bard sadly ray laying on the floor. On the dragon. Okay, the wizard shooting out a ray at Frost at the dragon. 14 or above, and it'll hit. <gasps> Three. The Frost... The frost milk just completely goes way off course. He has kind of fallen in between the aisles right now, so it's a little hard to see him. It's the dragon's turn. The dragon lifts himself back up, gets onto his feet, and flies up, stands in between these two aisles, getting himself a little bit of a distance between you. He's confused by this whole encounter. But it took his turn to get up. Barbarian, you are next. Also, Wizard, do you want to move closer? I can move you closer. Because you didn't move. Oh, when the dragon gets up, Porky screams and goes, oh, yes, and runs over please. here. All right, the Wizard, you moved, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. Here. I use reckless attack on dragon. Oh, shit. Barbarian, feeling confident, steps over the body of the slipped bark. Recklessly starts yelling. I will land this attack, even with this vulnerability. Normally it'd be a 14, you only need a nine or above. Nine! Recklessly you swing into him, and the ax connects with the foot. The dragon roars out in pain yet again. He's now starting to bleed. Pieces of Legos are chipping off of him. He's been whacked. He's been polymorphed. He's been cut and sliced and diced. He's not looking too good, but he's still alive. <clears throat> you sense you might be getting there. Bard, you are up. Oh, it's been two turns. Well, now we're going to go one more. Sorry. Bard, you could lay on the floor and do something, or you can try to get up. Getting up would be your turn. I'm sorry for yelling at your bard. You could always mock from the floor. Using the barbarian to help me up. Thanks for being a shield here, guy. All right, reaches out a hand. Grabs the bass in the back of the barbarian's armor, lifts himself up. Says, Thanks, big guy. You do manage to right yourself. You can move this turn if you would like. But you can't attack or anything. I skedaddle away to the right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Wizard. What would you like to do? We will do new people after this, but Wizard gets one more. I did my job. Didn't get myself killed 07. Uh, you haven't used magic did missile it yet. Not send? 
Oh, I guess not. Sorry. Try resetting it. Some of the messages just get lost, unfortunately. I kickflip off the rightmost barrel and magic <laughs> missile the dragon. Fuck yeah! Alright, let me get it. Ugh. The wizard! Wizard, do you say anything during it? Any words as you do this? magic was this missile <laughs> all along the wizard runs forward she jumps off this barrel does a sick kickflip in midair spins three or four times and then fires a bunch of magic missiles directly into the dragon's heart pew, 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 and slams into him the dragon stumbles the right foot that was just slashed by the barbarian cracks and crumbles you see the lego starting to break off the other leg where the magic missiles were hit that starts to crumble too and suddenly down the middle, he splits into pieces and crumples into the floor, a lifeless pile of Legos. The Legosaur is dead. And the wizard lands the kickflip perfectly. I can get rid of that. Um. <clears throat> The dragon moves its body over here. Uh, we'll just say the dragon's here. This is fine. Okay. It's just you oh, and Walter now. Good. We will pick some new folks. Exclamation mark barbarian, exclamation mark wizard, exclamation mark bard. Bard. <laughs> Wait, Wizard. I do want to check something. Okay, no, we're good. Have a good day, chat, and Doug! Doug! Oh, <laughs> I thought that the sentence was continuing. It's funnier that it didn't. Um... Our next barbarian, Potato Man MC. Our next bard, the Epic Pig 22. Our next wizard, Terminal Ace. Are y'all here? Wizard. Wizard is here. Fuck. Potato Man is here. No way. Epic Pig is here. Yes. You, yes, I am. As the Legosaur crumbles into pieces and phase into the pile of detritus and toys in this fantasy Walmart. You hear Walter, the evil warlock who started this all, screaming out, No, Legosaur! Now you'll never get my Nintendo Switch! No! He now stands by himself in the employees only section. What would you like to do? Barbarian, you are up first. Porky shouts out, it's the, it's the staff he has. The staff he has is the source of all this power. We have to get it. I mean, you, you guys have to, could you, could you go get it, please? I'll stay back here. I'll guard the rear. Potato man. Throw Porky. <laughs> Love you, Porky, from one pig to another. Okay, you run. Porky, please shut up. You run down here on two, three, four, five. You grab Porky. You pick him up. He says, oh, well, what if I just kind of hang out back here? Uh, you can throw him. It's not going to go that far. Unless you get a nat 20, it only goes five. You're not Porky. You hurl Porky. You throw him. 
uh, about halfway. You get him about three squares down. You hurl him down. Porky slams into the floor and goes, oh, man. You guys, what? how about I go back and clean up that soapy water? <laughs> um, okay. Poor Porky. Uh, what music do I pick? Bayonetta. <laughs> So now Porky is closer to Walter the Wizard. And Walter says, Porky, you bastard! You were never going to stop me before you picked up these cursed adventurers. Bard, you're up. What would you like to do? Literally suplexed him for no reason. There was no point to that. I go up to him to mock him. Okay. One. Let's see if you make it there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'll allow it. All right. You get as close as you can in one turn. And you shout out at Walter, the evil warlock. What do you say to him? Pause, champ. Let him cook. I say, Walter, put your staff away, Walter. <laughs> okay. You tell Walter to put his staff away. Does Walter do it? 14 or above. Five. It wasn't very convincing. Walter says, Go fuck yourself! Walmart will always be the greatest store in Wall Town! And he fires a magic bolt of fire at you. Takes a shot. 13 or above, and he'll hit you. I don't regret Sends out his, his staff and hits you with a 17. Sag. A bolt of fire blasts out. Knocks into the bar, knocks him unconscious. Oh no. Wizard, you are up. New. <laughs> Save the bard. Um, you would have to find a thematically relevant way to get him out of unconsciousness. What's that called in normal D&D? &D? Like, heal healer's kit? He's not dead. Hold on. Find a packet of chips. <laughs> so the bard is not dead. He is unconscious. Next turn, he will roll a die, and that determines whether he actually lives or dies. It's a 50-50. If you can get close to him and reasonably stabilize him, he could get back to one health. He'd have to do it this turn. I kick the barb to wake him up. <laughs> Okay, you <laughs> walk up to the bard. You just give him a good kick in the ribs. Now, it's not going to have a great chance of working, weirdly enough, but maybe he just needs some True stimulation. Love with Porky. Um, right as the bard imagines that he's being kissed by Porky, his ex-wife comes over and kicks him. Wake up. 15 or above, and you stabilize him. Let me reset. This is not super likely. 15 or above saves him. Oh my god! You fucking kick your ex-husband in the head! You get up, bitch! And he wakes up rejuvenated! This is what he's needed! He's probably been That's hung over the bar. whole time! His head clears! He thinks clear. He can, he can even, like, the scorch mark that was there a second ago, he just kind of rubs it off. And he looks lovingly at his ex-wife. He's back to one health. Um. Oh. Walter, meanwhile, looks at you scowling. And he says, so you're the powerful one, wizard. Why don't you just join me? We as Walmart can run together forever. And he fires a bolt of fire at you. This is why we should divorce. Give him two health. Sure. I'm 
No. But I'll give him an easier attack on his next turn. No need, I'll join you. Instead of doing double damage, I've been doing damage plus a thing. So in this case, plus one and his next attack will be better because he's so motivated by the love of his ex-wife kicking him in the head. Yeah, it's also, he also is standing up. <clears throat> Walter holds out his... What? Oh, wait, I gotta reset dice. Walter the Warlock holds out his staff, shoots a fireball at the wizard. I have a plan. 12 or above and it hits. 17. The fire shoots forward. Nails the stomach and or <laughs> nails the wizard in the chest. Got wait, you, you wait, you said wait, hold on. You said you joined? I think you were talking to the Bart. Hold on. We, 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 can, we can back that up. Are you saying you're gonna join him in Walmart? Let me let me double check. I thought you were talking to the Bart. I didn't realize you were talking to Walter, the warlock. Yes. Okay. All right. So we can back this up. You totally it's said that. It's part of the plan. Got it. Um. <clears throat> So Walter, he points at you with his staff and he says, Clearly you're the powerful one, wizard. Reviving that man with just a kick? You and me together. We could rule Walltown. Walmart will be the most powerful. With your kicking and my staff. Let's join forces. We'll kill Porky. We'll take over Walltown. What do you say? What is your reply? Not Porky. The bard, sitting there. No! Not Porky! Holds out a single hand. Yes, I shall join at your side. And the wizard agrees. She moves forward. To join her new evil partner. New. <laughs> the bard! Shouts out with pain as his wife leaves him. Porky in the back yelling, what did you guys say you were going to do to me? I couldn't hear you. Could you repeat that? You move forward towards Walter. What do you do? As long as my friends stay safe. Well, I don't care what happens to Porky. Go oh, shut up, Porky. Walter says, we can make that deal. But your friends must agree to work for me here at Walmart. And he points his staff. You, Bard there, do you agree to join our team? New wizard, why would you betray us? Of Walmart executives who are grossly overpaid. What say you, Bard? <laughs> What's the starting pay? Can I be the item stalker? And he says, yes, I'll fire Bert. That guy who works in the clothing department. He never shows up to the company picnic. I don't like him very much. And he starts laughing maniacally. What say you, barbarian? Do I switch? Uh, he says, no, absolutely not. The Nintendo Switch is mine. I have a level 50 Charizard on my limited edition Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Nintendo Switch. You can have one of the normal switches in the electronics department. Barbarian, what say you? Do you join the Walmart executive oh, team? Oh, sad, still join you, though. No! And the barbarian shouts no. Walter, his eyes narrow. Do you know what you're saying, barbarian? I still have this staff, and he holds it up in the air. I can take you down right where D. you stand. I'll give you one last chance, barbarian. He holds out his staff. Aiming it down the aisle. I'll shoot this fireball right through Porky. Walter, Hit you in the chest. Know. The wizard begs. Walter says no. Anybody who doesn't join Walmart must be destroyed. Surely you understand this. As my co-executive of Walmart. Last chance, barbarian. I give a speech. Okay. The, the, the bard moves up to join and begins a speech. No! Barbarian shouts no again. Do you want to do anything? 
Barbarian hit him with the Riz Blast. Barbarian, please, I'll give you my employee discount. Wizard offers the employee discount. That's over 2% off on select items during the spring sale. Barbarian, anything you want to do? Or are you just sitting there shouting no? 2%. Holy shit deal. Barbarian, what's the play? Think about it, deal of a lifetime. Porky, he turns around to you, Barbarian. He says, please, please, Barbarian. I'll buy you catch up. Don't listen to their offers. I will get Walter's staff. Okay. Porky says, please don't do it. So you agree then? You agree to join him, but you'll try to steal the staff from him. On my count, get Walter. Okay. <laughs> the bard whispering to the wizard to be ready for the count. One. Barbarian, that good? I just need confirmation from you that you're con you're agreeing to join. Okay, he he. Two. Okay. <laughs> yes. Barbarian's in. He pushes past Porky. Porky says, no, no, don't join him. And moves up the aisle. Slowly, Walter begins to laugh. Yes. Three, go, go, yes. go. Yes. Walmart will win when suddenly the Bard, Wizard, and Barbarian all lunge at Walter and I attempt to Walter grab the staff the out of his hands. Bard attacks him. 14 yeah. or above will hit him in the face. Uh. Eight misses. The Barbarian tries to grab it. 13 or above will grab the staff. Wait, wait. Hold on, that doesn't count. Doesn't count. I'm resetting them. Why is it not reset? Oh, I kept oh, extra resetting it. Don't worry. 13 or above grabs the staff from his hands. 10. He reaches Get forward, tries to grab it. Walter pulls the staff out of the way. Says, no, wizard, do you want to do anything? I shoot the nail gun. <laughs> yes. It's, it's wizard's move. Wizard's move. Wizard, what do you do? These two have failed to grab the staff. Kick flip nail gun time. Terminal ace. I go for a hug on Walter <laughs> and suplex him with all my might. Still not realizing that the wizard has betrayed him. The wizard goes in for a hug. <clears throat> Wraps her arms around him. Walter turns down, smiling. Says, yes. Yes, we will. We will defeat them. And then rolls to lift him up and suplex him into the ground. He's caught unawares. 12 or above, does it? For my friends and Porky, I guess. 17! The wizard lifts him up with a surge of strength that she's never shown before and fucking pile drives him back into the barrel. The Boom! Slams his head. Walter's stunned, I can barely use my see. I from the Nat 20 kick. The staff falls to the ground. Where is it? Hold on. Walter lies there dazed. And the wizard staff clatters onto the ground next to him. The team has officially defeated Walter of Walmart. All right. Um, the Bard... Let's uh, go Pog. The Bard reaches down for the staff. <clears throat> and suddenly notices a figure sprinting up the aisle. 
We claim victory. At full speed, this Porky is, we is running up the aisle. And before you can grab it, snatches up the snatches up the staff. He holds it up in midair. Yes. Yes. You, you see? Oh, I'm no. not just the mayor of Walltown. I'm also the owner of Walgreens. And now, finally with this staff, Walmart will be ruined once and for all. And he holds out the staff and points it. He aims it at this aisle. He shoots a fireball. And fire erupts on the aisle right next to him. He laughs maniacally, shoots another one at the toy pile behind him. Goes over here, shoots a third. Flames start erupting on the aisles around him. He laughs and he says, Come on, adventurers! Let's get the hell out of here! I dive at him. And starts to run away, but the bard dives! Dives at Porky! You're gonna dive and try to tackle it out of his hands. He's more nimble than you, you thought. Porky if you don't stop. You need a 14 or above to actually grab it from him. Seven! You miss! And Porky says, Don't worry! Walgreens is great! We Somebody offer great discounts! And he starts trying to run away. He's a little gassed, though. The rest of you can act. What do you want to do? Actually, I'm going to roll new people. Thank you so much, Potato Man, Epic Pig, Terminal, Ace. This might be the last round. We you know what? Him more. I am going to play a little bit of favoritism here. If there's any mods who want to join, let me know. I'll put you in. Farewell. Your choice. Don't have to. If there's any mods who would like to join, let me know. And see you, you too. Join in how? I will manually add you if you want to be one of the characters. I've been trying to be wizard. All right, XIV. Goodbye, chat. You are wizard. Uh, I only see XIV. I've been going for barbarian. All right, Mord, you're bard. Mordreus. Chat, don't worry. We'll take good care of this pig man. All right, that's all. That's who I saw. So it will be a random bard, though. Our f potentially final bard is Juju B one 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 one. Are you here? Also, Mord, am I good? Did I spell your name wrong? You're not showing up for me in chat. Pod. No, that's me. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Got you. It's it's not showing me as you being. It's showing me that you're not in the chat, which I'm not quite. I don't quite understand. But what can you do? All right. <clears throat> Come here, you overgrown hamsteak. Porky, he yells back at you. You guys can work as a cashier in Walgreens if you like. We can still be friends. He's running farther away. As he does, you're seeing that more flames are spreading. It's growing rapidly. The bard's dive missed. Cashier these non-existent, come back here. Barbarian, we'll go in order. Barbarian, what do you want to do? You cannot defeat this workers' union. What do you do, Barb? I want to run up and hit him with my battle ass. One, two, three, four, five. You're just barely out of range. You can't run up to him. You get really close, but you'd have to do something at range. You could throw your battle axe. Battle ass? Well, you can't throw that. That! <laughs> okay. <laughs> the barbarian shouts out in anger. Moves forward as close as he can. Pulls out his battle ass and throws it. Hurls barbarian, it at Porky. Bard, we need that switch. It's got Charizard, remember? We can coax Porky. Made an Indiana Jones switcheroo. But the Barbarian ignores your pleas to pick up the switch. Porky, on the run. Throw it back. What? Fucking shoot. Wait, what are you... 
throw it in a circle. What do you mean? Oh, throw that ass back. Okay, yes. You run forward and hurl your battle axe 14 or above and connect. You oh, God! <laughs> Not only does your battle axe miss, you actually trip over the Legos and you fall into a big pile over here. Porky laughs and says, See, I wasn't so helpless this whole time. That's the power of Walgreens. He runs a little bit farther. Barbarian, please. Wizard, you are up. What do you want to do? He threw it too hard. No, the bard first lunged. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. The barbarian sadly... It's my turn. Uh, did I go out of order? Whatever. Well, didn't you just... Tr oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, let's go back to order. Yes, bard, you're up. You're up. I was thinking because the previous bard kind of did a thing, but you're right. Let's go in order. Bard, you're up. You're right here. What do you want to do? confused for a second lul i'll save the nintendo switch <laughs> okay as the fires are growing and burning around you you run backwards for the nintendo limited edition switch two three four five you can't even get there in in time but you'll get it next turn wizard what do you want to do Are my ropes still there, or are they burning alive? The ropes are still attached 14. to the ceiling. We yes, get down here. The wombo combo. We need that Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> He's level fifty, guys. Wizard, your move. Remember, you Wait, can. Wait, what happened to the nail gun? Uh, you have it. Sorry, it just got lost in the kerfuffle. You still have your trusty nail gun. You've cast Magic Missile, you cast Major Image. Yeah, all your spells are done. You can do Frostbolt, but you have a. You have I want to make Porky dance like the show pig he is and hopefully get entangled in the ropes. <laughs> okay. What specifically do you want to do here? You do have ropes hanging down here with the fire spreading close to them. That's my wizard. <laughs> no bolt of doom. Hopefully he slips and falls worst case. Okay. The wizard runs forward. One, two, three, four, five. Just before Porky moves out behind, uh, moves behind cover from this aisle. The wizard holds out her staff, fires a bolt of magically frosty milk directly at Porky. 14 or above hits. 16. The bolt slams into Porky. It knocks him over. He yells out, oh no. That hit from a lot earlier hurting him. The staff falls onto the ground. Not only that, but his legs are covered with frosty milk. He's going to be even slower next turn. As this happens, the flames start spreading to the aisle next to him and nearer to the staff. Wizard is carrying. Porky is knocked over. He tries to pick himself back up, but he slips on the milk. He says, no, Walgreens must win. Barbarian, you are up. You can get up and move. You can't attack. Is the wall to the right an exterior wall? Uh, yes. Like, this is the wall of the Walmart here. Assuming that's what you meant. Ban him mods. I want to run and take the staff. Okay. You do manage to pick yourself up after that embarrassing flop. 
You run forward. You can do it, Barbarian. I believe in you. You grab the staff. You hold it up in your hands. The Barbarian is now holding the staff. Bard. Bard. What do you want to do? I'll grab the switch and run as fast as I can. Meanwhile, over on the left side, the bard lunges forward. He picks up the limited edition Let's Go Pikachu Nintendo Switch with a level 50 Charizard on it. Grabs it in his hands and starts booking it backwards. As he does, the flames are spreading ever faster. Wizard, you are up. Porky is laying there on the ground, groaning in pain, looking hurt but not dead. What is your play? I want to aim my nail gun at him executioner style and intimidate him into forfeiting before anything. Okay, badass. You walk up to Porky. You point the nail gun directly into his forehead. You say, we've won, Porky. What do you say specifically to him? <laughs> okay, here. Yeah, there we go. That's our mayor. <laughs> Glares menacingly. We have your staff. You're covered in milk. The Walmart is burning. Give up. Porky looks terrified. You can tell that cowardice from earlier. That's partially true. He looks around. He sees the staff in the hands of the barbarian, the fire behind him. He thinks maybe this won't work. We're gonna roll for that intimidation. Eight or above and he's on board. <laughs> With this situation, it didn't take much. With the nail gun against his head, he realizes he has no options. And Porky bows his head and says, okay, I give up. Let's get out of here. And he starts running down through the fire and flames. As he does, though, the aisles, they're starting to crumble a bit. The smoke is getting intense. And to get through this wave of fire, he's going to have to roll for it. He needs an eight or above to get through this. He gets a nat 20. Porky jumps through. You can see that the fire is singeing him just a little bit, but he does manage to make it through. The smell of bacon wafts through the air. And he says, come on, guys, hurry. The fire's spreading. Um, Barbarian, you're up. At this point, you are holding the staff. Flames are growing. The only way out is through these flames. What is the number I just said? Was it eight? How does he? What does he have to roll to get through? This would be the third turn, BTW. That's fine. We're close. Eight. Eight. Okay. Okay. Cool. Running after Porky. Okay. You run after Porky. He seems to be on your side right now. He said, okay, I give up, but... Um, you lunge through the flames. Attempt to follow Porky's path. Eight or above, and you make it through safely. Three! Oh, no! You stumble to the ground. You trip. And as you do, the staff falls out of your hands and lands right next to some of the flames. You're okay. Unless you don't get out of there Barbarian, next turn. Barbarian, no! 
Bard, you're up here. What do you want to do? The repeated head trauma made Borky stronger. Bard, you are currently running out of here with the switch. Do you just want to book it? What are you doing? I'll make my way through the aisles. Okay. The Bard sees that he also has to jump through a wall of flame. Attempts to run through with the Nintendo Switch. Eight or above, and he makes it safely. Thirteen. He runs through with the Switch held high. And a little bit of the outside of the box is singed. But he's okay. He's through. Wizard, you're up. Todd. <laughs> Thank Wait, God. The staff makes inanimate objects sentient, right? Yes. Is there any way I can use the ropes and Tarzan myself? The ropes are just past the flame. Unfortunately, you nailed them to the ceiling just a little bit out of reach. No, the box. You get the sense that the box, the game will still be playable, but it's no longer in mint condition. What would you like to do? Can I just go around? Uh, there's flames on all sides now. So this way, you'd still have to go through flames to get through this way. It might, I mean, my flames are like slightly inaccurate. Also, they've been growing. So now they're here. YOLO! <laughs> the wizard! She runs through! I have a really dumb idea, wizard. Do I do it? As she runs past the barbarian ass. Kick Kickflip. And she does a kickflip over the barbarian! Eight or above and she's through! Twelve! Kicks over the barbarian. He's kind of laying on the ground. Looks up at it and goes, wow, that's cool. As the, bar as the wizard flies over and is safely through to the other side. <clears throat> Porky turns around and screams, we need to get the hell out of here. And you see him running for the exit. Barbarian, you are up. You're on one knee. The flames are starting to surround you. What do you do? Uh, I get up. Pick up the staff. Okay. You pick yourself up in the flames, but it's and getting smoky. And itself with the staff. <sighs> you take one step. You grab the staff. Barbarian. And holding it in your hands. You aim it directly at the wall of the Walmart. Obey me. Obey me, you shout. As you shoot, it's magical power directly into the building itself. You see the building shudder and stumble. It feels like it's crumbling. And then... If you make it stop, drop, and roll, we get washing machined. Oh, oops. Um. <laughs> you feel the building shuddering around you. You feel it shaking and trembling. You feel that some sort of massive life presence might be taking root here in this huge Man, Walmart. If only we had a storyteller to get us through this. And your eyes are shocked as you see two gigantic eyeballs appear. The Walmart is sentient. You hear it boom out. Walmart! As the building shifts and shakes into life. Is everybody just running at this point? You're through the flames. Is everybody running? I need confirmation that you're running and not doing anything else. Walmart! Yes, I am running. Yes. Everybody starts fucking booking it towards the exit. The barbarian keeps the staff. Run for the hill. The Bard carries the Nintendo Switch 
You make your way down the stairs into the next floors. Let's get out of here. Can I trip Porky? Um, you run down the stairs into the third floor through the hardware department down across the platform of the clothing Don't department worry, out Kill through the food Porky. department past all of the Wait. dead food and finally you make it out the front door and look behind you as this gigantic sentient Walmart burns to the fucking ground you've done it it gives one confused blink and one final Walmart before it all crumbles into dust. You make it back to Wall Town. I want to command the Walmart to fall on Porky as it dies. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. I'm so so sorry. You turn around as you're running. Hey, Walmart, try to land on Porky. Fourteen and above, and you do it. Eighteen! And as the Walmart crumbles, you see him look! The Walmart stares down! Angrily at Porky, seemingly knowing that he's what caused all this! And as the four, as the three adventurers make it out, the Walmart Freedom. collapses! onto Sporky, and he falls and disappears underneath the flames. The evil mayor has been Bard Barbarian. Defeated. Next time, we're going to Hannaford for our groceries. <laughs> and the team returns to Walltown, where they're hailed as heroes. Nobody liked Porky. He always was kind of a butthole. There's a celebration to honor your contributions and to, for saving the town from this shitty mayor and that evil warlock inside of Walmart. The only question now is, do you want to use that staff? Just maybe it could cure this curse that the witch cast on you and allow your brain cells to work properly again. What say you? Oh, right, the switch. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. What's a brain cell? Honestly, this doesn't seem like a curse. Okay, some confusion. And the nail gun. All right. <laughs> Where's the nail gun? Let's just play our new Switch instead. <laughs> Wait, shit, my nail gun got lost. Um, Looks down at staff. This has caused enough pain. All right. Guys, we have to go back. No, no you got it, you got it. Don't worry, that was me. <clears throat> and with that, the team decides the staff has caused enough harm. Do you do anything to the staff? We need sequel fodder. Do you do anything to the staff or do you just keep it with you? Goes to break the staff. Um, and with that, the barbarian walks over, holds the staff up in the air, and unless you roll a nat one. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> you snap the staff in two. The staff is broken to pieces, and you can feel its evil seeping away from the world. And the three adventurers lived happily ever after with Anyone only one bait print cell working. Doctor. <laughs> well, my knee hurts. Oh, the wizard. May nobody be affected by the staff's power. Triumphantly also, fires nails into the air. Barbarian. And the barbarian, the bard, and the wizard spend the rest of their days 
playing Let's Go Pikachu for the Nintendo Switch. Congratulations. Throws the switch at the wizard for making fun of me. <laughs> okay. Okay, now the box is a little more burnt. And that is it! I like TV better, but this is cool. A little upset that the box got singed. That is the end of the magical Walmart story. Chat, you did it. It did actually get kind of close. Bard almost died, but a nat 20 kick to the head saved him. And they all lived happily ever after, with only three brain cells. Oh. Huzzah, we did it. Bard. Let's talk marriage. <laughs> we did it, chat! Free pogs for everyone! Ah! It took a while, but I think that was really fun. It took a lot of prep. Figuring out the tech for this took a while. Nah. Um, just like remembering all the shit going on. You guys just ignored things? There's an entire electronics department you just didn't go into? There's gonna be a console war? But I think the Roomba actually worked out cooler. Um, and great ending making a sentient Walmart. That was not what I thought would- <laughs> That's not what I thought would happen. That is a good fucking idea. Um, yeah, I really like- I'm- I'm really stoked that the plan was for Porky to betray Jesus you the whole the time. Unless you killed him. Which you almost did. He had three health. You got him down to one. <laughs> uh, Cyril, thank you so much for the 10 gifts subs, man. You got him down to one health. Um, but the plan was for him to steal the staff at the end if you defeated Walter and you didn't join Walter. And so the fact that you guys just got really upset with Porky <laughs> and he just fucking hated him, I was just like, oh, this is great. Because he's like a huge asshole. And you're just beating the shit out of him. Uh, I 100% knew Porky was going to be a rat. B, but we can't divorce again without marriage. Uh, that was very fun. Also, I think as a seasoned DM, I saw it coming a mile away. Yeah, it was like I gave very kind of subtle hints, but nothing explicit at all. Um. Oh yeah, no, Porky was completely sketch. That's true. Yeah, he did. He did kind of act like an asshole. Um, Never trusting a pig man again. Though frankly, I also just wanted to kill him just cause. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm. I am glad he died. I thought you guys were just gonna like let him go. Instead, Walmart crushed onto him. <clears throat> what happened to Bert? Uh oh. Uh. Fifteen or above, and Bert made it out alive. You kidding? Chat would kill me if I. Oh! <laughs> You come back and realize that Bert is the new mayor. Bert, my love. <laughs> where, where are you, Bert? Bert, let's fucking go. <laughs> and as you return to town, a Bert, you boy. see Bert, and he says, Thank you for freeing me from that evil. Walter Warlock, now I can run Wall Town again. And Bert the Mayor. And the three adventurers lived happily ever after. Maybe what? the real mayors were the birds we made along the way. <laughs> it's true. Um. And he says, in honor of your accomplishments for this great town, we give you our most prized possession. A copy of a limited edition Nintendo Switch. Let's go, Eevee! That's really big for some reason. Let's fucking go. <laughs> That's my mayor. <laughs> And they lived happily ever after with a level 50 Charizard. Okay. Story's done. We're good. I can't believe Bert got out. <laughs> Bert? Okay, hold That's on. That's my dungeon master. Uh, the, the plan, Bert was supposed to sell also, you Advil. Also, Barbarian a new dress? Oh, yeah, shit, huh? Well, the dress store burned down. Bert was supposed to sell you Advil. That was going to be like the healing potions. 
And he was good to demand stuff from you guys. And since nobody talked to Bert. Nobody fucking talked to Bert. What are you doing? Everybody just ignored Bert. Like everybody in chat was like, talk to Bert. And the three people playing were just like, no. I was too shy. I d <laughs> Okay. Anyway. Um. Now we need to rob the Walgreens. <laughs> uh, that was fun. That was really fun. I'm glad, I'm glad this worked out. I think this is a great time. Obviously, there's times where it's like a little slow or a little weird. Um, but this was super, super fun. Thank you, everybody, Walgreens for... Walgreens raid in the sequel. ...for joining. Presumably... I couldn't gather the courage to speak to you, Bert, but I think you're really cool. If we do a sequel, I doubt it will be... this town, specifically. Walgreens moment! Walgreens moment! I probably wouldn't do another, like, Walmart... I mean, ideally, so the whole thing, like I said, the whole the whole reason I did like a Walmart is so that there was a lot of flexibility with stuff you guys could do, like picking up random items off the shelves. I feel like there's probably a way to do that without it literally being a Walmart. Um, but Walmart is also funny because then you're, you know, fighting uh, like Doritos and stuff. Now to play this dank ass song. Strip mall. <laughs> yeah, we go to an American mall. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I like that everybody's assuming the next place has but to be. imagine a kaiju battle between a Walmart and a Target. That's true. Everybody's assuming it has to be like a, like a furniture Chat store. Salvation Army. <laughs> Theoretically, I'd mix it up a lot. Can we get some storyteller? Yeah, we can get some storyteller. All right. I think I'm gonna call it. Play some storyteller. Chat for a few minutes. We'll fight Babagabush in IKEA. <laughs> oh yeah, Bob. I want to go to Hershey Park. The witch was the witch who gave you the curse is not supposed to have a name. But then this morning I realized that Baba Baba Gaboosh is the I perfect name. I want to punch name. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Sending you guys on an adventure to Disneyland could be a great follow-up. Did you got a rogue next time? Yeah. So I, I just wanted a mix of stuff. Disneyland could be pretty great. The console wars wouldn't have been that I've always awesome. hated those animatronic bugs life characters. Yeah, they are kind of creepy. The console wars is they basically just fight, and then the iPhone is trying to break them up. And then the iPhone... They, like, threaten you and try to get you to commit to one side of the console war. But maybe I'll do something like that in the future. Time one. to rampage through small world. Can we do a full five-player... I mean, I guess I can get your thoughts. Um, I feel like three is enough. I think it would be too- I think it would be too complex with five. I think it would be too much, man. Um... I mean, maybe it's four. It's a world of laughter. A world of cheers. I think four could work. Yeah, three seems like a good pace. The only challenge is, like, I just don't want to get too slowed down. I would probably do three again, to be honest. Also, there is- there is some amount of just, yeah, like- Yeah, definitely three. Visually, what's going on. I don't want visually it to be too crazy. Um, I like the three. It's like they're everybody's small enough to have their own little box, but with four, it really. I mean, I guess it could overlap on the desk here. It could probably work. All right, maybe we'll do four. Or, or we do what I was considering, which is that um, we do two to three Twitch chatters and Parkser. And theoretically, we have like ChatGPT as one of the characters, but I think I'd rather just use a yes! use a human. But anyway. I will probably do this again at some point in the future. This was very, very fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I've been Parks are as a rouge. prepping this for a long time. I mean, just all the all the fucking rooms and everything. Like this is all like dozens of Shutterstock images that I like tested out to make different things, and I tried to give it some variety and whatnot, uh, and like come up with interesting encounters and and shit. So this just this just took a long ass time to set up. Please make Parkser a gunslinger fighter. Oh, that would be fun. Um, Parkser Rouge is not a phrase I thought I'd ever hear. It turns out it's hard to make the visual of a fucking Walmart from a top-down view. Um, but yeah, I want to do something like this in the future, but it's, it's almost certainly not something I'll do like every month or whatever. Uh, but I'm sure we'll do a sequel of some kind. Have you ever looked at Roll20? Yeah, Roll20 is how I play D&D. Rogue, um, I have been corrected by my overlord's chat. I just, I think Photoshop is easier to, like, drag an image in and, like, move it around. It's not really what Roll20 is meant for. Um, I have gotten frustrated with Roll20 not being as flexible as this when I play Roll20. 
Um, so I'd probably continue to do Photoshop, but anyway. All right. This needs to be like once a year. Yeah, maybe once every couple months. Something like that. Use OMM. That can be great. I don't know what that is. I mean, yeah, if you have ideas, feel free to, you know, email me. Doug Photoshop Doug is Doug. funny. Photoshop is funny, is the thing. I, I probably will continue to do Photoshop. I doubt I would do other tools. Um, especially because I'm not really using the systems of d d It's literally all we're using is a die, and that's it, right? It's, like, incredibly simplified. Uh, which I think worked. I think I think the overall systems of this work. Will you open source your campaigns? I, I don't know what you mean. Like, I guess I couldn't... Photoshop is funny. I guess I couldn't really use... I, could, I don't think I can, like, share all this, because I don't... Like, I licensed all the images off Shutterstock, so I don't think I could, uh, like, give them out to people. Not what I said. Um... Oh, yeah, sometimes thing, sometimes the voices got a little messy. At least you don't use Google Docs like I used to. Yeah, that would be rough. Will this be a YouTube video? Yeah, I think this will be a main channel YouTube video. We're also, I'm probably going to put Pajama Sam on the main channel, which will be interesting. Because that's just like a seven hour mess. Maybe it'll end up second channel, I don't know, but. Hi, YouTube. Well, this won't be in the video, but sure. Hello, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Okay. Forget to say I Y T. How long has this been? Six hours? So it's like five, maybe four and a half hours of actual Hi, game. Hi YouTube. It's already seven thirty. Holy shit. Anyway, Barry, put this in the video. By YouTube. Okay. The Jam Sam was ten hours. It was only seven hours Don't of gameplay. Don't forget play. to use your Twitch primes. Yes. See you next time on Duck Dug. Definitely do that. Um, I didn't show this on stream yet, did I? I don't think so. The Pajama Sam speedrun. <laughs> you go through the, if you go through the list, forty-three second world record, fifty-eight seconds, one minute, fifteen seconds, one and a half minutes. Sub sub to Dug Dug with your Twitch Twitch Prime Primes. One minute forty-five seconds, two minutes. We're getting down to top 88 here. Three minutes, five minutes, seven hours, 11 minutes. <laughs> and then I wrote, I beat the game by having ChatGPT make every single decision, so it's a little that slower than streamer. normal. <laughs> Congratulations, Doug. <gasps> you did it. Uh, You're incredible. Great job, Doug. Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like, wow, <laughs> that was so what an amazing so gamer much person. slower than wow. everything oh else. You're incredible, It was ridiculous. Doug. Wow. I, I like that. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. For somebody who actually tried to seriously play the game, I don't a know that there's that big of a jump. In a league of their own. Um, that is definitely one way to think about that. All right, cool. I'm gonna call it. Hey, thank you. I didn't submit to all socks. I think this is fine. I would feel. I don't really want to make the moderators deal with this like multiple times. Um, this is great. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Super fun. Thank you for the people who did just Twitch Prime. Also, thank you for all the people who've been subbing and everything over the day. Obviously, I've missed the vast majority. See you next time. Thanks, everybody. Um, I will probably stream tomorrow. Probably like Elden Ring. Continue that. Goodbye, chat. And we're doing an after party in the Discord. Go to stream chat channel. Hell yeah. I had a great time. Super cool um, to do something weird like this. Appreciate you. Uh, probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then I don't know. Next couple days, maybe Saturday or Sunday. We'll 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 see. Uh, I just got back from I L.A. The bar yesterday. Off the cliff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. And with that, with him shoved off, he careens off the side. By all, time to train that Charizard. Wait. D. Do the vocals come back in? What a fucking catch, Ann. Alright, I'm out. Goodbye.